My name is Kate, and I became the owner of the Next Step Dance Studio because my mom was the previous owner. I mean, I grew up at the studio. It's my one true passion. I am head choreographer here. That means that I teach the kids all their competition routines, and I pretty much oversee all the administrative work. Okay, we're making a nationals this year. OK, hold your horses. Let's focus on regionals first, OK? OK, regionals, regionals, regionals. It takes blood, sweat, and tears to win regionals. And I know we have the ability, and I know our kids are talented enough, and I know they want to win as well. You ready? Let's do it. All right. Let's do it. The Next Step Dance Studio is a highly competitive dance studio. Certainly. So a lot of the elite dancers come here, and we're pretty well known for how amazing we are. Get focused, OK? This is serious stuff. Eight your auditions. There's J Troop, which is like junior troop. And we have the B Troop, which is more of the recreational kids. And basically the highest level in the next step is A Troop. I want to dance in A Troop because it's the only team that can compete at regionals. It gets you the most exposure, and I don't want to dance with B Troop. At those big competitions, there are scouts from all over the world. So being in a troop means that you're going to be seen, and if you're going to be seen, you're going to get a career in dance. As I'm getting ready to audition and I'm warming up, I'm really nervous. I worked really hard in B troop last year, and I know that a troop is where I belong. So if I don't make it, I'll be crushed. A lot of people from B Troop come to audition to get into A Troop, but also the people that were in A Troop last year have to audition again, almost fighting for their spot, like myself. Kate makes us re-audition every year. No I started dancing when I was seven years old. That was kind of hard for me because everyone had started dancing at the next step three or four years before me, but it's given me a really strong work ethic because I've had to work so hard to catch up to them. If I don't make it into A Troop, I think that would end my dance career because what chance is there of me becoming a professional dancer if I can't even make it into A Troop? I dance because I love it and it's just become such a huge part of my life that I really can't picture myself doing anything else. dance background, I was a part of this street dance group, and then last year I auditioned for B Troop. So now this year, I'm auditioning for A, and I want to take my dancing to the ultimate level. I've been here since I was two. I did the ballet here, I've done G Troop, B Troop, and A Troop. Flexibility is insane. 
My best friend Sethi goes here, my sister goes here. It's my life. That's one, group two. We have Beth, Riley, Charlie, and Chloe. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Riley, you just can't hear What? No, stop. Do you want to follow me, dear? Riley is my baby sister, so I am pretty protective of Riley. You know, I got into dance because of her. She was my inspiration. You know, sometimes she can be a little overprotective, but at the end of the day, I love her to death, and, you know, she always has my back. Beautiful. She's my sister. I just love her. Beth, you're up first. Up in the audition, I'm thinking she's not a trip material. That's gonna cost her, yeah. This is a very competitive group. We go to regionals and we go up against amazing studios who have not one dancer messing up. So, like, you can't have that. Five, I saw the shooting for A Troop because at any point my spot could be taken by somebody else. Come on, everybody, let's go. So we got the feeling, put your hands to the ceiling. So we got the feeling, put your hands to the ceiling. Walk by, spot, you know it. Me and my team, we roll it. Take a photo right now with the moment. My relationship with Emily is pretty simple. I really like her, she really doesn't like me. So, uh, I was wondering, like, do you want to go to, like, No. Eldon has had a crush on me for probably over five years. I mean, I get it. But come on. Now, can you leave me alone, please? Certainly. I come into the studio. Hey, Emily. Want to go out? That kid just has to stop asking Emily out. I leave the studio. Hey, Emily. Want to go out? He's a claim. Stage five. I know there's something magical between me and Emily. It's just gonna take some time for her to realize it. And that's okay. That's what love is all about. Yeah, Chloe! Go, oh, Chloe! Woo! I started dancing at the next step when I was six, and I've been there ever since. Yeah, Chloe! I've always wanted to be part of the E-Girls. You know, Emily, Stephanie, Riley, Tiffany, and Ellie kind of took me under their wing. She is But I can't be officially part of the E-Girls until I make it into A-Troop. You guys, wow. my way of just being me. You know, I like to be that diva, sassy girl, and this is my chance to be Beyonce on stage, pretty much. <laughs> Unlike last year, we plan on winning regionals this year, so we're gonna make sure that we have a super, super strong group of A-Trip dancers. Giselle. Um, the auditions are in here, right? Normally at the studio, we only allow A and B troop students to audition for A troops. Who is that? It's an honored position. You have to earn it. That's why we don't let randoms walk in from the street and audition. Uh, everyone take five. So we're going to go back to group four, this time with Michelle. So again, that's James, Eldon, Giselle, and Michelle who is from Wisconsin, and she's auditioning for A Troop. I'm so nervous. I mean, I don't know anyone in this room, and I don't know what's gonna happen. James, you're up. Woo! Yeah! 
making it into a group is a big deal just because I'm fighting for my spot. If I got kicked down to B, I might be pretty upset with myself, but it's not gonna happen. <laughs> I dance just because I love it. I've always loved to move. It gives me a little bit of an advantage uh, with the ladies. Wow, he's blushing. Oh. <laughs> he's always trying to show off to the girls to try and get their attention, and I'm not falling for it. Rafi would never look a guy like that. Ever. Right, Mom? Huh? No. Come on! I dance because the better dancer I become, the more respect Emily will have for me. And I'm gonna be a really, really good dancer. I started dancing from the age of five. I went to my first dance class and I instantly fell in love with it. All the other kids couldn't stop moving and I was like, we're the same. And I just felt at home. A troop literally means the world to me. I don't even know what I would do if I didn't get in. This new world is so embarrassing. I don't know who this Michelle girl is, but she's amazing. I pretty much have to take back all the words I said when she walked in. Unbelievable. Guys. Started, eventually to win regionals, and then go on to nationals. All right, dancers. Excuse me. You guys were phenomenal. You were amazing. I can tell you put so much energy, effort, and discipline into that. <laughs> Remember, if you don't make it this year, there's always next year. Ready? Congratulations once again. It's a little sad because, you know, I had some dancers that I wanted to make it to A Troop, but I think this is a selection that's going to take us to regionals. It was a really tough decision. We had to cut some great dancers that we've really enjoyed working with in the past. That's the one thing I do know is Emily's going to be very upset with the decision. Previously on the next step, let's begin auditions for A Troop. <laughs> There's only 10 spots open in A-Troop. I want to dance in A-Troop because it's the highest level at our studio. A-Troop literally means the world to me. I don't even know what I would do if I didn't get in. What chance is there of me becoming a professional dancer if I can't even make it into A-Troop? The E-Girls are an elite group that I started when I got into A-Troop two years ago. I love being part of the E-Girls. You're part of a... and I am so excited. I just want to do backflips all the way home. Honestly, I've been in a troop for so long now, I know I'm going to be dance captain this season. It's not even a question. When I saw that I made it in the a troop, I was so happy. I mean, that's a whole other year with Emily. That's a whole other year I get to ask her out. When I find out that I made it into A-Troop, I'm bursting with joy. She's 
She's not that good. So I don't really get why she's here. She just has that wow factor. The fact that Michelle got thrown into H Troop right away, I'm scared that she's gonna throw our family off balance. It might affect us as dancers for regionals. I'm so happy. This is everything I've worked for. It's the first step in becoming a professional dancer for me, so I'm, I'm really, really happy. I'm ecstatic. I'm finally part of A Troop, and I'm finally part of the E Girls. Stand up. When I see that I made it into the A Troop, I'm not really that surprised, but I feel great. Getting into A Troop is the best. I mean, I get another year to be with my sister, to be with my friends. When I learn I make it to A Troop, I'm super stoked and I'm ready to start rehearsing and can't wait for regionals. Stand up! I am so confident in our A Troop this year. I get so excited watching them and thinking about the potential for regionals. I can't believe I'm not an A troop anymore. Part of being dance captain is being able to manage your team. We put Emily with some of the new dancers to see how she'll do with them. On this side, we got James, Wes, Riley, Stephanie, and Michelle. I choose the teams because I just got to split up the e-girls and I got to make it as fair as possible. Fine. We get Studio A. So we get Studio B. Great. Have fun with that. We will. Thank you. They know that I'm literally Emily's best friend. We're practically sisters. And now they're gonna make us go against each other. I wanna know everything that happens. Ego rule number 19. An ego must do whatever she can to protect Emily. I know it might sound crazy, but I'm gonna challenge him to a dance battle. Man, what are you doing, bro? <laughs> this. As Wes dances at me, um, I'm a little freaked out, but kind of intrigued. I used to do it in my old dance crew. We used to do it to initiate new dancers. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, our team is amazing. I'm super excited I get to work with Emily. Accident. I'm really happy that I was put on Emily's team because it'll probably help me get closer to her and try to talk to her more. Oh. 
I think the dance is great. It's new, it's different, and it incorporates all of our ideas. Michelle's dance is so chill. Michelle's dance isn't terrible, so to make sure Emily stays dance captain, I'm gonna have to do something. How are you guys doing? It was fine. The construction is still there, but you know, I got a shortcut, so. So glazing here today. Well, I wish I was here with a better reason, Chris. I'm kind of nervous about my mom wanting to meet with Chris. Unfortunately, I got to talk about what's going on with James at school. He told me he was doing really good, right, yeah, buddy? Yeah, I got a 62% in geography. 62 in geography, Mom. 62 is not great. I know most of the states of South America. Tell her one, tell her one. The state. capital of Uruguay is Monte de Guayo. It's pronounced Montevideo. Monte, Monte de Guayo, Monte de... <laughs> Montevideo, Uruguay. You've been too focused on dance and not focused enough on your studies. I'm kind of struggling in math. It's kind of a problem. It's not a big problem. It's kind of a problem. And I think I've got to pull him out of the studio for a while. Oh, just until his grades get better. Step over here for a second, Mr. Okay. James is a huge part of the team. He's a huge part of the company. And if we pull him right now, a lot of the kids are going to feel it. Miss Dupper, you need to understand that if you pull James from the studio, he can't come back for the rest of the season, and the whole team's counting on him. After today, I'll be helping James out with his homework every day after dance rehearsal. And he's good at math, too. James? And I'll assure you that he will improve with my help. Does that sound like an idea? Okay. I need you to guarantee me that you're going to be able to listen to Chris, that yeah. you're going to be able to buckle down. Guaranteed, I promise. I love you, Mom. You are just like your father. Well, my mom lets me stay in the studio. It makes me feel all pumped up so much better, but it also really helps me <laughs> to work on my math that much more. Efficiency is at stake. OK, who wants to go first? We do. Perfect. Thank you, Emily. Michelle's team, you can take a seat. Emily, are you ready? Okay. It's just kind of odd that she would snap in my face. I don't know why she would do that. That's uncalled for. Honestly, I know I'm performing the dance well. I choreographed it, and I'm a good dancer. I feel really good about the dance. I think Emily will definitely be dance captain this year. Emily's your teen, I really don't like. It's too bland. It's really just showcasing her, you know? It's not incorporating anybody else's strengths. Very nice. All right, let's have Michelle's team up. You know what to do? If I have anything to do with it, this dance is not going to make Michelle dance captain. Emily's routine is really strong. Kate and Chris are going to have a hard time choosing, but no, I'm still confident in our routine. Michelle is not going to be captain. She is not winning this. I'm pretty angry. Stephanie's tanking it. She bumps James and I. I'm kind of confused. She told me that she was confident and ready to go and ready to perform. As soon as we're finished the dance, I know she threw it on purpose. Hold your applause. Michelle, what happened? I asked everyone if they were prepared. And you all said yes, especially you. Who others? Michelle is new here, and you can't judge her just because you don't like her. I think she's a really nice person. She doesn't deserve this. Then what happened? I don't know. I just... I'm a little under-rehearsed. I'm not surprised that Stephanie would do this for me. She is my best friend. Obviously, I appreciate everything my e-girls do for me, and this is just one of those things. 
You said that you were ready. Yeah, I thought it was. Everyone said that they were good. I am kind of worried about having a bad reputation with Kate and Chris because of the routine that we just performed. Emily's routine was very well rehearsed. They were clean, sharp, together. You could tell this was important to her. It didn't look like it was very important to you. Well, I don't know what to say. I had a lot, a lot of hope for Michelle. After seeing the routine, that was a bit disappointing. If you have nothing else to say for yourself, then Chris and I have some things to talk over. I had a discussion in the office, and we have not come to a final verdict. Ms. Kate? Our decision is that looks like it's going to be Emily who stands captain. It's a sense of relief on my part because I know my job was done as her best friend. What? <laughs> I'm kind of angry about Emily being dance captain again, just because if it weren't for Stephanie, Michelle definitely would have been dance captain. Michelle's choreography was way better. If she had had Emily's dancers, she would have blown everyone out of the water. What do you mean it was way better? If it, it was, was way sorry. better, Michelle's they would have agreed that it was better. I'm not. You're not even dance captain. When everyone starts arguing about Emily being dance captain, it's. I'm counting. One minute and 55 seconds. <laughs> Tells us we have to clean it up in two minutes. That's not possible. I don't want to do four hours of abs. So we will better get moving and pick those up. I just don't know where he could have gotten that many ping pong balls. Sporting next door upstairs. Running around picking up ping pong balls. How is this supposed to make us work as a team? The whole team is falling apart right now. But I have an idea to bring the team back together and to help my friends who were jeans. I call it a two for one. What is Wes doing? We need to clean this up. We have a time limit and he's dancing in my face right now. Yo, please. All right, you know what? No, I'm gonna teach you a lesson right now. All right. Okay. All right. James joins in, I'm really happy. You know, we're finally friends. It just looks like a fun time. The whole thing is so crazy. The only thing I can think of doing is joining in. I mean, we're all here to dance, so why not dance? Now I just wanted to show them some moves. We're kind of like working on the teamwork thing again. It was the perfect way to end our day and just dance together as a real team. This weekend. <laughs> we're going to a small competition this weekend. It's almost like rehearsal for regionals. We get to scope out the competition of like the other studios around the area. It'll give us a chance to go out and get used to being on stage again. We're gonna switch it up a bit and I'm going to change the line positions. You'll perform for Chris and I and then I'll make the decision. I don't know what Kate is trying to pull right now, but there's absolutely no way I'm letting her take this responsibility away from me. I am the dance captain. is no surprise really to me. I mean, I work hard and I'm a great dancer and I'm Emily's best friend. Eldon? Chloe, back row beside Tiffany. I'm shocked. I thought I did a little bit better than back row. I would be here. Riley, you're in the front. Me in the front row? Something's going on because there's no way that that dance that I just did is front row material. I put Riley in the front because she's my sister. I'm gonna give her a chance, and honestly, she deserves it. I know she's a good dancer, and I know she'll work hard. 
Michelle, you can stay where you are. Back row. The fact that Michelle is in the back row really surprises me. But I know that I'm new here and that I have to earn my spot, so I guess it's okay that I'm in the back. Miss in the arm, just be sharp and be, be there, okay? I don't know what my sister's up to. I guess she's maybe a little jealous of Michelle. All I know is that me and Michelle should definitely be switched. Being in front row is throwing me off. I've never been in the front row before. I don't see anyone in front of me to like follow along with, so I'm trying to follow my sister. I think Riley's really overwhelmed with being in the front row. Yo, Riley, Riley, can you tell me what tangent is again? Uh, sine over cosine. Sine over cosine? Yeah. Hey, I got you something. Okay. It's from the top of a mountain. The, the top of a mountain? Like the top of a mountain. Like Rocky Mountains. Oh, pff. water bottle? Yeah. <laughs> it's natural spring mountain water. Mm, got it. Yeah. <laughs> He's probably the only person at the studio who's gonna tell me his honest opinion and the brutal truth, which is what I need right now. Can I ask you something? Yeah, sure. Do you think I should be in the front row? Okay, honestly? Honestly. I kind of like the fact that Riley asked for my opinion. I mean, why come to me? Seriously, uh, I think Michelle should be in the front row. I mean, no offense. No, I... Thank you for being honest. I just needed to hear it. Okay. It kind of hurts a little bit, I thought. You know, maybe he thought I should be in the front row, but it's the truth and that's what I wanted to hear and it's what I needed to hear. Hey, Riley, what's up? Hi. Um, I just wanted to get your thoughts on something. Sure. Emily got Kate's approval on the line order, so I just wanted to figure out why she put me in the front row. I didn't. I didn't approve the lineup. I don't know why Riley thought I approved the lineup. Emily never spoke to me about any of this. I thought she came in and talked to you about it. She made that decision on her own. gives you options. The thing is that I didn't do that last time. So I know what you mean. Um, can we talk? Well, it's you girls. Like, sit and talk. <laughs> I, as sisters, though. Like, just alone. Oh, sister thing. Okay, I'll be back. <laughs> um, I talked to Kate. She told me she had no input in the line order. Yep. You didn't even confront her about it? Well, no. I thought it was a good order. I... I just think me and Michelle should be switched. Well, I disagree. I think she needs to earn her place, just like everybody else did, okay? Okay. She deserves to be in the front Riley, row. Riley, I just want what's best for the team. Riley, here I am doing her a favor and she wants to rebuff it. Well, I guess that's the last time I do anything for her. I'm sticking up for you. Yo. Hey. How's it going? Not so good. You were right, I don't deserve to be in the front row. But the funny thing is, Emily made the lines up by herself. Kate had nothing to do with it. I'm not surprised, because I know that Kate would have never approved that dance lineup. I don't know, I kind of have an idea. Do it. It's kind of dangerous what I'm thinking about doing, so I don't know how it's gonna work out. I have no idea what Riley has in mind. But I think she should do it. I think she should follow her heart. All right, everybody, let's take our positions. You should be warm by now. Mm 
In this moment, I'm standing up to my sister and doing what's right. Clearly, she's trying to embarrass me in front of the whole troop. What are you doing? What's right? Kate had nothing to do with these line placements. Emily did this all on her own. And I clearly do not deserve to be in the front row. Michelle does. How dare Bradley call me out in front of everybody? Not only is she an e-girl, but she's my sister. I'm really not pleased in being caught in the middle of Riley and Emily. That's not my position to take. Do you all agree with me? Yeah. When Riley stands up to her sister, it's really surprising because no one's ever stood up to Emily like that. Yeah. Yeah. I really applaud her because that was really the right thing to do, you know, for the team. Sorry, sis, you're outvoted. Well, I guess that's the last time. I put any faith in you, sis. Nothing ever ends well. What's going on? Oh, enjoy. Look, it seems like your interests lie outside of e-girls lately. Well, I, no, it's not up for discussion. Who wants Riley out of e-girls? Looks like it's unanimous. Please don't do this. It's done. Well, we have dance camp in Studio A all day tomorrow, so you guys get a day off. Yes! yes. yes. <laughs> Having a day off is awesome. I mean, I, it's great to kind of get a day off to relax and hang out with my sister. What are you guys planning on doing a new day off? Yeah, we should all chill. I've yeah. never been to the beach. Yo, let's go to the beach. Let's go to the beach. I am so excited to go to the beach. I haven't spent any time with anyone from the studio, and hopefully this will solidify some friendships. Actually, the e-girls are helping out with dance camp, so we will be able to join you. So as dance captain, running dance camp is one of my responsibilities. All the e-girls volunteer to do with me. Down. Yeah. Have fun. You know what? I'm excited to have a day uh, away from the e-girls. Where do you want me? The beach. When Emily rejects me from dance camp, it really hits home. You should come to the beach, Riley. I'm not an e-girl anymore, and I never will be again. Are you? No. Good. Why would I want Riley to come? She's so negative about everything. She can stay here alone and learn her lesson. I really thought things with Emily would have been better by now. My relationship with Emily is not really going to heal as fast as I thought it would. So who's going to come? Oh, ooh, I'm, I'm coming. I'm happy to go on this road trip with Emily. I'm even going to pretend like it's kind of a date. Stop. Back. I really hope he doesn't think this is a date or something. Okay, James, how about you? No, I'm not interested. All right. Obviously, it's enough for Michelle, so... No. I'll come. Really? Yeah, I'm interested in seeing the competition, right? I want to go check out Elite's routine because if I spend a little bit more time with Emily and the rest of the team, that, you know, it'll bring me a little bit closer. Okay. I let Michelle come along because I want people to think I'm fair. But I'm not. This isn't a democracy. It's an Emilyocracy.
now because my grades are dropping. And if I don't pull them up, my mom's going to pull me out of the studio. James. Yeah. Can we talk? Yeah. What are you doing? Don't worry about it. What's up? I need you to do something for me. Wait, you want something from me? Yes, yes. Oh, you want a favor. I don't know about that. Kind of amuses me that Riley would come to me for a favor. I know he's gonna hold this against me, but it has to be done. I'm just a little worried about Michelle. Why? I don't really want her to go on the trip with Emily by herself. I mean, her and the e-girls are not really on good terms right now, and I just don't want any trouble. Okay, so where do I come into this? I just want you to go on the trip and just make sure nothing happens. I asked James to keep an eye on Michelle at Elite because I feel like he's the only one I can really trust. That's a big favor. Really? James, please, come on. Well, I'm gonna have to convince Emily to let me go. I already told her I wasn't gonna go. That's gonna cost you. Okay. Okay? I owe you. Hey, Giselle. Okay. Oh, hey. Why do you even want to go? I really don't know why James suddenly changed his mind. No one's going to pull a fast one over me. I want to help you guys out. So now I have to convince Emily to let me tag along on her elite spy mission after I already rejected her once. I know a shortcut there. I GPS it automatically finds the fastest way. I do. I do. I used to date a girl there. So you I... dated a girl from elite? I did. Typical James. Is there anywhere in town where he hasn't dated someone. Uh, so I know a back entrance. It's kind of sneaky, too. At the end of the day, James is part of a true. He says he knows all these shortcuts, so he might be an asset. All no, right, all right, all right. OK, you, you can come. Perfect. OK, I'll get changed, and I'll see you guys up front. Well, you owe me. I feel a lot better. Yeah. Why? If we get caught shooting a video. They do it in all other sports. You'll go? Yeah. I have my phone. I volunteered to go video elite because I do want to fit in here at the next step. And I feel like if I do go on video with them, then, you know, I will be more accepted by Emily and the rest of the team. Perfect. No, nah, no, nah, you know what? I'll do it. It's fine. I can do it. I promised Riley nothing would happen to anyone, especially Michelle. Don't no, worry, but it's I'll do fine. It. I volunteered. It's fine. I'll, I'll do it. No. <laughs> I should have volunteered sooner to show Emily that I'm brave and I'm a man. She shuts me down, though. Go. Come in. It's nice to see Michelle doing something. I am terrified of getting caught. But, you know, it's best for the team, and I do want to impress Emily. Guys, where is she? I told you this was a bad idea. I told you not to shoot the video. OK, enough with the I told you so. Can you text her? Yeah, that's actually a good idea. I didn't think this would happen. I thought I could just get the video, get out of there, but that's not the case. At this moment, we're waiting for Michelle. I'm getting worried because it's been a while. She hasn't even replied yet. It's been 10 minutes. Go for you're actually just going to send another person in there like that? It's not a war zone. They're going to come out alive. Guys, she got caught. We need to go. What? what? Yeah, she got caught. Don't ask questions. We'll talk about her in the car. Get in the car. Just get in the car. Just Can you just car. leave? Just because one of us goes down, all of us don't have to go down. This isn't the Titanic. Go. Get in the car! We... Get in the car! <sighs> Hurry up. I didn't want to leave Michelle there. I basically... What are you doing here? I actually have no idea how I'm going to get myself out of this situation. I'm in trouble.
If I have to do it one more time, I might just kick myself. No. It's kind of like the same feeling as always when Emily turns me down. I mean, it's kind of comforting to know that nothing's changed, but hopefully one day she'll actually say yes. Well, uh, do you want to go out sometime? Why would I want to go out with you if I just said no to being your duet partner? Riley, I got some sweet ideas for a duet. Okay, but I don't remember agreeing to be your partner. Yeah, but I decided. For the both of us. When James asked me to be his partner, well, he didn't really ask. He kind of just implied that I would be his partner. I know, it's kind of like, okay. I, d I just kind of agreed to it. Riley seems to be the only person that I can't put the moves on quite as smooth as the other girls. Riley's got some kind of kryptonite or something, and I dig it. Come on, let's start. Waste some time, babe. Let's go. You not know, come with me. Tiff, do you want to be duet partners? Yeah, for sure. Great. His technique is just impeccable. Um, I told Riley I'd keep an eye on her, but I left, like everyone else. I'm just glad you're okay. Michelle, yes. let's talk to you. Uh, okay. Yeah. You want to be my duet partner? Yeah, sure. I asked Eldon to be my duet partner because, well, he's an amazing dancer, and he's kind of cute, but, you know, I only ask him because he is a great dancer. That's it. Great. Cool. My first choice would have been Emily, but I am happy with Michelle being my duet partner. Just please be nicer to her. She's close to leaving the studio. And slide. And slide. Eldon and I are supposed to be teaching a baby ballet class right now, but you know, I gotta study. Slide back. Yo, what's up? Slide Just trying back. to do this math stuff. What is this Pythagorean theorem exactly? It's a squared plus b squared equals c squared. You good? Yeah. So, um, I overheard Emily talking to Stephanie in Kate's office, and right. she's planning on pushing Michelle out of the studio. <laughs> what? How? Uh, How did you? She's probably um, just gonna make her life miserable so that she leaves. Okay, so wait, why are you coming to me about it then? Well, I've thought about it, and I, I think we have to dethrone my sister as dance captain. Wait, we have to replace Emily okay. in dance <laughs> You know what I meant. Okay. Okay. Just us as like a team. I'm so surprised that Riley actually wants to dethrone her sister as dance captain. That's got to take a lot of courage. It's hard because she's my sister and I love her. But at the same time, I know that it's the right thing to do. It's what's best for the team. We have to decide who would be better at I, Yeah, I guess. Well, let's but... face it. I mean, I can do it. I'd kill it. No. Definitely not. Uh, try. What about you? You can do it. No. I'm not gonna take that. my sister's spot. I can't do that. What about Elton? He's a good dancer and everything, but... He's, kind of... He's too awkward. Yeah. <laughs> um, Michelle. We landed on Michelle, um, probably because she's the best candidate. She's been to Nationals before. She won top dancer at Nationals. She was dance captain at our last studio. She has perfect qualifications. All right. All right she got to my math. Yeah, good luck. Thanks. Her made me realize I have to change my tactics if I ever hope to get a date with her. Need lady advice. What do you need then? James knows as much about women as he doesn't know about math. Man, I'm trying to get Emily. It's not working. We need her attention. I mean, like, yeah. what gets Emily's attention, though? I mean, like, when we're in ballet class and I'm just brutal at it, she's always on me. Oh, yeah. That's it right there, man. You're dancing too good. If you start dancing badly, you know she'll be on you. Yeah, but then she's just gonna be mad at me because I'm doing horribly. No, man, trust me. That will just get her attention and she'll be on you and then I'll take care of it from there, bro. I got your back. Well, James had this brilliant idea and I really don't understand how it's gonna work, but James knows the ladies. Hey, Alvin. What's up, bro? Hey, so duet? Yeah, sure. What's his problem? I don't know. I really don't know what's wrong with Eldon right now. I mean, he's acting all mopey. I'm doing this all on purpose so that Emily notices how sad I'm acting. James. Yeah. What's going on with Eldon? Look at him. It's obvious. He's broken his heart just too many times. I've turned Eldon down hundreds of times, maybe even thousands. Why would it affect him now? 
No. Look. It doesn't affect someone's dancing. It's starting to. I think you broke Elden. That's your doing. I think my plan for getting Emily to go on a date with Elden is working perfectly, actually. It's satisfying watching it unravel. Really? Yeah. So, if I asked you to go squeeze tonight with me, you would say no? Well, are you asking me? Let's just say I am. <sighs> well, if you really wanted to go with me, then I guess I will go. Okay, after dance? It's been years and years. Okay, wait, how do I know the difference between like a negative okay, sign and a this is not a time for math problems, okay? Michelle's about to come through any minute. I am kind of nervous, because this whole plan could end really badly, but I'm not even close to as nervous as Riley. I mean, she's freaking out, man. I'm just trying to lighten up the mood. So, I just really hope she sees our side of things and agrees. Hey, guys. Hey, hey what's up? Nothing. Okay. So, I, I overheard my sister and Stephanie talking. Okay. And, um, she's planning on pushing you out of the studio. What? When Riley tells me that Emily wants to kick me out of the studio? I did what I had to do. From the first time that I saw you, there was something that took me by surprise and then I fell. Kind of like, what? What are you doing? Stop! It's so embarrassing. You can me. You can me. You can do As it went on, and I kind of got into it, and I kind of got into it. I don't know. It was, it was cute. I, I can't lie. It was, it was kind of nice. I'm doing all of this for her, and I actually care about her. As I'm running towards her, I'm just giving it everything I got. When Elton leaps over me, I actually think it's so cool. I mean, I've never seen him do that before. I didn't even know he could do that. That was to show her that this is me, and if she doesn't like me, she doesn't like all these jumps and these flips and how hard I'm trying for her, then whatever. I'm still not gonna go out with you. But you can be my duet partner. I think I did win Emily over because... Door with me. Hey guys, just a reminder, you're performing your duets for Chris and I tomorrow, mm -hmm. okay? So make sure they're ready. Do you need some inspiration, maybe? Woo! <laughs> Of spice it up a bit and give the kids some inspiration. Kate and Chris doing a duet. I didn't see that coming. They're amazing. When I see Kate and Chris do that lift, that is definitely what I want to put in my duet. Their technique is crazy and their hip hop moves are just awesome. Chris's dance is great for two old people. How was that for inspiration? I loved Kate and Chris's duet. That was, it was unreal. Make sure you grab your partners, work hard, and kill it like we just did. Because we are way too old for this. <laughs>
I don't know what to do. I have two duet partners. Two? Yeah. Who? Michelle and Emily. Man, since when? How did that happen? How in the world did Eldon get two duet partners? He's probably the most awkward guy on the planet. Eldon has no clue. He never has. He never will. You know what, man? You gotta do what's right. Well, what's right? I say you go for it with Emily, man. Trust me, I got three sisters. <laughs> no, least. no, that's not what I said at all. What's right is who asked you first. James and Wes both make good points, so I'm gonna stick with Michelle and Emily for now. It's not gonna turn out good. But it has to stop. I'm running out of excuses. I can only go to the bathroom so many times. Finally. Hey, sorry. Um, I was just really hungry. I needed a snack, so I'm all good now, though. Let's go from... From this part again? Okay. So if you start in the front like this, but you're gonna bend down so you can still see me because you can't block. And I'm not giving up Alden. I don't care what she says. I'll be right back. Eldon, finally. Leave Eldon out of our feud. What are you talking about? We're rehearsing our duet and he keeps on coming back in here and rehearsing with you? Well, maybe that's because he's my duet partner. You rejected him, don't you remember? Yeah, and now I'm saying yes. You know, just because you now have a crush on Eldon doesn't mean you can just take him for your duet partner. I have a crush on Eldon. Yes, maybe you do. Why would I like a little dweeby dork? But he's also the best dancer in the studio. Yeah, and I'm the dance captain. That's why I deserve to have the best dancer. Rule number 44, an e-girl always gets what she wants. Eldon. So, do you like being my duet partner? Yeah. Good, because I like being yours, and I just think there's so much potential for us to grow, you know, yeah. closer together. Yeah, two words, train wreck coming, which is three words. Stop talking to him. He's my duet partner. Look, Michelle, he doesn't want to be your partner. Get over it. If he didn't want to be my partner, then why would he say yes? Obviously, he just felt bad for you. Why would he feel bad for me? Well, what's wrong with me? I mean, the shirt. I'm the dance captain, and he is the best dancer. I deserve it. So, Eldon, you better pick me. There is no way that she's going to be Eldon's duet partner. You better pick me. <laughs> Try. <laughs> Go help him out. Eldon doesn't really deserve this. I know James is the right guy to help him out. Yo. Yo. Tough break, bro. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's what you're gonna do. The advice that James gave me, I mean, it just made me think, like, wow, he's a genius. Perfect, thank you. And who's your partner? Uh... As I'm walking towards Michelle and Emily, I'm kind of second-guessing my decision. Honestly, I'm not worried. Eldon's obviously gonna pick me. I'm really hoping that he'll choose me. He better pick Emily. I have no idea how he's gonna get out of this mess. You don't know who your partner is? No, I do. I, you do. Yeah. Okay. Today? Take out your partner? Yeah. I just hope everyone's happy with my decision and that none of this is gonna come crashing down on me. I hate to admit it, but James's advice is really good. Wow. All right, awesome. I just came together quite nicely, so I'm happy with that.
going great, actually. Um, I'm having a blast. I'm having a great time with him. We have a lot of chemistry. I don't know. I'm starting to find a new likeness to James. I'm starting to feel like I'm finally getting her to like me. I mean, she's sending me these little signs, but it's Riley. Mixed signals everywhere. I have on my list that didn't get a chance to perform. Last but absolutely not least, Emily and Michelle, you guys ready to do your duet? No. <laughs> no. Definitely not. Not ready, no. You guys don't have a duet together? No. You were the last two left over. Why would you not pair up? It's a bit disappointing seeing that they weren't prepared and everybody else was. The whole point of the duet exercise was teamwork and team building. You know what? Let's see if they can make something up on the spot. Why does that sound? Uh, no, 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 no. I think that sounds great, yeah. actually. Yeah. I love how Emily and Michelle have to freestyle a duet. Teach them both a lesson. I think it's totally unfair that Kate is making Emily freestyle a duet. No, yeah, no, yeah, no, they're both of you right now. Yeah, no, center. You know, there's no question. I'm terrified to do this duet with Emily because duets are all about teamwork, working together, listening to each other's ideas, and... Things get see it in Michelle's eyes she was terrified because she's never really been put on the spot before especially with the dance captain I'm pulling out all my best moves. Stop the music! I'm disappointed in both of you. I'm tired of the way that Emily's treating me. I'm just not gonna take it anymore. If this doesn't change, we're not gonna win regionals, okay? She's very shy. But not just any dancers, our dancers. <laughs> I'm just joking. What? Oh. No, I'm not. Get excited. Brighter Brightest coming to the Next Step studio is a huge deal. Clearly, I'm not as excited as my younger sister, who is probably their biggest fan. I'm so excited. Sorry. I can't, I can't wait. I can't wait. Chill. Just no, ask for it. Just be chill. Riley is so gonna get nervous. <laughs> Let's be serious though. Like you get like nervous sometimes. Are you kidding me? I do not get nervous. What have I okay, gotten okay. nervous? Practice on me. Ask for my autograph. I don't want to practice. I don't need to practice because I don't get nervous. I guarantee you'll freeze up. Practice. Can I have your autograph? See? Perfect. I'm gonna be so cool around Brighter Brightest. It's not even a question. Just do it like that. That was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> They're right there in the flesh in front of me. Sh Shmal Shma Riley. Riley is so nervous, she's speaking a language that hasn't even been invented. I just start speaking another language because of him. It's all James's fault. I knew it. Uh, Please stop. You have no okay. idea how hard it is to stand in front of them. Dance. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just go ask for the autograph. No, I'm not just Wait, asking for hey. the autograph. Hey, hey, you. hey. Hello. In the back. Hey. back. Hello, disruptive. Listen, you have brighter, brightest here. It's an opportunity. How about show a little professionalism? Okay? Come on in. Bring it in. Pay attention. I'm thinking, great. They now caught us doing something embarrassing. And of course, it's James's fault again. I. 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 <laughs> it's yeah anyways um the song definitely has a lot of chemistry you know it's a deficient ship and uh 
I think you guys have a lot of chemistry. There's something obviously going on back yeah, there. Yeah, absolutely. How can I have chemistry with somebody that irritating? Well, they're right. I just hope Riley sees it. No, not at all. No way. No. We want you guys to be the focus of the video. <laughs> you hear um, that? Being the focus of the music video, although it may be with James. Single. Like a single is not as exciting though. We should do a double. But the single works for the music. But like it, like. But the single works for the music, so let's go back. It's really just showcasing her, you know? It's not really incorporating anybody else's strengths or ideas. I kind of disagree with Emily, but I'm not going to say anything because I don't want there to be any more drama than there already is. It goes out and out and So that name would suit you better now, wouldn't it? I've just had enough. Do you like any of my ideas? None. Ready? What did you just do? Pardon? That noise you just made. The reason I moved was to throw Emily off her game. Emily, are you okay? Maybe like the snaps just got you kind of- The snaps worse. didn't get to me. You guys are making noises. <laughs> when all the other guys step up and start making animal noises with me, that's my boys. They don't realize how important this is. It has to get done tomorrow. Either way, they need to get out of my face. Stop! <laughs> If they're not gonna work seriously, then they can't work with me. Get it. You mean like, out of like, you know? No! Miss Kate, I can do this. Emily, clearly you don't have it under control, okay? Half the dancers are over in Studio B. Don't even look at me for that. Yeah, it might have been my fault a little bit. Oh, what'd you do, James? Well, I moved in rehearsal. I knew it was you. Yeah, I kind of make animal noises when I'm under stress. I always have, like, since I was a little boy. This month, it's cow. He's never made an animal noise before. Oh, yeah, and I, I know you've been it. under stress. Shouldn't even know who I am. What is wrong with you people? Wrong with me? I'm not the one mooing. It was kind of a strategic moo, just because I felt like she was riding us so hard. A strategic moo? That's not even a real thing, James. I just want to do this music video. The whole team wants to do this music video. Yeah, but the problem is, is she won't consider our ideas. If we want to do this video, you have to include everyone's moves. Everyone's moves. I just think she's silly, but she owns the studio, so. Fine. Consider the moves included. Thank you. Meow. <laughs> Hurry up. All right, everybody. It looks like we will be continuing with the video shoot. <laughs> I... All right, listen. I know you can perform in front of Brighter Brightest. I don't think so. I mean, every time I see them, I freeze up. You're tripping out. Just don't concentrate on them so much. <laughs> see, you're already more relaxed. Talking to James surprisingly helped. I don't know. He made me feel a lot better. Brighter Brightest is in the studio, and they're doing music. Yeah, heard so much about you. She doesn't speak English. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> I'm never going to be able to convince them that I'm a normal human being. I'm just hoping that I don't mess up the video.
<coughs> Yo. Glad the long face. I had a chance to talk to brighter brightest, and I blew it. They think I'm from another country. Yeah. That's <coughs> embarrassing. It's hard for me to keep control of myself because I kind of have this surprise plan for her. But hey, cheer up. I got something for you. What? Yes, this is for you. <laughs> Thanks so much. Good luck in our country. Gracias. I think what James did for me was really sweet. I kind of saw a soft side for the first time. Do, do you You have to get them before they close, it's though. Now. It's I'm so doing important doing. to get the sample costumes She's today because the shopkeeper is oh. going away on vacation. Okay, don't worry. You can count on me. If I was a superhero, I'd be get it done, girl. It's kind of a lame superhero. Oh, is it? Where's your book? Not so lame now, is it? <laughs> Thank you. Oh. You okay? I'm good. Okay. I'm good. Right now, I'm practicing my backhand back tuck, and I can't get the landing. Typical James he just shows off to everyone. He is such a player. He's such a ladies' man. Ooh. Sure you don't want help? Yo, where are you going? Um, nothing. I'm just doing something for Kate. I didn't ask what you're doing. I asked where you're going. Mm. Listen up. Okay, well, I'm just going to pick up the sample costumes. I don't know why James is approaching me right now. I mean, I do not have time for it. All right, I'll take it along. Don't you have to get back to your girlfriend? The thing about James is he flirts with all the girls, and all the girls love it, and I'm not falling for it. Beth? She's not my girlfriend. And does she know that? Hey, yo, Beth! You're not my girlfriend. I want to go with Riley because I want to spend some time with her. I mean, in the past, she's avoided me. Not this time. She's not my girlfriend. She's okay. fully known. Well, I gotta go. Kate is trusting me to pick up these costumes, and there is no way I'm letting James mess this up. And I'm coming with you. Riley has no idea right now, but her day's about to get a lot more interesting. So I think maybe if she spent some time with me, I can show her that we can have fun together. Hey. What are you doing here? I have words. And I, de I definitely have my first- Did you ever stop talking? No. I like talking to people. As a matter of fact, you know how much I like talking to people? Watch this. Excuse me, sorry to bother you. Yes. But I just had to tell you, your hair looks gorgeous. Thank you. I'm sorry. I was fine. just hoping for a little peace and quiet on the bus. But looks like that's not happening. It's gorgeous, right, Riley? Look at it. Right. That hair, girl. Look at that hair, Mary. <laughs> Can I get on the bus to the transfer? No. I guess if James can't get on the bus, then he won't be around to slow me down anymore. Um, are you actually going to go with Ivy? Yeah. Who's going to get the costumes? Riley, is anything the right time? You hold yes, it's the right time. Oh. You I'm did sorry. not just rip my transfer. Sir, Kay. is this valid anymore? Kay. No. So, but you saw it before. It was valid. Not any longer. The bus driver saw the transfer in my hand. I don't understand. Heard him. Schedule. We should just go. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. You and your Jamesness. You follow me into the bus. Then you start talking about your neighborhood as if I even care. I'm speechless. There's no words that can describe how frustrated I am right now. 
and then you pull me off the bus so that we can get your stupid shawarmas. Oh, Riley, you've never had a shawarma. Have a shawarma, have a shawarma. I don't like shawarmas. I hate shawarmas. And then by the time we get back, you rip up my transfer so we have to take your stupid shortcuts to the park. Meet your kooky Aunt Kathy. Nice lady, but still kooky. I guess I thought deep down that she was glad I came, but she's really mad right now. By the time we get here, we're late and it's closed. Closed. Do you understand that, James? Kate counted on me to get the costumes. And now that the store's closed, we might not even have costumes for regionals. It means we will be dancing at regionals in our underpants. Underpants. I messed up, but I'm gonna fix it. You done? Yo, don't worry about it. I'll get us in the store. James always acts super cool, and sometimes there's just things that even James can't do. Watch this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, kids, we're closed. Can you let us in? No, 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 look at the sign. We need to get our costumes. We're no. Please, we're from the next step. No, no that's it, we're closed. I knew it. We're not getting in there. I'm not done yet. What are you doing with my glass? Um, can I you let us... told you we're closed. Get away. Can you please let us in? We need our costumes. Uh, we're going on vacation. Come back in three weeks. We're from the next step. Yeah, yeah. Back in three weeks. What? Every second that the costume owners don't open the door, I feel like I'm losing Riley more and more. Looks like things are going great. Oh. I'm not giving up. I don't give up on anything. Not even math. What is it doing? <laughs> What is it doing? Just one more. Just so when I can't get this backflip, Riley finally says, You need to set. What? When you do your back tuck, you need to set and then tuck your legs into your chest. I've been watching James do this flip all day. Maybe I was paying more attention than I thought. Wait, how do you know that? Why do you worry about it? Finally, thanks Riley. Now that's what I call teamwork. Come on, let me in. Please, just let me in. I need those costumes. I just flipped. I've been working on that flip forever. Come on, let me in. Riley, help me out, help me out. I joined James's dance Ooh. because what do we have to lose? By the look on their faces when we're pulling off these moves, I definitely think we're winning them over. Honestly, I'm just having a blast with him right now, and it seems to be working. Whether or not we get in, it's just nice to see Riley let loose and dance with me. So relieved. I mean, I can't believe James actually. Uh, 
After today, I kind of see James in a new light. is horrible and we're not gonna win regionals with yes, no, yes, no. her choreography oh, I have an idea I say we re-choreograph the regionals routine make it so good make it better include people's ideas yeah and then we can show it to Katie and she'll love it so much that she'll have to put you in dance counting I'm okay. down when do we start then no time like the present Ooh. We, we Apologizing to Chloe, she never apologizes to anybody. Mm. What I did was really unprofessional and and mean. I I'm sorry. You're you're part of A Troop and you're an amazing dancer and you're meant to be an A Troop. You're also an E girl. Really? Yeah. I accept Emily's apology because it takes a lot of guts to get up in front of everyone and admit that she's sorry. Mm. I don't mean that apology. I'm apologizing to keep my role as dance captain, which means the world to me. E-girls for life. E-girls. Thanks. I mean, I'm pretending like I'm caring about her and she's totally buying it. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, and three, four, and five, six. I'm choreographing a new dance to get rid of Emily. Right. Well, when Michelle brought up the thought of me using hip hop, I loved it. It was right on for me. I love adding that swag, and I love the fact that she's so chill about it. We're all putting in our own input, so it's turning out great because we all have a say in it. It's so new and fresh and different, like even better than I expected it would be. Because I feel like she's starting to fall for me more and more. So, I was wondering if you could tell me what you saw in Studio B. I just walked by. I just saw James, Riley, and Michelle in there. Were they sitting or standing? They're standing. In a formation? Honestly, I don't think Eldon knows anything. There's no way he could ever keep a secret from me, and there's no way he ever would. Well, I'll do it with <laughs> Riley, James, and Michelle. When Chris walks into the studio, I think we're all busted. My heart kind of skips a beat a little. Studio A is where rehearsal is oh, taking place. Oh, it's supposed to be in Studio A. Yes. We were wondering where everyone was. You know, I covered it up good. Just pretended that we were waiting for him. No worries. Come on, hurry up. Go, 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 go. I feel relieved now. Tell your team. One, two, three, four. You can't go too oh, far back. Right, right, right. I'll come back to that. Okay, so we're at, um, yo, James. Yo, what up, man? I come into B Studio because this is where I keep my extra socks. And then I get suspicious because I see Riley, James, and Michelle rehearsing something. What are you guys doing in B Studio? Should we invite him into the dance or not? Uh, we kind of got something to show you, man. All right. Show me. Forced to show Wes our dance and tell him what's up. I just hope it works out. That's all we have, bro. That's all we have so far. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? Let me get this straight. You guys made this new routine yep. to show to Kate to overthrow Emily so that Michelle can become the new dance captain. Yeah. Is that right? Am I, am I right? That's right. Really? That's what you bright lights worked out? 
I am a little bit worried as I wait for West's reaction. We literally like just put it together not too long ago and like it, it was kind of messy. So I didn't know if he was going to be like, this is a joke and then go tell Emily or something. If West doesn't like to the dance, then it could be all over for us. <laughs> but you know, I got some good ideas. I mean, why don't we, you know, we just add a little bit of, you know, some... But you're gonna have to teach us. Yeah. I... Yeah, no problem, man. All right. I am loving West's moves. West being in the routine is probably one of the best things that's happened so far. I love the fact that Michelle lets me incorporate my own style, and I definitely think Michelle will make a better dance captain. Minica! Guys, yo, what up, man? I uh, kind of did something. What? I told somebody about the dance. What? Ooh. I'm really nervous. Um, I don't know who Wes told, and this is getting out of hand. I come into Studio B because I know that they're working on a dance. That's huge, so I really want to make sure that everyone's up for it and they know what they're getting into. Riley, Emily's your sister. It's gonna be war. Is dance more important than my sister? Stop. Yeah, but... What's up? When I see Michelle and Chloe there, I'm really curious as to why they stayed back late, especially those two together. So what are you guys doing here? Uh, just rehearsing. And what are you guys doing here? Uh, rehearsing. James and Riley walk in and we're busted. I'm freaking out because I, I don't know what Chloe has told them. They were all helping me. They are all helping me. Yep. Without us? I couldn't find you guys, I'm sorry. I'll definitely ask you guys next time. I do trust Chloe a little bit more now. We could maybe get her on our side. Hey, it's getting late. Everybody head home. Good idea. I really hope Chloe's cover works. I mean, we still have a lot of work to do, so we just need to get back to rehearsal. I don't believe their story at all. It doesn't make any sense. suspicious behavior going around the studio. If there is something going on and Eldon knows what's up, I know exactly how to make him talk. I'm a little bit worried. I mean, everyone's really tired. Do you know if mm. there's something going on? No. You know you can trust me, right? Yeah. I feel pretty good about myself because, you know, we're getting closer. And you would tell me if there was. Oh, right? I would tell you. Oh, come on. Oh, okay. oh, oh no, 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 they're not hugging right now. Oh, they're oh. not. As I see Eldon hug Emily, I'm really upset. I care about him, and I know that he's making a big mistake falling for her. All right. Okay. Emily hugging me? I mean, that's... Okay. It's fantastic. It's great. It's a dream come true. Peach grape? How did you know I like peach grape? I guessed. Oh. Huh. Good guess. I know Alden likes peach grape juice because I've noticed before, obviously. How are things with you and Emily? Oh, so good. So good. Yeah. So with... Four O's. Okay, then. I'm really worried about Alden. He thinks he has a relationship with Emily, but it's all in his head. He's going to get hurt. Do you know she... I don't know what's going on there, but you honestly need to fix it. You you know you're replaceable as a soloist, right? <laughs> When Elton enters the room, I don't know what's going on. He has cards, there's a boom box. I, it looks like some weird 60s movie. I know one thing about girls, and they do like grand gestures. I just want everyone to know me and Emily's relationship status. Oh, 
why does he keep pushing? <laughs> he should have just picked it up and left. Alden's grand gesture is really sweet. It's just sad to see that Emily doesn't appreciate it. <laughs> Emily, will you be my girlfriend? because I mean I did that whole display of affection and everyone literally everyone stood there and laughed at me yeah. kind of made me realize that maybe I am a dork hey Alden oh hey sorry I didn't know anyone was gonna be in here I can leave no 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 stay stay it's okay I feel bad for Alden after being humiliated in front of everyone I mean I'm sure he could use a friend right now yeah I'm, are you okay I saw what happened earlier oh, shit. I feel like I'm a dork <laughs> You're not a dork. No, according to Emily, I am. Eldon, the things that you did for Emily were great. Between the cards, between the poem, it was just so romantic. Really? If anyone did that for me, I would just melt. I thought oh I was God. the only one that thought it was romantic, but oh. I guess not. Oh, well, at least you uh, spelled the cards right. <laughs> I've decided to show Eldon my dance because he's upset with Emily and right now is perfect time. Actually, come in. We have something to show you. Instead of Emily's. Does, does she know about it? No. I'm not too sure if Eldon's gonna join. He's so in love with Emily. He's been trying to get her to be his girlfriend for so long. But at the same time, she did just break his heart. So? Are you in? Well, yeah. Found her. In Studio B. Dancing to your music, but not your choreography. With who? With Daniel West, Riley James, and Michelle. My spidey senses are tingling. I've been dance captain a couple times now. I know people are trying to overthrow me. Do you think I'm going to stand for that? It's time for me to take Michelle down. So, are you in? I don't know. She just crushed your heart. I don't think I can hurt Emily like that. That's weak, man. <laughs> He's got to stop letting her control his every move. So what do you say? I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Let's go. 
You know, I thought he would have just picked right up and joined the dance, but he's second guessing things. I think he's gonna tell Emily. Yeah. I'm not surprised. I mean, he's so in love with Emily. I just hope it doesn't ruin everything. Like I was some pathetic kid. <clears throat> I approach Eldon because. Because what? Because I miss him. Oh, damn, 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 damn. Can I talk to you for a second? I just wanted to apologize. For what happened. Um. I really just don't want to talk to her right now, and I can't even trust that she's actually apologizing to me. Like, she's probably just doing it for another reason. Yeah. There's just been a lot of pressure on me lately, and oh, sorry to hear that. Look, I, I know you're mad, and you should be. I, I really took it out on you. I... Is that all? I pull away when Emily brushes my arm because if I let her do it, I'll probably end up falling for her again. She's being nice to him all of a sudden. Emily's being nice? She must know something going on. I'm so nervous that Eldon is revealing the dance. He's obviously telling Emily. He would do anything to be on Emily's good side. Do you think there's a chance we could be friends again? Yeah. BFFs forever. I just feel like... I've lost something that I didn't even know was so important to me. Oh. All right, buddy. You know the drill. Sample math test. Bring it to me when you're done, all right? Oh, serious, man? Yep. My final math exam is tomorrow. Chris wants to make sure that I'm focused on it so my mom doesn't pull me out. But at the peak season, and if she pulls him, it ain't gonna be good. So I gave him the practice test so he can be prepared for the real test. Look, chapter four, underneath the word problem, you'll find the answer. All right? <laughs> <laughs> and with that practice test, I kind of slip in some answers here and there, just to help him out. Emily? James is going to be sitting this round out, so keep in mind his spacing, OK? OK, why is he sitting out? That's between me and James. Just worry about the dance, OK? All right. Sounds good. Thank you. The team's fragmented. Final math exam this morning. And it went uh, pretty much how I expected. I killed it. It was fine. Really? Yeah. No. No, you're lying to me. No, I killed it, for real. I know James is lying because I know James. I mean, he can't put anything past me. No, you're lying to me. <laughs> Can you please just be straight with me? Come on, just okay. be straight with me. All right, I might have done a little bad on it. How much is a little bad? It was a small test, though. You failed I the swear test? It was, small. it was small. Was it really that small? Yeah, but five plus four equals nine. Okay, that's great, but that's like grade one math. That means I'll pass the okay. next one. For real. <laughs> I messed up horribly. I mean, I let my whole team down. That's just not me. I'm being serious. Was it that small of a test that it won't matter, won't affect your grade? No, it's kind of big. <laughs> okay, Don't worry about it. This is not it, funny. Honest. What does this mean? Um, I'm getting pulled from the studio. Oh, wait, what? I'm gonna miss dance so much, and like, I'm not gonna see Riley every day. Like, it's gonna be tough. Five plus six equals eleven. That's math right there, for real. Mm -hmm. Don't even worry about it. If James left. I would be pretty upset. I mean, we've gotten really close lately, and I need him. Well, we need him for regionals. I'm obviously
obviously being set up by Emily. I'm really hurt that she would do that to me. I can't believe I'm doing this. My two best dancers, and here I am settling a dispute. I think Kate should hurry up and find it so we can get this over with. It's not in here. They can't find the phone in Michelle's bag. Immediately I know what happened. They knew what we were doing and they played us. I saw the e-girls with Michelle's phone. I went over there, checked it out, saw what they did. So I took her phone and hid it. When I see the look on Emily's face, I find it so funny to watch her just go through that. It's great. What's really going on? This clearly isn't about just a text message. Mm. Ooh. Ever since you've been here, things have been messed up. And now, you all are going behind my back and choreographing another regional's routine. Dun, dun, dun. Is this true? Yeah. Uh, why? Emily's a horrible dance captain. You're bossy, you're rude, you yell at people, you don't include anyone's ideas. You make us not even want to dance. So what, I don't include people's moves? They're not good moves. A good dance captain doesn't tear the team apart. Oh, and your routine didn't do that. I obviously have been in a cave because I had no idea it was that bad here. Listen, I'm tired of this. This is what's gonna happen. Michelle, we're gonna see your routine. You guys ready? You wanna show me your routine? Yeah. yeah. And each dancer will vote if they want Michelle's dance captain. Do we accept those terms? Yes. Yes. Good. Michelle, let's see your routine. We've created this whole plan to overthrow Emily, and it's all coming down to this very moment. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. All right, let's see what you got. I'm really excited to perform the dance just to show the whole team what we've got. Michelle is trying to overthrow me as dance captain, and honestly, good luck to her because it's not happening. You're the fucking favorite song. You're the rhythm that drives me along, long, long. Gotta turn you up to turn me on. It's magnetic. Honestly, Michelle choreographing this new routine behind my back isn't as hurtful as everyone else joining in. I mean, people I've grown up with are in there. My sister's in there. Addicted to, to, there's nothing that I want to, want to, to see you. I'm so addicted to, to, I only really want to, want to be near you. When we're doing the dance, I can see right through Emily, and I know she's killing herself inside. Seeing Michelle's dance, I mean, there's nothing great about it. It can't compare to Emily's. Honestly, I think the dance is amazing, and I really think it has a chance of beating Emily. You know, we're kicking butt. Kate looks impressed, Chris looks impressed, Emily does not, which is a good sign. them there just all smiling and doing the best they can to take everything I've ever worked for away from me. That's hard. <laughs> that's, that's really hard. Great job, guys. Yeah, really good job. 
I'm not really sure at this point who's gonna win Dance Captain. I know that Emily's been working really hard, but so have I, and she's earned her spot as Dance Captain, but so have I. Okay, dancers, that was great. Thank Amazing you. work, guys. Amazing work. So, who do you want to be your dance captain? Choose wisely. I vote for Emily because she's my best friend. And no matter what happens, wrong or right, I will always stand by her because that's just the friend that I am. That's one for Emily. I thought for the longest time that I wanted to be part of the E-Girls, and now that I know what it's all about, I'm ready for something better, and I think Michelle could be an amazing dance captain. And three for Michelle. I'm feeling a little caught in the middle. On one hand, there's Michelle, who has this awesome routine, and there's Emily, who has only one vote. I can see Emily's reigns coming to an end, so I want to protect myself. Sorry. Are you serious? I'm in shock, I mean. That's my sister. Does she oh, honestly hate me that much? Yep. Does everybody hate me that much? Yep. All right, Eldon. You got the last vote, buddy. Don't run battle. Michelle's already won. I mean, she has majority, but I still have a choice to make, and it, it's, it's tearing me up inside. hurt me one too many times and somehow I have to put her behind me. When Eldon votes for Michelle, honestly, I'm so proud of him. It's like he just grew up. It's like Eldon just grew up right there. Episode 15, we end half of season 1. If you want to watch more of this, make sure you like and subscribe to season 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 and 7 and 8 may come later along the way. I know there's something magical between me and Emily. Emily, will you be my girlfriend? I need to signify that this is over. I have a crush on Alvin. Yes. Maybe you do. We need a leader who keeps us together for regionals, and my sister is just not doing that. You're perfect for dance captain. The way that Emily's treating people is horrible. We've got a new dance captain. I'm so proud, and regionals, here we come. Attention, please. Miss Kate has an announcement. Just wanted to let you know that our application for regionals has been confirmed. Woo! I'm really, really glad that our regionals application was confirmed. We're in. We're so much closer to regionals. We just gotta keep on working to get there. And I know we will. I have a feeling that this is gonna be our year and we'll win. 
So we know what that means. It's game time, so get your game face on. All right. Mm. Regionals are in a month, so we have a lot of work to do. Clearly, the regionals application is something exciting for everyone, but it's a little, a little dampened for me right now. I mean, I'm not dance captain. It's not my routine going to regionals. Get to work. Can I talk to you alone, please? Sure. I said alone. Thanks. I feel the need to be friends with Emily because it's really important that we work as a team and that she's a part of the team. I just wanted to make sure that we're okay. What do you mean, okay? We need to be friends to make this work. Friends? You're asking me to be your friend. Yes. Well, you went behind my back. Yeah. Took my friends. Sure. And stole my spot as dance captain. Yeah, but... There's no chance we could be friends. All I came over to tell you is that I want you to help me out. We could be like co-captains. Why would I help her? She's the dance captain. She needs to learn how to lead. <laughs> I'm not a co-captain to anyone. It honestly just confirms to me that she's evil. I mean, do you have to take my place as dance captain and then insult me too? <laughs> I really don't know what's going on with James. I've seen his mom in here a couple of times and it's just kind of scary. I've known James's mom like my whole life. And there's one thing you know about Deborah, you don't mess with Deborah. Hey girl, what's up? Hey. So how's how's acting? How's that going with the agent? Deborah? Uh -huh. Tell me what's up, tell me. That's nice. Uh, I don't really want to talk to you. Right Why now? would you want to talk to me? So you can leave. Okay, this is not about the whole captain with Emily and Michelle. Is this really what this is about? Whatever. She has no right to speak. Ego rule number one. An e-girl always has another e-girl's back. Just because the team was divided and I chose Michelle doesn't mean that we can't be friends. Yeah, that's exactly what it means. Steph, like, we've been through so much. I've helped you with your agent, everything. Like, you're gonna let this one thing come between our friendship? We're girls. We're friends. I thought that. I thought. We have another announcement to make. Miss Deborah? This is James' mother? Um, actually, Chris, with respect, I think this is an announcement that uh, James should make himself to his friends. I think that they deserve that. Um, uh, as of today, um, I'm being pulled from a troop. What? You're not in the age group anymore? Nah, man. Sorry, I let you guys down. Why? Um, my math grades are slipping a bit. It's not a big deal, though. Uh, you know, I beg to differ, James. Um, they're not slipping a bit in math. He just failed his math exam, and uh, he knew, no, he knew that this was the consequence of that. We've known each other forever, like, he's my boy, and he's leaving now, like, I never thought this would actually happen. It hurt, you know, it hurt to know that he wasn't going to be with us during regionals, you know. We need him. We do need him. We need everybody, even Emily. Regionals is a 10-dancer competition. That means we're going to have to find another dancer, do new choreography, new transition, and given the time frame, I'm not sure if that's possible. And I'm sorry that it's come to this. I really am because I know it puts you in a bit of a bind. But I don't feel like I have a choice. He's out. I think that I really am only left with one decision, and that's to pull him out of the studio. I'm sorry. But that's how it's going to be. In the back of my head, I'm thinking, great, Michelle's first day, and she's already lost a dancer. Have fun with that one. 
out. So there's no way that we can get him to dance with us at regionals. No. He needs to spend time on his studies. I'm disappointed James is leaving. We've gotten really close lately, and I don't know what I'd do without him at the studio. I have an idea. I I'm sorry, who are you? I'm Michelle, the new dance captain. Dance captain? When did that happen? Mom. I thought Emily... Mom, okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. So, you were saying? I say James leaves for two weeks, mm -hmm. focuses on his studies, and brings up the grades. Because we really need him for regionals. And I, I understand that, Michelle, but James has promised me these things before. And James will do what he always does, which is find something more fun to do than math. And that's ben. not hard. Root canals at the dentist are more fun than math. You know, you blow it off, James. I mean, she's putting her foot down pretty hard, and it's important that I do convince her. We... None of us knew about this problem. Now we all know, and now we want to fix it. Right, guys? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what? I'm a math genius, so I could definitely help your son. And I'm not so bad with physics, either. E equals MC squared. We can all help him. We can. I don't know. Please. 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 Come on, please. When Michelle gets everyone down on their knees, <laughs> it really just showed me that everyone is behind her. Please. Come on. Please. 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 I mean, that's a team unified. That is not a team divided. That is a team fighting for one goal. Can I take a picture of this? You zip it. I'm feeling a little more needed at the studio than I ever have before. I mean, the whole dance crew, A troops, is on their knees for me. <laughs> I kind of liked it, actually. Please. 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 We need your son. Okay. Yes. Okay. I know I'm still talking because my lips are moving, so listen good. Really? I don't want to see any dancing from you for two weeks, James, and I mean it. No class, no rehearsal, no studio, no age group. I don't want to see so much as a flat ball change from you, James. And I'm warning you, if those grades do not improve, I'll tour jeté your skinny behind into military school so fast your head'll spin. Do you see how serious I am? Yeah. Uh -oh. Oh. My plan worked. I'm just so glad that I could convince her. You are very persuasive. Thank you. Maybe leaving the studio for two weeks is something that he needs. And when he comes back, it'll be a check mark in his brain for him to be like, hey, I gotta buckle down. And I'm gonna tell you something, I am getting soft in my old age. <laughs> I think Michelle is actually a pretty good dance captain right now. Two weeks. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Why does everything have to work out for her? Couldn't somebody else have come up with that? Namely me? <laughs> it is James. James, mommy's having a hot flash, okay? I'll meet you in the car. What? What, am I embarrassing you? <laughs> no, Mom. Really? I'm Mom. not embarrassing you? Oh, my Lord. Well, that's good, because I was put on this earth to embarrass okay, you. Thank you. Be long. Mom. All You've right. got homework. Yeah. <sighs> Listen, I'm so sorry about that whole math thing. I screwed up. I know. I don't know what to do. Tell me. Tell me, Riley, what am I supposed to do? He can do it. I mean, he just has to set his mind on doing it. I need to think of something that will give him a little motivation. Sex. I have a proposition for you. If you get a 70% on your next math exam, no less than 70%, I will go on a date with you. What makes you think I really want to date you, though? I don't know. Do you? Seeing her standing there and just asking if I liked her made me like her all the more. Because I, I could never figure out this girl. I could never figure her out. And by her saying that, she pretty much was agreeing to liking me back. So it's a deal? 
Yeah, I think it's the best deal ever made. things on a rough patch I mean with Michelle becoming dance captain and all I just I just want to make things right um can we talk as sisters not dancers as dancers we have nothing to talk about and as sisters we have even less you're not even my sister anymore why'd you have to come Yeah, I'll meet you there, though. Right. See you. Bye. The studio feels like in forever. Mm. I've been studying like crazy at all this math stuff. I really need to up my grades so that I can stay, but I just can't keep focus. Hey. Yo, what's up, man? What are you drinking? <laughs> Do I look like the kind of guy that would order tomato juice with carrot on That's top? That's disgusting. Did they just leave it here? Yeah. Ew. Service is brutal here now, man. They're going downhill. Yeah. What are you working on? Uh, just some math, man. Yeah. I find it really helped. I did the right angle triangles first with oh, Sakatoa really? and everything. Soko what? Sakatoa. <laughs> it's man, a, they're I the trigger ratios. Not on that Chinese stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, are you alright, man? Yeah, I don't know. I, I landed funny in rehearsal the other day. I think it just kind of tweaked my ankle. Really? Sure. Yeah, it'll be fine, though. Yeah. You sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just going to grab a juice. Right. I do believe him. I see Emily there all alone and she looks sad oh, so I go in because I care about her. Hey, I know you're mad about the whole dance captain thing. Just, I'm sorry it happened. It's okay. And I'm really sorry about taking Michelle's side over yours. You should have. Her dance was better. Mm. Yeah, but yours was good too. Well then, <laughs> I know when someone beats me fair and square. And she did. And it's fine. So, what's wrong? Nothing. Emily, well, like, clearly there's something wrong. Nope. Are you sure? Yep. Okay, you know when you overpronounce your words, I know for a fact that you're lying. I don't overpronounce my words. You just did it again. Nope. <sighs> Emily, why don't you just tell me what's wrong? I don't really want to tell Eldon what's wrong because I mean, I've hid this for so long. I've hid it from yeah. literally everyone. <laughs> it's embarrassing, okay? It's, okay? it's embarrassing. Emily, I embarrass myself constantly. Everything I do is embarrassing. I tied your shoe in front of the class. I walked in with posters and a big stupid poem that turned out just like a joke. You think I'm just a joke? Everyone does. I don't think you're a joke. Why can't you just take one little chance and embarrass yourself? I 
I can't do her dance. Hmm? What do you mean? I can't do the moves. I, I don't know how. You know, dance is... I'm really, like, surprised and shocked that she said that because she's, like, the dance captain and she should be able to do them. Do you ever wonder why I choreograph my dances the way I do? For your focus? Look, I... I know they're not good, but... Those are the only moves I can do. That's why I never take any suggestions from other people. Oh. I, I confess, to Elden, because working. no matter what I do or, or what I say, Elden is constantly by my side, and I trust him. What are you doing? I'm going to teach you. No. I'm not taking no as an answer. You might not be able to do it right now, but I'm not gonna stop until you can do them. Really? Yeah. It's honestly the best feeling, having someone believe in you like that, like someone believes that you will get it no matter what. He's just kind of giving me faith back in myself again. And it's great, I, it's an amazing feeling. Promise? I promise. I'm hugging Elton because, because it just, the studio because my mom took me out so that I could focus on my math because my math grades were slipping. We're here to do your daily math pop quiz. Are you ready? Yay. Yeah. Um, but I make cue cards this time, so. Dry, okay. Everyone who's a part of A Troop has been taking shifts to help James with his math. What is cosecant? Um, the inverse of cosine. Yes. Good. Good job. It's important to pass because if I pass it, I get to go back to the studio and I get a date with Riley. Uh, does sine to the power of four times theta minus cos to the power of four times theta equal two sine squared theta minus one? Um, three? No, no, you just have to say if it's equal or not. Um, yes. No. No. <laughs> okay, let's do another one. Yeah. Because you need to get these right. I don't really know if he'll make it back, but I really hope he does because he's a huge part of a troop. Let's go. I don't know if I can learn all the material in time, and I'm, I'm kind of stressed out about learning the dance. I gotta get to know it a little better, I think. Well, I mean, I guess I could come teach you. Ooh. Yeah, that'd be cool. I'm down for that. It's technically not at the studio. And I mean, as long as your mom doesn't see you dancing, it doesn't matter if other people see you dancing. Yeah. Technically, my mom's not gonna see it, so I'm not breaking the rules. Right now, I'm at James's school just to keep him up on all the choreography for the regionals routine. James, hey, you ready to learn Michelle's choreography? I can't, I'm sorry. There's too much on my plate right now, okay? What? No, James, come on. My teacher just scheduled a math retest for tomorrow. So? You know this stuff, James. You've been studying for weeks. I'm not ready for the exam. I'm not going to pass it. I've already accepted that I'm not coming back to the studio. Just relax, okay? I'm telling you, I don't know any of it. I have to get tutored after class. I still don't know it. Okay, yes, you do. No, I don't. Okay, you know what? Let me prove it to you. Here. Oh my gosh, you bring cue cards? Yes. Can you just tell me the angle? I don't know, 92? 
I have no idea. This is a right angle, right? Yeah. Right angle triangle. It's means... 90 degrees. Exactly. So how many degrees are left over to make the other two? 42. 45 degrees. Exactly. You just figured it out. Okay, but that's one question. There's going to be like 50 on the test. One out of 50. What is that? Like 2%? Exactly. You just figured out another math question. I do think James will pass his exam. I mean, he just has to believe in himself. With me and Emily. Oh, yeah, hey, I got your text. Hey. What's up? How much? How are you? I'm good. I I have to get back in there, but how, how's the studio? Have they replaced Steph and I yet, or? Kate and Chris are auditioning Be True. Well, that's a good decision. Um. Look, I, I really have to head back in, is that it? Um, I just wanted to say hi. Hi. I just... You took... Wanted... You took three buses to come say hi to me? Hmm? Yeah. It's a long way from where he lives. This must be important to him. Elder, get to the point, huh? Okay, well... You're auditioning for a lead, and... And? Well... What about us? Oh! We just kissed, but we're not really going out, so I wanted to know where we are in our relationship. El Eldon, it doesn't matter where I dance, we're, we're still gonna be together. Okay. Was that what you were worried about? Yeah. That's really cute. Yeah. He's been there for me through everything, and being official with Elden See? is kind of an amazing feeling. Don't worry. Nothing's gonna change, okay? Okay. Oh, there you are. Thank you. You're welcome. He just got every single question right that I asked him, so he's clearly capable of doing this. She believes in me when no one else does. It feels like anything is possible with Riley. Follow me. Ready? Riley, what are you doing? I'm dancing. Yo, there's nothing to see. Hit the road. I begin dancing because for so long, I've always been the one who's always so stressed out about everything. And for once, James is now stressed out about math. And I just need to show him how to let loose. Come on, James. Man. Just learn the choreography. You can do this, James. Run to the school? Do it for me. Okay, well, I don't know it. Okay, well, so let me teach slowly. you. Fine. From the top. Okay. Oh, one, Ready? Two, five. Yeah. One, two. dancing it kind of just makes me forget about all the math and everything and it just makes me realize that i really don't want to stop dancing at the studio uh, a lot of talented dancers and the two individuals really improved yeah, yeah a lot the two individuals that will be moving up from b-troop to a troop hi are there still auditions for a troop Well, no, they're finished. Stephanie walking in was kind of ridiculous. If you left, then you left. Why come back? I come back to the next step because I have nowhere else to go. I thought I was going to get in to Elite, so I didn't really think of anything else. Yeah. I know instantly that Emily good. made it to Elite and she's not coming back. Do you guys think you could make an exception? Do you think I could audition? We're ready for you. Okay. Good luck. They don't look too happy to see me. I either dance here or I don't dance, I'm alone. That's it. The reality is, dancers switch studios. Mm. But the fact that Emily and Stephanie didn't come to me, 
It really hurts. Stephanie, the way you handled yourself was completely inappropriate. Because of your actions, you're gonna be auditioning like everybody else. Okay, um, I just, I have no clothes. You can dance like that. Okay. I might as well try. At least if I try, then I know. Rather than just go home. Michelle stops me. She's probably not done ripping me apart. We know you can dance. That's why we need your nature. So lucky to have them in my life. Welcome back. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Shut up, kid. <laughs> Looks like we only have one spot to fill now. <laughs> Thank you. so excited to be back and on top of that Riley's just dancing a solo it's the perfect day why'd you have to come from here in this town When I see Riley dancing to a song called Where Did Everybody Go, it makes me think of how Emily left and how I left. It just, it makes me feel bad. It kind of stirs me up a bit. Where did everybody go? That was unreal. Thank you. What are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here until you pass your math exam. True. Bam. <laughs> the past. It's amazing. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry. Not just a B, of a B plus. Uh, that's awesome. Well, uh, you know what that means, right? Yeah, you're back in nature. True. True. Um, but also, uh, means you owe me a date. Don't tell James, but I may be a little excited and also kind of nervous. I mean, it's my first date. I don't know. I just have to wait and see how it goes. so great to come back to the studio. I mean, for a moment there, I really thought that I wasn't coming back. I'm not a teddy bear. 
Having James back is like finding a dog. I mean, you're so happy because you found the dog. And then you bring the dog to the owner, and the owner's even more excited with that, that feeling, that feeling right there. Actually, now might be a great time to let you guys know who the newest member of a Troop is. It could be Zach or Beth or possibly Giselle, maybe even Charlie. He's been really working hard. You guys excited? Yeah. yeah? Okay, the tenth member of a Troop is... Giselle. Oh, I am. Hey. Well, for my date, we're gonna eat a bunch of food from around the world, different countries. And before we get a little bit of food from each one, I'm gonna stamp your passport. <laughs> so what country do you want to go to first? Surprise me. Okay, well, I think I'm gonna go to America first. Okay. Just because I love the burgers. I've always wanted to travel the world. Okay, we have to stamp your passport first. Of course. So, James definitely has my attention now. I want that petite. She's starting to enjoy it more and loosen up again, so I think that the date is going really good. Okay. I would love to go to India. I built up this idea in my head of what a first date was supposed to look like. Mm, that looks good. I realize now that it's not the most important part at all. <laughs> Welcome to India. I just want to show him how much I appreciate him. Mm -hmm. Em. Hey, what are you doing here, Riley? <sighs> Dad wanted me to come talk to you. So you didn't even want to come talk to me yourself? Okay, of course I want to talk to you. You just never listen to me. Well, we don't really have anything to talk about now, do we? Things between me and Emily have been really bad lately, but I have to give it one last shot. I want my sister back. We promised each other we would keep our dance lives separate from our personal lives. Yeah, and you broke that promise. So did you. Riley, I don't know how to fix this one, okay? I don't know what to do. I would love to fix my relationship with my sister, but I don't see how that can happen. Resolving things with Emily is going to be harder than I thought, but I have to find a way to get through to her. Remember the time when I was supposed to feed the kittens, but I thought you were feeding the kittens? And it turned out that none of us were feeding the kittens when really mom was feeding the kittens? Well, maybe we just need to feed each other. Like, you can be the sister I need and I'll be the sister you need. Knowing that she wants to still be my sister and she, she needs me, just makes me feel loved. 
be willing to give that a try? So, how are things with you and Elton? We're good, actually. It feels amazing to be talking to Emily again. I mean, we're finally mending our relationship and getting back on track to being sisters. How are you and James? Um, I don't know. I mean, he took me on a date last night. Really? Yeah. Mm. What'd you guys do? Well, he brought me to Studio A and he had it all decorated. Um, and he got foods from all around the world and like, he made me this passport. Are you serious? Hearing that James set up that whole date was kind of shocking. James has never worked that hard. I don't know. I'm, I'm just still a little confused as to whether we're in a relationship or not. So ask him. Really? Yeah. Guys like it when you're straight up. No games. Emily's advice is really helpful. I mean, I had no clue what to do with me and James. And Emily just cleared it up for me. Mm. And I gotta get back to rehearsals. I think things will definitely is I need to ask James where we are in our relationship. What are we right now? What? Are we in a relationship? <laughs> Did you just ask me that question? Okay, I'm being serious. <laughs> I, I don't know. Do you want to be in a relationship? I wouldn't be asking if I didn't want to. Is that a yes? Finally, she does like me back and it makes me feel great. Just give me one second. for so long now and finally it is actually for real. <laughs> serious. It's a grade three ankle sprain. A grade three ankle sprain means that there are torn ligaments. If it doesn't heal properly, it could be a career ender. How long is he out for? Well, the doctors are still running tests, but um, he's definitely out of regionals. What? Really? Oh my Sorry. As soon as Chris tells us that Daniel was out for regionals, I'm completely bummed. That's his career on the line. A sprained ankle is serious business. I'm feeling horrible about what I what I did to Daniel. I just took it too far. This is all your fault. Are you happy now? Because if you would have just listened to Kate and Chris and not let them do the lift, this wouldn't have happened. You're the dance captain. As a dance captain, Michelle's failing. She's not putting the team's best interest at heart. This is not Michelle's fault. Yeah, Giselle and Daniel said they could do the lift. Well, Daniel clearly couldn't do the lift, so Michelle shouldn't have them do it. Guys, I don't think it's fair to blame Daniel in this. No, no, it's definitely Daniel's responsibility. What? He knew his ankle was hurt. He should have said no to the lift. Wait, what? so you're saying you knew that he was injured and didn't tell us? You didn't tell me? I, I wish that I mentioned Daniel's injury a little earlier, but I honestly thought that he had it under control. He should have known his limits as a dancer. That's the first rule in dance. Regardless, Michelle, you're the dance captain, and that's your job. It's your job to know what's going on with everybody. Guys, else. this is not Michelle's fault. Ooh. Dude, why are you defending Michelle? Because Daniel should have known his limits. I thought the lift was a good idea, too. I don't think Michelle deserves everything that Stephanie's saying to her. I'm really sorry, guys. It's all my fault. No one's fault. It's hers. No. It's very Everyone needs to stop. We're always at the studio rehearsing, and we just have to find time to finish our work. Okay. Um, I, 
I ripped the ligaments pretty badly. And it looks like I'm gonna need surgery. And the doctors say I won't be able to dance for months. It's really upsetting coming back to the studio and seeing everyone because even though I'm injured, I know they're still going to move on with their lives. They're going to go to regionals without me. Dana is one of my best, best friends. And we finally got the chance to dance in a troop together. And now he's out. Can I, can I try that again? Just mess up a little uh, bit. Yeah, sure, James, but let's take a five, okay? I can do it again. No, it's okay. We'll do it afterwards. Everyone take five. Um, when Kay calls a break, I knew she only called a break because I screwed up the solo, which just kind of makes me angry because I can get it. I just want to try it again. Hi. Right. Sorry, guys. I know James is trying really hard to get that solo, but Daniel was the best person for that position. We still are missing one dancer. Right now, I have no clue if this routine is going to win regionals. <laughs> but we need to try and get Emily to come back. <laughs> With having Emily on the team, that's our only shot at winning regionals. <laughs> what? No offense, Michelle, but how do we manage to do that? Yeah, Emily is so stubborn. There's no way she's coming back. Michelle's suggestion to get Emily back, I think is really crazy. It's because of all the things that we kind of put Emily through. The same person that she's lost her captaincy to is trying to get her back. I don't know if that's going to fly with Emily. We all hurt her really badly. I don't think there's any chance of Emily ever coming back. This is her home. We're her family. I know we can do this. We can get Emily to come back. And you guys are just giving up on the idea. I think it's a great idea that we go and try and get Emily back. She's one of my best friends, and that means I would get to dance with her again. We're a team. If we all come as one, maybe she'll see that we're serious and we really want her back. Are you guys into this? Yeah. I guess we can give it a shot. Yeah. Because basically this solo was carved out for Daniel's style of dancing, very technical, which is almost the opposite of my kind of dancing. I think I could get it, but I just really need to work at it. Hey. Hey. What's up? Nothing. Uh, I'm short on my solo. How's it going? Um, pretty bad. <laughs> I'm kind of behind on it. Well, I got tickets to a concert. Really? And I have two. Do you want to come? I totally love to, but I can't. I'm really busy with this. This is just one of Beth's ploys. I'm not falling for it. Come on, good. my friend bailed on me, and now I have no one to go with. You just caught me at the worst time. You're really gonna I leave can't. me hanging? I can't, Beth. I'm sorry. Okay, fine. You're gonna regret it. Yeah. Okay, see you. Good luck. Yeah, thanks. James? Yo. Hi. What's up? Seeing Beth with James, I know she still kind of has a thing for James, but I know James definitely doesn't like her anymore, so I don't know, it's probably nothing. How's the math going? Uh, it's good. When's your math exam? Um, coming up. Shouldn't you be studying? Uh, I just finished studying. I'm good. I gotta work on this solo now. Okay, but everyone's relying on you to pass this math exam. When Bradley tells me that I need to stop working on the solo and to work on my math, it kind of just annoys me. No, Bradley, everyone's relying on me to get this solo. Okay. If you fail your math exam, you're out of the studio. I just finished studying. Okay. I'll be fine. Thank you. Whatever. It hurts that Riley doesn't believe me. She was the one person that stood by me before when I was going through all of this. I just wish she had a little more faith in me. Approaching Emily in the middle of a Leeds rehearsal is kind of rude of me, but I'm doing what needs to be done. What are you doing here? 
came to talk to you. Shell, this is a rehearsal. I know what it is. Then why are you here? I have no idea what Michelle is doing at Unleaf right now. The next step wants you back. My answer is no. You have to learn to accept that. I just hope you know that we're all really sorry about what happened with the whole dance captain thing. If you think sorry, it's gonna cut it. You are way more delusional than I ever thought you were. Now please leave before you take this away from me too. I spent all this time trying to think about what I was gonna say to her. And her just saying no isn't a good feeling. I will not leave. You're not wanted here, okay? Yeah, but we want you. We? Who's we? You're the only one that's here, Michelle. I'm the only one here? Look beside you. We're here as a team. We came to get you back. I thought for sure Emily would have come back once we all showed her that we all want her back. We're all here for you. We want you back, sis. I kind of have mixed emotions. I'm shocked that they even care that much. And I'm also shocked that they think they have any chance of getting me back. No. You guys made your bed. Now lie in it. Good choice, Emily. I thought that when she saw all of us there that everything would go back to normal, but I guess she just really likes Elite. You're fitting in just fine here. Matter of fact, so fine, I just talked to Amanda about moving you to the front row. Once Lucien offers Emily front row, I know she's not coming back. Good night, Amanda. Yep. Everyone knows that I'm moving to the front of the Elite Dance Academy. So look at me the next step. Look at what you got rid of. Why would I come back to the next step? To be embarrassed? Betrayed? Hurt? And don't think I'm naive enough to believe you would all be here if Daniel wasn't injured, okay? It's not true. It's so not true. Daniel's the reason why we went to get Emily back, but that's not the only reason. I mean, she's our family. So why don't you all leave now? Now. Hi, James. It's kind of hard that the guy I'm dating has dated every single girl in the entire dance community. Back to the top. So. So, James, he told me he got a D on his last math test, and he's not doing too well in a solo either. I don't know, I tried talking to him, but he's not listening to me. I wanted to ask one of his own friends to help him out. He's always been there for James, and I know he could probably convince him to focus on his math. I know. I've been thinking about it, too. I think James should give up the solo, just so we can spend that time to focus on his math and not risk getting kicked out of studio. Well, I mean, I was thinking you could talk to him. He'll probably listen to you. Yeah, yeah, I could talk to him, no problem. Okay. I'm really here to just help a friend out. I walk into B Studio because James and I have to have a really, really big talk about his solo. And I know it's a talk that's not gonna be easy for either of us. I don't even know how to start it. I've been thinking a lot about your problem. I don't have a problem. I know why you're having such trouble with your solo. Completely fine, man. Look, I know you're working really hard on your math and the solo. I mean, look at you. You just can't do both. Bro, I got it. You think you got it? If you want to stay at the studio, we cannot do both. James knows what he has to do. There's no doubt about it. James heard me. I'll, Please, sir, am I interrupting simply? Mm -hmm. Nope, everything's fine. Tomorrow. Thank you, Chloe. I don't think now is the right time for me to come clean about my situation. How you guys doing? Well, I'm, we're good. Things are good. Yeah. Cool. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. There was 
Mm. You're good. So nothing. You just came in to see yeah. how we were. Oh, we can um, see you. When James starts talking like this, I know something's up. I'm a little nervous about how Kate and Chris are going to react. I mean, I just hope they understand. Okay. Cool. Thanks, James. <laughs> Uh, I can't dance the solo at regionals. I mean, I, I tried, but, but I can't, I can't balance the two and I, I'm, I'm sorry. It's not okay though, because who else is there? It doesn't matter, we'll find someone. We have plenty of time. Listen, this was a smart play, okay? We need you at regionals. If we don't have you, we can't win. Okay, you did this for the team. Okay. James. That was a brilliant idea, telling her that you're gonna put her in the front row for regionals. Wasn't it amazing? Yeah. I'm kind of proud of that myself, actually. Mm. We'll keep her in the front until the day before regionals. Mm. It's too late then for anything to happen. And then we'll kick her off the team. It's not like we need her anyways. Exactly. When I overhear Amanda and Lucien's plan, I'm shocked. Am I not good enough for anyone? We won without her before and we can do it again. You know she can't keep up. Yeah. It's clear to me now that they don't value me as a dancer or apparently as a person. I'm just a tool in their plot to win Rachel. Yep. That would be totally wrong. You know, I don't want them to think that that's what I had planned from the beginning. But all I know is that I'm going to walk out that office without the solo. Chris and I have been doing a lot of thinking a lot. and a lot of talking. A lot of thinking. Oh, I love talking. I love thinking, mm -hmm. too. We feel that you have improved hugely. Oh, you're right, God. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. And I'm very glad that you see my improvements. You know, there isn't anything that I wouldn't do for this team. Oh. Well, we'd like to hear that because you are now taking over James's solo at regionals. Congratulations. Wow. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. This is really exciting. Uh -huh. You know, this is really, oh, wow. Wow. I'm, 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 I'm honored. You know, this is real. I'm not doing it. You're not doing it. No, I, I just can't. I'm at a loss. Wes, we're giving you a solo at regionals, a time to shine. Oh, I know. I love shine. Don't get me wrong. I love shine. I love bright lights. I love all that stuff. I mean, sometimes I sleep with the lights on. Okay, get back on track. Um, so you don't want to do the solo? No, no. I, I'd love to do the solo, but I'm just not doing it. Okay. So I guess... You've made that decision? No, 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 no. We've made that decision. That was our decision. If it was up to me, I'd, I'd complete, I'd totally do the solo. But, you know, this is our decision and this is what we chose. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I... I really do. Guys. Guys. Look who's back. Emily. I can't believe this is happening right now. Emily has returned to the studio. Look, I... I gave it a lot of thought, and... Elite's a great studio. It really is. But it's not my home, and... It's not my family. I don't even know what to think. I'm just... kind of frightened. Elton! All I want is to be with Michelle. <laughs>
own thing, and Emily's all about just being clean and, you know, structured. When I heard that Michelle and Emily are being co-captains, I mean, it's kind of uncomfortable because I'm dating Emily, but I like Michelle. It's not very good. Having both their strength together really can bring us together as a team. So, we need to choreograph a new routine for regionals. Actually, you know what? I think I think we need two routines. Why? Why? Because we're going to make it to finals. Oh. Oh. Hey. <laughs> the way you think, James. The way you think. We also need a second routine. Because we're going to get to do the duet or not. And also so that I can get more time with Michelle. It's really not that important. Alden stepping forward and reminding Kate about the duets is really awkward for me because that means that we would have to spend time together and I'm not really sure how that'll turn out with everything that's going on right now. Well, actually, considering what James just said, what I was thinking is we could put your duet in the last dance. I mean, Riley's told me how amazing it is. It's amazing. So why don't we utilize that and use it to win originals? I want to add the duet because not only is it... I'm flabbergasted. I mean, we're supposed to be co-captains, and she didn't even let me know. So, first count of eight. Michelle? Keep going. Yeah. Can I talk to you for a second? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Um, can you guys just keep rehearsing? We're people who are still here. We have a lot of work to do, okay? Boys? Let's go, okay? Um, what was that? I let Chloe go. She has to go somewhere. Michelle... You can't just let dancers go like that. We have two routines to choreograph. I know. We're co-captains. You didn't consult me. You, you didn't tell me if something is going on. I, I deserve to know. I just, I can't tell anyone what's going on with Chloe. I don't feel comfortable humiliating one of my dancers because I don't know what's going on with her. I can't say anything. You can't say anything? Yeah. What about showing me? You have to promise me that you won't tell one soul. I won't. I promise. Let's get back to her. She's working. What? She has a job. Well, Michelle tells me that Chloe has been working to put herself through dance. I'm shocked. That's the secret. I was in her position, I wanted to be a secret too. I realized that if I was in Chloe's position, I wouldn't want everyone to know what's going on with my family and what's going on with my situation. So just bearing that in mind, I think Michelle and I need to be discreet. I think we need to let Chloe have this one. Look, we better go. I don't want her to be embarrassed if she sees us. You know, it seemed like Emily kind of understood finally what's been going on in Chloe's life. And maybe now she'll treat her differently, and I'm hoping that she does. The bus should be here soon. I'm not getting back on that thing. My mom's going to pick us up. You're kidding, right? Absolutely not. She's not getting lattes. What? Are you looking for cheese? Unless... You know, I always really like the chocolate one. I don't think that there's any way that I'm going to get this money in. Uh, well, the truth is, um, I work two jobs in order to pay for each room. Chloe, I had no idea. Why didn't you tell me? Chloe's no longer in each room. What? what? Why? It's a sensitive subject, okay? I don't want to talk about it any longer. Rehearse. Chloe not being in age group anymore is devastating. Chloe is an amazing dancer and we need her. I'm just, I'm just really upset. Michelle, did you know it was this bad? Kind of. What? What, what are you talking about? Chloe's been having some money troubles, okay? And her parents can't afford to pay for dance, so She's been working multiple jobs. We all just were kind of getting annoyed with her and we were getting actually really mad. She could have just been honest with us. Like, how can you tell us? Because she's embarrassed. Guys, if you guys had money troubles, would you guys tell everyone? 
You don't understand her situation. We all have money. None of us had any idea. I wish you would have told us. That's what we're there for. We're a family. I don't know what we're going to do. We can't do it without her. That's why I have an idea. Come in. I really hope Emily's plan works. Here you are. Chloe, I can see you. I'd like to order something, so serve that fine gentleman and come over here. Enjoy your meal. When I see Emily, I'm not really sure why she's there in the first place. I don't know why she came here. The suction is closed. Does my face look like I care? Okay. I didn't think so. Hi, welcome to Southside Johnny's. My name is Chloe. I'll be your waitress today. Great. I'm going to take a water with a lemon, please. And that'll be all. Right now, um, we're kind of carrying out a plan I devised. Chloe has absolutely no idea what's in store for her. Hey. So I take her order and I come back out and everyone from A Troop is sitting there. I'm really upset that they're all there. So embarrassed. Uh, excuse me. Can I get a chai tea with extra sugar, please? Thanks. Your dog. How could you do this to me? Why would you bring them here? I'm just thirsty. Can I get a drink? I don't know how she could do this to me because I thought we were friends and I thought we were closer than that. And I thought that she respected me as a person enough to not tell my secret to all the people that I really didn't want to know. I'll have a Roy this tea, please. Once she sees that we're doing this for a good cause, she'll understand. What can I get for you? I'll have a water. Great. Oh, with one ice cube. I don't really know how the plan is going. Chloe doesn't look too pleased with what we're doing. I'll have a tea. Can I have a water? I'll have a tea as well, uh, with extra mint leaves and on the rocks. Oh, and that means with ice. So a nice tea? All they're ordering is waters and teas and just obviously there to get back at me for what I did. And I would actually like another lemon wedge, please. Uh, the people that I've spent almost every day with and hours and hours and hours with aren't my friends anymore. I just decide, you know what, I'm going to prove to them that I'm stronger than that. They're not going to tear me down. And I just walk back out there and I pretend like nothing's wrong and like I'm not upset and I just do my job. Hi, welcome to Southside Johnny's. My name is Chloe. I'll be your waitress today. How can I help you? This is who I am and if you're not okay with that, then you're not okay with me. You know what? I, I think I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Thanks, miss. West. This is too much. Well, you know what I got to say about that? Did you know that tea was discovered by Chinese Emperor Shang Nung in 2737 BC? Yeah. Bet you didn't know that. It was pretty much a $50 tip. I'm really confused as to why he would do that. Hey, Chloe. Hey, it's on the table. Yeah, we left it on the table. And then everyone else starts to leave and says, Thanks. Money's on the table. Everyone has left $50 tips. I appreciate it. I think I know now why they all came. You know, everyone left me money. They're all really my friends. I would have never asked for help either. And I would also never accept charity. But Chloe can't turn down a tip now, can she? You know A-Troop's a family, right? And you know you're part of that family. And sometimes, let me sell each other out. A-Troop is my family. My best friend. But I do have some pretty awesome friends.
fact that the kids helped her out. And Previously on the next step. I'm super excited for the hangout party. excited that the costumes for regionals are finally here and I cannot wait to see what they look like. Here, costumes! <laughs> costumes are kind of one of my favorite parts of dancing. They're really pretty and it's new clothes, so I just kind of want to get these boxes open. What? What is that? This is not what we ordered. I'm a little bit confused. A little bit worried. It's a lion. And then I see the lion costume. What kind of world are we living in? These aren't our costumes. Yeah, what is that? They're filming the same weekend as regionals. Well, you have to come to regionals. I mean, we've worked so hard and you're a part of the team. After everything we've been through, she cannot just leave us hanging like that. Hey right, guys. I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to do and what I'm going to choose. Move on and be strong. Stephanie, I have something to tell you guys. Um, it was a hard decision to make. And I'm sorry. But I'm coming to regionals. <laughs> feeling all sorts of horrible right now do you, do, in your experiences is that a difference maker absolutely you know really? you're, yes even with riley's mess up i still think we can get higher than an 85 yeah but if we don't are we going home the judges have arrived at a decision in the third round the next step scores 84 points the next step is eliminated My 
my hand got caught in it, and then it fell out, and we just lost because of you. We just lost. Riley, this stuff happens. We're so close. It's time, Riley. Look, we all gave it our best shot. Just makes me so upset. I mean, I let the team down. I let everybody down. And now we lost. We lost it all. Riley, everyone was great, okay? You gave it your all. It happened, and there's nothing we can do about it now. That's right. You, you can't do this to yourself, okay? You just can't. Okay. Why is everyone so upset? James, really? Because <laughs> uh, last time I checked, uh, we have a chance in getting the wild card spot. You see? I completely forgot about the wild card. Sure. And we're going to get it, so... It's kind of the smartest thing James said all year. I've never heard something... That intelligent come out of his mouth. Yes. You know what? For once, James is right. I mean, other than Riley's hairpiece, we were flawless. So maybe our score will be high enough to get us there. We worked too hard not to make the nationals. And this is it. This is our last chance. If we don't get this wild card spot, we're literally going home, and it was a waste of a year. The West helped Seeds get to the semifinals just because we wanted to face them. And now we may not even get a chance. That's just kind of... Well, I'm kind of having trouble with the choreography. Eldon, you never have trouble with choreography. Yeah, but it's new choreography and we're at finals now. So... Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. It's fine. We'll talk later. Okay. Thanks. As soon as I found out you made it to finals, I knew I'd come. Come on. How did you even get here? Uh, I took a bus. Actually, I took two. You bus? Yeah. And it was eight hours. I don't think anything's going on between James and Beth. I mean, James likes me. I know that. But I don't know if Beth knows that. Okay, well, thanks for coming, but I gotta get back. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Um... I've been thinking it the whole way, and I need to tell you that I, I still love you. Um, when Beth told me she loved me, I, it's, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of a mind blower. You don't need to say anything. I just, I just need to tell you. Uh, I gotta get. I, I really have to get back on stage. Uh, Think about it. After. Okay. Good. What? What did she say? Nothing. She just wanted to tell me she's coming to watch. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Listen, I just want to focus on the regionals number. I need you to tell me what's going on. Look, I don't want to talk about this right now. Okay? I want to talk about it okay. later. What? Do you have feelings for Michelle? Emily, please, let's not talk about this right now. Elton, please. I 
I don't want to have to hide it anymore. I just want to be with Michelle. That's all I want to do. I don't have to worry about anyone else. Do you have feelings for her, Felton? us being together. I told him to wait until after regionals. And I'm nervous about this situation. I don't think he should have done it now. Why would you do that? She kind of forced me to, so. Of the 17th annual Absolute Dance Regional Competition is... But winning it with James made it a million times better. Right now, my relationship with Riley couldn't be going better. I mean, we've been together for quite a bit now, so it's, it's going great. Everyone at the studio has been calling me and James Jiley, mm. um, but it's basically just a combination of our names. So James and Riley smushed together makes Jiley. <laughs> Looking back, this season has definitely been a bumpy ride, I guess. But you know, Nationals is coming up. Um, I, I'm still me. I, I have my pride. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move forward. Um, Why do you go back for it, don't you? It's hard. I love my team with all my heart, and we have what it takes to win Nationals. So ready for national. Oh, I might have to work cool. on my technique a bit, but I got the flash down. I feel so great about my team right now. We're connecting in such a different way because now we have that regionals win in our belts, and it's so great to have everyone together soaking in that amazing moment. I am a little worried about the cost about going to nationals, especially since I knew I couldn't afford regionals. I'm assuming nationals is going to be so much more expensive. I don't know how I'm going to get there, but nothing's going to stop me. I've never been to nationals before, so I don't really know what to expect, and I'm so excited. <laughs> J Troop and A Troop is all there to celebrate. Oh, what's up, man? How you been? <laughs> yeah. Good morning. So what's up? What'd what you do this weekend? Um, not much. Sure, Emily? Just hung around. No, she hasn't actually talked to me since regionals. All right. 
Emily has been very distant ever since regionals. I don't know. I think something's going on with her. Oh, hey, Giselle. Hi, Sadie. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Does she even know you? No, but it's always smart to talk to an ancient fancy. Okay, j has got some sass this year. Tell me about it. A little sassafras. But you know, I can't even lie. I was totally the same way. Mm-hmm. Do you ever notice that Beth looks at you a lot? <clears throat> no. No, I haven't really noticed that at all. Okay. Beth is this girl from Beetroot. I know her and James had a thing a while back, but that was a while back, okay. so she just needs to get over her. Fast. Nah, I wouldn't worry about it. Yo, Daniel! Hey. Oh, hey. Daniel's here. I'm gonna holler at my boy. I'll catch you later. Hey, Riley. Hey. How are you? Oh, uh, nice hair. Oh, man. I think she's pretty chill. Changed Emily. Yeah, Changed I Emily. Something new. I didn't want people to think I couldn't handle it. Because I'm fine. Oh, if you forgot. I'm fine. What's that one Well, handle the situation, so we did. Ooh. All right, Michelle and Eldon, stand. Let's go. Don't keep everybody waiting. Okay. All right. Some of you might think that Eldon and I are dating. Oh no. We're not. Oh. Surprise. He's actually dating Michelle now. When Emily tells everyone, I'm just thinking how this is going to affect the team. I have really strong feelings for Eldon, and I know he does for me, too. And so I just hope everyone else can see that. I feel like that is probably the most hurtful thing you could do to somebody. Obviously, this explains why Emily's been acting so weird. So, you know, I just wanted to tell everyone that because I wanted you all to find out at the right time. Not the wrong time. <laughs> Michelle, let's have a front drama. Emily seems kind of off her rocker and really emotionally damaged, so I don't think we need that. I told you. I told you. Yeah, you're right. Right. You're right. Okay. If you actually think about it, man, Eldon actually started the drama. Eldon, please, it happened. Regionals. <laughs> Regionals. Yeah, but you know what? It's fine. I'm fine. There's nothing I can do. Okay. And, and I'm just moving on, okay? Okay, but just know that I'm here for you, okay? Thank you. Beth pursuing James is definitely a lost cause. I mean, clearly James and Riley are a couple. They're jolly. I mean, they have a name. Beth and James, like, that doesn't even go. <laughs> hey, James. So, <laughs> How's it going? I'm, I'm just chilling. So, did you think about what I told you at regionals? Uh, what'd you tell me at regionals? Really? You don't remember? No, no, what'd you tell me? That I love you. Mm hmm, mm hmm. And yeah, I still uh, really mean what I said. Mm -hmm. Um. What do you think? It's definitely kind of awkward. I mean, I, I, yeah, I used to like her, and she's not completely annoying now, but I definitely don't love her. Yeah. Uh, um, I think, I think it'll be fine. James is a loyal boyfriend, you know? He's, I can trust him. Yeah. Hey, James, um, do you hey. want to get something to eat? I'm kind of hungry. I'm starving. All right. You're at the Next Step Studio, and I feel personally that. Look, I, I, sorry, I, I really have to deal with this love triangle. Uh, later, okay. Ta -da! Ta -da! Right now, we are taking regional photos with our. <laughs> When Amanda walks in, my jaw drops. What is she doing here? I really got to see Amanda's true color is Adeline. I didn't trust her there. I don't trust her here. What are you doing here? Yeah. What are you doing here? I'm here to audition. I don't know if 
Amanda knows this, but we already have our team and we're not planning on changing it now. She must have fallen down and hit her head. Amanda, you can't be serious. We're not holding auditions. But you guys won regionals. That means that between regionals and nationals, you guys are allowed to change up your dance team. What? Usually dancers from other studios that lost regionals try to get on a winning team. You're making this up. Actually, Emily, she's not. We did it at my old studio. It's called The Challenge. And at Elite, we called it The Winnowing. Winnowing, when you separate the wheat from the chaff. What? 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 West. Not me. <sighs> Michelle, this is a real thing? Yes, it's a real thing. So apparently it was true, but it doesn't mean it's not a scheme. See? Regardless, the next step has our team. And you're not on it. Okay, yeah. but you guys need me. Ooh. We do. Right. We do. Oh, Chris, I'm so sorry that I haven't been able to talk to you. It's been a crazy day, crazy kids. Hey, hey I understand. Anyway. Big celebration, yes. and that's very important right yeah. now. But uh, I've been meaning to tell you something. Um, I've been offered a new job. What? I'm uh, taking a co-owner position at Superstar Dance Academy. I know. I can't believe it. I mean, he's been with the next step for so long, and the fact that after we just won regionals. Chris, we need you for nationals. We can't do this without you. Okay, you have to understand that if the next step loses, I won't be as marketable. I wish he wasn't going, but I'm happy for him. Hugsies? Hugsies? You want Hugsies? <laughs> Come on, Hugsies. Come here. <laughs> but um, do me a favor. I don't really want to talk to the kids about it right now. If you can do that, that'd be great. James and Riley are at the mall, and as we walk towards the staircase, we see Lucian yelling at Amanda. I'm the choreographer. Wait, I guys, got them there. Is that Lucian? Your job was to make sure everyone's ready to win. You're the dance captain. Stop crying and listen to me. You're the dance captain, and what did you do? You failed. So we're done. Can I not just have another shot? No, you can't have another shot. Matter of fact, I don't even want you on our team. What am I thinking? I don't want to see you in my studio again. You let everybody down, our whole team down. <laughs> if I were you, I might just quit dancing altogether. Until later, actually. Let's go. Oh, I know. I was just, uh, I'm actually here looking for someone. I'm Hunter, by the way. Oh, I'm Emily. Nice to meet Hi. you. I'm the dance captain here. Wow. He's cute. Sorry, you said you were looking for someone? Yeah, I'm looking for my girlfriend. Maybe you know her. Her name's Michelle. Clearly, the fates are conspiring against me. I really should stop getting my hopes up. Michelle with the long hair that flips it everywhere like it's an yeah. accessory. No, that sounds like her. Your girlfriend. Michelle and I grew up in the same dance studio together. Ever since we were kids, we've always been duet partners. Right before she left, we started talking about her feelings towards each other. But nothing was ever established because her dad and her whole family got transferred. But now that my mom also got transferred, I'm hoping to rekindle what we had. So Michelle doesn't know you're here? No, she has no clue. The little pl is such a hater on the next step, and for her to just walk in here and think everything's fine is just... I don't even know. Right. What is she doing here, and who invited her? I did. Why would you do that? Michelle inviting Amanda to the challenge? That's drama, and that's no good. I want to help Amanda audition for the challenge because I feel really bad for her after what Lucien did to her in front of everyone at the mall. Amanda. Hi. I really need to talk to you about auditioning, and I'd rather talk somewhere else. When Michelle comes over to me, I feel 
a little bit less nervous. She really makes me feel welcome. This girl, Emily, told me Michelle might be in culture shock. So I head in there and I'm looking for Michelle, but I can't find her anywhere. Hey, guy, you auditioning for the challenge? Yeah, yeah, I am. Sweet. Hey. hey. We're from the next step. I'm Chloe. This is James, Riley, West, and Elvin. Hey, guys. I'm Hunter. Nice to meet you. Well, Hunter, well. The 12 dancers that will make up our nationals team. Yes, and we have Emily and Michelle helping us to decide which dancers will make it through. Yo, I haven't seen you in so long. Wait, you two know each other? Yeah, she's my girlfriend. I am in love with this new love triangle. Do you know triangles are one of the strongest shapes? Fun fact for you. This is not good. That to me, but now that he's kind of messing with me and Michelle, I think he actually might be a little bit of a threat. Hey, James. So? Um, I'm actually kind of worried about this whole Emily, Michelle, and Eldon drama, and now this Hunter drama, too. Yeah, I know. Think of it if Amanda makes it in. You know how much more drama she's going to make? Yeah, maybe the challenge was a bad idea. If we didn't do the challenge, Amanda wouldn't be here, Hunter wouldn't be here, and everything would just be the way it was. Excuse me. What? It's smart to split up the team yeah. like that. I don't want to see you in my studio again. I want to find a new place to dance and to be here, but that doesn't mean I'm happy that she is. That's cute. Good luck with that. Thank you. Attitude. We haven't even made it through the first round of the challenge, and there's already new dancer drama. I mean, I hope everyone can keep it together because this is the biggest audition of our lives. He's got some tricks. I have the wow factor. I have what people will pay money to see, and I'm not threatened by him, bro. Watching Hunter dance definitely does bring back a lot of memories, but we're just friends. That little head slide right there, Michelle named it back in Madison, actually. She named it the head hunter. I'm dancing pretty well right now. Being surrounded by the best dancers in the region really pumps me up. Watching Michelle, Emily, Kate, and Phoebe come out of the office is so nerve-wracking. I'm shaking. I don't know what to do with my hands. I'm biting my nails. I'm like sweating and antsy, and I'm just excited to see who gets on the team. I have a pit in my stomach. I feel like I'm gonna throw up, but at the same time, I'm excited because I wanna see who made it. It's insane. I've never felt anything like this before. All right, you guys, I have the list of who made the first cut. You guys were all so fantastic. It made our decision extremely hard. Just keep reaching for the stars because not only astronauts can have stars, you can have your very own star too. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Um, let's do this. In our top 20, we have Michelle, Emily, Eldon. I'm so relieved just because you never know what can happen. Personally, I would have to say that Eldon is the strongest dancer today that our auditioned. I mean, he's just so great. Hunter. 
I'm like, yes, yo, I made it in. I wanted to scream and shout so bad, but you know, I'm cool. The strongest answer for me, surprisingly, was actually Hunter. I really liked his style. I thought it was fresh. I thought it was new. Riley. <laughs> James. <laughs> hearing my name is a huge relief. Oh, it feels great. Beth. <laughs> Good for Beth. You know? <laughs> Chloe. <laughs> West. <laughs> Giselle. <laughs> Tiffany. <laughs> Stephanie. <laughs> well, my name is called. I feel so relieved. I can't wait to bring everything that I got to the second round. Amanda. I'm thrilled. I mean, I just proved to all these dancers that I'm just as good as them. I think Amanda is absolutely fabulous, and there should be no reason why she doesn't make it onto the national team. Unfortunately, I see no reason to cut Amanda after the solo round, so I'm hoping choreography will be a little different. Jake. And we have two dancers from the same studio, Cass and Morgan. And from J Troop, we have both Noah and Rochelle. The J Troopers are surpassing all my expectations. I think we've got an amazing future here at Next Step. Just looking at those two, they absolutely blew me away. Okay, and the final two spots go to... Waiting for my name to be called is one of the most intense moments I think I've ever experienced. It's really scary. Daniel and Talia. It would mean the world to me to make the Nationals team. It's everything any dancer dreams. Right now, Riley and I are trying to just work through the choreography and get it down. If I don't learn the choreo in time, I'll lose my spot on each troop. James. What? Can you help me? <laughs> For the what? The choreography. Oh. Please. I mean, there's so many other people that would be happy to help her out, but she has to choose James. It's kind of annoying just because I'm spending time with just Riley. And she always seems to show up when it's literally just me and Riley. Actually, me and Riley will help you together. Yeah. From the hip hop part. Ready? Five, okay. six, seven, eight. And step, and pull. So now we both have to teach Beth the choreo? I swear, if Beth takes my spot in A Troop, James better run fast. Can this in time. At this point, I pretty much need a miracle. So let's have group one on the floor. Here we go. Woo! All right, group one. my name then everything that I've worked for would have been for nothing it's official we have our 12 dancers for a troop Woo! I'm just really hoping that how I danced today and what I brought to the audition was enough in a troop we have Riley Hearing my name is a huge relief. I mean, I worked so hard to get here, and knowing that I can go to nationals is really awesome. Eldon. Knowing that I'm on the nationals team makes me feel so much better. I'm so ready to get into this studio and just kick.
kill everything, every number. James. Woo! It feels so good to know that I get to go to nationals. I am so stoked for this year. I cannot wait to work with this group of people and just kill nationals. Giselle. When I find out that Hunter's on the Nationals team, I mean, that's gonna be bad because of drama, but he's got some stuff to add to the team, so whatever, we'll deal with the drama. Talia. When I hear Talia's name being called, it pretty much sinks in that not all original regional members are going to Nationals. The only question is, how many cuts are there going to be? That could have been my spot that she took, so it's making me all the more nervous. Chloe. I just want to jump and scream and be excited. I can't even contain it. I'm just, I'm going to nationals. Daniel. Yeah! I'm very relieved that I made the cut. Uh, I'm so excited to go to nationals. And last but definitely not least, when there's one name left to be called, and I see that the only two names that haven't been called from each group last year are me and Tiffany, I'm really nervous. I definitely feel that I'm more dedicated because, I mean, she has so many things on her plate. She's acting, she's trying to be a triple threat when I'm really trying to be a dancer. Emily is my best friend, and I don't think that she'd ever turn her back on me. Either way, someone's gonna be let down. Right now, Steph's standing beside me, and neither one of us have been called. It's between me and Tiffany now. And last but definitely not least... Amanda. Amanda? I can't believe they chose Amanda over me. I'm furious. How could Emily choose Amanda over me? That's like, that's choosing your enemy over your best friend. What is she thinking? Kate, why, why don't I make the team? Look, I know this is really hard, but it's a part of auditioning, okay? Sometimes. I don't understand how she thinks that it's okay. So did, uh, did you even fight for me in there? Stephanie, what do you, what do you want me to say? You didn't know the choreography. You know that I can learn it. It's so do they. Everyone knows that I'll learn it. Everyone here knew the choreography but you. It's not just about knowing it, it's about wanting it. I do want it. You're about to take everything away from me. I feel like my friendship with Emily was almost one huge lie. Mm. And she really proved that she wouldn't do for me what I've done for her. And I just don't know if I could ever forgive her for this. You have to look at this in a positive way. Hey, you okay? We were a team, and to not have part of the original team that called bailed on her and she's gone all yes, no. Beth Please again. Just yeah. Me. Anyway, that is why I brought you guys in. James, I would really appreciate it if you stepped up and decided to be her dance partner for the competition. James should not take the duet. You know, I don't want to say anything because Kate's right there, but hopefully he'll say no. I don't really know what I should do because I look at Riley and she didn't say anything and Kate really is this not, I can tell. <sighs> sure. Thank you, I totally appreciate that. Yeah, don't worry about it. Why don't you uh, go tell her the good news? Okay, sure. Um, don't worry. I'll catch you after, I guess. I don't understand why James agreed to this. He knows how I feel about Beth. <sighs> um, I'm probably gonna get drinks and stuff. Perfect.
Alright, enjoy. I want to be the one dating her. Ooh. But you know, I just wanted to tell you that because we're friends now. Elden needs to know that I'm not going to give up on Michelle. I'm coming after his girlfriend. Right now, I'm just learning the choreo for this duet that I'm now doing with them. And you just, yeah, just follow me. Okay. I want to do like a, can I hit like a thumb? There? Yeah, that looks good. I actually don't mind Beth's choreo, you know? Her personality is whack, but her choreos, it's not bad. Okay. Yeah, let's try it. Okay, so let's... Ooh. What? <laughs> Come on, you can trust me. Okay, I know. Here Girl, we go. But... Okay. Yeah. And... Okay. See? That wasn't bad. Ooh. You're good at that. Oh, thank you. Ooh. Okay. James and Beth dance. It's kind of hard. I mean, they have this Kim's chemistry, but I'm sure it's nothing. You know, like they've they've danced together in the past, so I mean, of course, they'd have some chemistry. I wanna try it, maybe I. Dancing with Riley is much more comfortable because she hits all of it. For Michelle. Yep. And we can never speak of this battle. Okay? Okay. No, I'll judge you. I'm putting Michelle on the line for this dance battle. I better so not this is back Where I come from back in Madison, and frankly, I'm the best dancer there, so I'm not worried about some helping guy. I'm not too sure about this dance battle. Watching Hunter dance, uh, I mean, he's good. I know that everybody 
said I love you. But they don't love you like I do, say. It's a real, it's a not. Because it fell like a shot. Oh, I really want to say that. So I start doing this thing, and he does it as well. And he held his for a while, and I kind of fell. So I know I have the upper hand. I'm starting to have second thoughts. Yo, what is that? Whack. Hunter's got moves that I can't do. I haven't really trained that much in breakdancing. Uh, what are you doing, bro? I'm just kind of getting a little less confident. The object of a battle is to back the person to a corner and make them feel defeated. And I think that I don't so. So when I pull out that head slide and back him up into his backpack, it's clear that I'm the one. Just knowing that I have to back away from Michelle, I don't know how I'm going to do it. It's the worst feeling I've ever felt. Can you laugh? Am I, am I a comedian to you? Do they know that this is a dance studio? He's not a comedian. Exactly. Let me guess, you're one of those don't even worry about it types, right? Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. That British guy nailed James's personality to a T. How does he know that? He must be psychic. Don't worry, kids. <laughs> Zoltan has showed us the designs, he hands me an envelope, and in that envelope is the bill. And the bill is huge. So here I go. As I'm walking the runway, I feel like on top of the world. <laughs> Everyone looks exceptional. I think we look awesome. It feels really amazing modeling the clothes. The cameras are flashing, people are screaming. There's so many high end fashion people out there and so many people to impress. Everybody's killing it. We're all giving model face. Oh, whoa, whoa, hold it up, hold it up, hold it up. Uniforms are here. Hey! hey. The uniforms are perfect. Yo. Cool. You move on and you go to small groups, which is around three to six dancers. There's duets. And then female solos. And after that, we do a group dance for semifinals and finals. And both the finals groups are ten dancers each. It's an elimination competition, which means if you lose one round, you're out. Honestly, I kind of like the nationals rules. I think it's kind of cutthroat, and I like that. Okay, I just want to focus on solos and duets for now. I think Michelle and Eldon should do the duet. I mean, they are pretty much the reason we won regionals. Yeah. Yeah. I really do want to do the duet with Eldon because, you know, we're dating and we have so much chemistry. It would be great. Romeo, um, actually, uh, I don't want to do the duet. I do still want to do the duet with Michelle, but a hunter beat me fair and square in the dance battles, and now I have to stay away from Michelle. Eldon. 
I'm really confused when Eldon says that he doesn't want to do the duet because there's no reason behind it. I just, I don't understand. Clearly, that means that he definitely doesn't want to do the duet with me. Well, you know what, Mr. Yo, Wes, I, I tell Wes to drop the solo because Eldon needs his confidence back, yeah, yeah, yeah. and he doesn't need anybody messing with that. Uh, you know what, never mind, Miss Kate. You got this one, Eldon. So I don't go for male solo because James told me not to. What? End of story. Yeah. It's my boy. Great, thank you, Wes. Anyone else? <laughs> the Eldon happened. No, j j j j j j j I'm a little shocked that James doesn't want me to step forward and audition for the solo. I thought everyone was supportive of everyone else in A Truth. Just drop the solo, man. Get over yourself. For the boys. For the boys. I am a team player, and the A Troop means everything to me. But at the end of the day, once I'm done at the next step, it's just me. I want it. I want the solo. Great. There'll be some competition. Okay, female solo. Who would like to audition? Doing the female solo means a lot of pressure, and I don't know if I'd be able to take that on. Anyone? Anyone? No. I don't really want to do the female solo because there's already enough happening between Eldon and I. All right, well, I'll give you some more time to think about it then. Michelle, can I talk to you about this guy? Awesome. <laughs> Michelle and I are going to be doing a duet as well. I've kind of decided to do the solo instead. I just, it's too much. I can't believe Michelle backed out of the duet. I'm so upset right now. I guess Hunter isn't as cool as he thinks he is. Uh, that's right. We have Michelle and Chloe auditioning for the female solo and Daniel and Eldon auditioning for the male solo. So, is there anyone else who'd like to audition? When Michelle backs out of being Hunter's partner, I'm upset for him. I mean, she, she didn't even tell him. She has no courtesy for other people's feelings. Miss Kate? Yes. There's one more duet to add to the list. Okay. Hunter and I. A duet with Michelle would have been my first choice, but dancing with Emily could be fun. Okay. Yeah. Doubt who got the duet and who got the solos. Ooh. Looks like we made a decision. All right, first, we'll start with the boys. Our male soloist is going to be Eldon. James is right. This is exactly what I needed to get my confidence back. Now I just need to focus on nationals. Honestly, when Eldon gets a solo, I'm pretty upset. Everyone thinks that Eldon's the best dancer and they only view me as the hurt one. And I'm tired of people having the wrong perception. So the female soloist was a very tough choice. Chloe, you came in a very, very close second. We're going to give the solo to Michelle. I don't regret auditioning for the solo because it really made me believe in myself and made me more confident, and I'm really happy that I did. Chloe was great, but I felt amazing when I was dancing. I just wish I could have done the duet with Eldon. But it's okay, though. I mean, solo's fine, too. And the duet? Riley and James. <laughs> I'm so relieved. I can't believe me and James actually got the duet. I mean, we worked really hard for this, and I think we deserve it. Now, we're going to hold auditions for the small group next week. Good job, guys. You were great. I don't know what <laughs> I don't even know what's happening right now. I just walk in and they're kissing. Mom almost won't.
like literally wash the kittens in the washing machine. I was running. No! Did I tell you what happened last night with James? No. Okay, well, so, you know, we, we won the Nationals duet, which is great, but um, yeah. I went to tell him. You know, so I go to the music room and I'm really excited about it. I'm really stoked to tell him. And then I go in and I see him kissing Beth. What? Kissing her. I don't think he saw me, but... Wait, wait, how long were they kissing? I don't know, but it seemed like forever. Riley, calm down. To be honest, I can't really gauge how serious the Jameson Beth kiss was because Riley has a tendency to overreact. Oh, you have you to talk to him. You don't know the full story, okay? Just, just see what's going on. I think Emily's right. I mean, if I give James a chance to explain, then hopefully he'll be honest and, you know, he'll tell me the truth. You can't jump to conclusions with your heart, okay? Either you're gonna get hurt or he's gonna get hurt. You don't know the full story, okay? Just so. You just have to pack that picnic and get out of here like I'm about to do to wash our cat. Oh. Uh, All right, well, have fun. Your sister is whack. <laughs> What's up? So how was the rehearsal with Beth last night? I want him to look me in the eye and tell me the truth. No one knows her. It was good. We really got some more progress with the dance, so I'm starting to feel really comfortable with it. So nothing happened at rehearsal? Nothing out of the ordinary at all? No, I've seen all. And when he lies to my face? I know the kiss had to have meant something. Why would he... Why would he not tell me the truth if it didn't mean something? Or something nothing no no, no aliens what's up i don't tell riley about the kiss because the kiss meant nothing mm. and i know that she will never understand that so yeah. for me to tell her that's it would be pointless that's funny because when i came to the music room last night to tell you that we got the national duet i see you and beth kissing and then when i give you the chance to be honest about it you lie to my face look right is there anything else you're lying to me about no riley listen beth kissed me i didn't kiss beth mm. he can try and justify it as much as he wants he doesn't change the fact that he did it and that he lied to my face about it but you didn't pull away either riley come on i riley and watching her stretch and I'm trying to read her just to see if I have any hope. <laughs> that was actually really... Yeah, man. Yo. Isn't, wasn't that funny? Sorry, what? Are you, are you good, bro? I don't know, man. I'm kind of preoccupied with some stuff. Preoccupied? With what? Yo, I, I kissed Beth, bro. Oh. And Riley saw. For most problems, I'd find a way to solve it, but maybe there's not a solution to this one. Okay, wait. No way. Wait, sure. did, did you kiss Beth or did Beth kiss you? Well, technically, she kissed me, man. Oh, all right, so you're good, man. You got nothing to worry about. Yeah. You got nothing to worry about. I mean, unless it lasts more than three seconds. What? What? What does that have to do with it? You don't know about the three second rule. Pretty much what works is if the kiss lasts more than three seconds, then that means that you're interested. It's not really your fault, you know, because it takes your brain three seconds to actually. Pro I don't know, like, like are you nine, are you nine seconds. Nine? Are you counting right now? <laughs> yeah. Well, a part of me that wants to be with him. dances I do kind of feel a little bit lighter I mean it he's showing me 
that he's trying, you know, and that's something that he doesn't normally do, so, I don't know, it makes me feel kind of special. Honestly, I think the dance is working so far. I mean, she's kind of... Let me guess. You're next in line to see the show? There's a show? Look, Beth, please. James, you ruined something really special, okay? And no dance is going to change that. Riley, come on. No, I can go. No, you stay. I'm leaving. We're over. As much as I want to be with James, and as much as I want to forgive him, small group is going to Amanda, Tally, and Giselle. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. We got the small group. We got. You okay? Yeah. I'm having trouble believing that it's over. I guess I haven't fully accepted it yet. I don't think you deserve that. That's pretty crazy. I mean, I know I messed up, but she won't even talk to me. I thought what you did was amazing, because if someone had done that for me, I would have melted. So, don't beat yourself up. No. I understand if you don't want to do the competition tomorrow. No, I think I, think I can do it. Well, do you want to? Yeah. I'm going to the competition with Beth just because I I, I I need someone there. I feel like Beth is the only one right now that really can understand what I'm going through. I think we've rehearsed enough. Why don't we go get some pizza? I'll cheer you up, go eat, rest, and we'll be all good for tomorrow. Okay. Want to do that? Come on, let's cheer you up. Still don't feel quite right about dancing with that. I don't know about this. Look at me. We got this, okay? Yeah? Let's do this. Are you ready? Yeah, okay. Get pumped. Okay. okay. Come on. Yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's do it. Let's, let's do it. Let's do this. Beth is right. I am glad I came. After everything that happened with Riley, it's kind of fun to just be somewhere else.
How's your weekend? It's okay. It's good. Um, listen, I heard about you and James, and I'm sorry. It's okay. It's not your fault. I feel bad for her. To see the person that you love with someone else, it's not fun. I know Alden's just trying to be nice, but I really don't want to talk about my breakup with James. <laughs> Riley and James aren't together and can't make it. I don't know who can. Yeah, we're not exactly the ideal couple. Well, not anymore. Well, then who is? Well, I guess James and Beth know, because they went to that competition. What? Nope. I don't know. He went to the competition. No, 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 no. How was I supposed to know that Riley didn't know about the competition? I mean, everyone kind of knew about it. It's a rumor. It's a rumor. I heard a rumor, and a now rumor. I'm realizing yeah? that it was just... I can't believe after everything that happened, James actually went to the duet competition with Beth. It's just... Don't... That's a... Hey! Hey! Hmm. I feel so uncomfortable right now. I can just sense the tension. We're the only two people in there. I mean, it's hard enough with everyone else in the room, but it's just me and him, and that hasn't happened in a while. So you came in second? Yeah. How many studios were there, two? No, a bunch. I still can't believe you went. What am I supposed to do, bail on her? Like... I don't know, but I thought you wanted to fix this. I thought you wanted to try. Well, Kate asked me to do it. I I'm don't care gonna... what Kate asked you to do. So, how's the duet going? Good. Fine. Really? I'm very worried for the Nationals duet. Riley and James normally have so much chemistry, and now they just don't mesh. To be honest, we haven't really rehearsed in a while. I can't even get Riley to talk to me. I can't even get her to look at me. We, we haven't even had the time to plan when we're gonna practice our duet. Guys, Nationals is right around the corner. You need to get back to rehearsal. Could we just maybe have a few days? That'd be cool with that, yeah. I think a few days off will be good for Riley and I. Honestly, I think she just needs a little bit more time on her own, and then hopefully we can talk about it. Fine. I'll give you a few days. But then you have to get back to it. Hi. Hey. It looks good. Yeah? yeah? I feel like I'm kind of struggling with it. It looks like you're dancing with something on your mind. It's like weighing you down. Mm. Something wrong? No. Eldon, I've known you since we were five. Yeah? What's bothering you? Nothing. I'm fine. What? Is, is it Michelle? No, we're, me and Michelle are good. We're good. I find it really weird that Emily is asking me about Michelle. She's probably the last person I would have this conversation with. You're an awful, awful liar and you always have been. Are, are you guys still together? Yeah, I, I think. What do you think? What do you mean you think? Make up your mind, Eldon. Things are really complicated right now because I wish Shell, but I've been awaiting her. So everything, it's really complicated. So how do you take me five? And walk in. And I just really badly want to talk to him. I just don't know what to say. I mean, there's so many things that I want to say, but I don't know how. Riley. Hey. What's up? When Riley taps my shoulder, I'm excited to see her. I'm starting to believe that there's hope a little bit more now. I just wanted to say congrats on your win with Beth. I am genuinely congratulating him. I mean, it may be with Beth, but I still care about him. Listen, with me and Beth... Don't... doesn't matter anymore. If it doesn't matter, then why are you here talking to me? I just wanted to say congrats. I think Riley misses me. I'm still incredibly mad at James, but 
the feelings are still there. Alan Elden, I just want to know where they are. Well, you've been avoiding me for several days now. I've been avoiding Michelle because to be with Michelle and to try and get better at dance at the same time, it's just, it's too much right now. Okay, well, things have just become really complicated lately. And with nationals around the corner, I don't know if I have it in me to balance both things at the same time. So you're breaking up with me? Well, well, can I get a little more time to think about this at least? Not really. I've given you so long, and you've avoided me this whole time. How long am I supposed to wait? It's just not fair. I don't understand. Things were going so well between us. Can you just tell me what's going on? Yeah, I guess we're done. Breaking up with Michelle is probably the hardest thing I've had to do. Really? So that's it? I'm really upset that Eldon broke up with me. I, I don't understand what's going on. We've been through so much together. And he's just gonna throw that all away? Daniel has decided to leave the next step and join Chris's new studio, Superstar Dance. What? What? I'm not really sure what to feel about Daniel leaving. I understand in a way, but I just can't believe he didn't tell me. Chris offered him the national solo. He took it. I do feel slightly responsible for Daniel leaving. I think me getting the solo might have contributed to the fact that he's leaving, but I don't know, it just, it seems like there's something more to it. Honestly, I kind of have mixed feelings about Daniel leaving because he's a really good dancer, but he started a lot of drama and he was selfish. So, I don't mind that he left. But now we're one dancer short. I know. I've already submitted the list of names to nationals. We can't add anyone. This means that if we lose one more dancer, we will have no alternates at nationals. So if anyone were to get hurt or anything, we'd be out of luck. Me and James are just not on the same page. Our chemistry is just not there. Chemistry is so important in partner work because you have to trust each other. And if there's no connection and no chemistry, it's just not going to work. At this point, I'm very worried about the duet. Normally, James and Riley work so well together and have such great chemistry, but it's just falling apart in front of our eyes. I'm feeling very, very upset with James right now. I mean, there's just all this anger built up inside of me, and I feel like this dance is really the only chance for me to physically show him how I feel. She's not even looking at me. It's kind of like there's no connection whatsoever. Actually, it's the opposite of a connection. We're repelling. The song says, don't want to make your heart break. In real life, he kind of did make my heart break. We'll pick this up tonight in rehearsal. Got it.
kind of shows me that James has moved on. So maybe I need to move on too. I'm ready to move on. I think you're making the right decision. Can we switch places, please? Oh, I just want you to know I don't really like being part of your scheme. <gasps> no. Because if I did, it would just be you alone in here. Okay? Talking about this um thing called statistics. And uh I don't know. I don't really get it. You got a little bit of ketchup just right here on your lip. Where? Here. Yeah, I realize I'm supposed to be at rehearsal right now. But honestly, I feel like I need to just take some time from the studio. Here? No, on your lip. <laughs> Yo. Hey, guys. The 24-hour challenge is that me, Noah, and Camille have to make up a song that Giselle, Chloe, and Becca can dance to. Have you guys worked on anything? Yeah, yeah we I'll do. show you what we have. You want to try it? Yeah. It's the melody. Okay. Working with James and Camille is, is fun. Like that? <laughs> well, feeding in. Right now, I'm just watching the dance battle again. Hi. Hi. Cute shoes. Yep. Seeing Michelle sitting there looking so down, it actually kind of gets to me. What's wrong with you? Nothing. It's not a big deal. Michelle, me asking you about your personal life is like a lunar eclipse. It doesn't happen that often, and it's kind of magical. So why don't you just give it a try? I don't really want to tell Emily about the dance battle just because Emily and I are cool right now, and we're friends. And it's kind of awkward because I'm talking about her ex-boyfriend. Well, Eldon and Hunter had a dance battle over me. I mean, I don't really want Eldon back. I'm kind of at peace with Michelle. I don't really want her to be sad anymore. And whoever won the dance battle apparently wins me. And Hunter won. I tell Emily about the dance battle because I know she'll give me an objective opinion. Eldon is our male soloist. If he cracked under pressure in a dance battle, what is he gonna do at nationals in front of all those people? Michelle, are you sure this isn't about you, Hunter, Eldon? I just wanna do what's best for the team, honestly. Well, there's your chance. You should go talk to her about it. I really hate to admit this, but maybe Michelle has a point. If Eldon cracked under the pressure of a dance battle, how is he gonna fare at nationals? Thanks, Emily. Good luck, Michelle. Miss Kate? Yeah? I just need to show you a really important video that we should bring it to the team before making any final decisions. I knew Michelle was gonna tell someone. But I never thought it would be Miss Kate. Well, High slide. High slide. Nice. With the, oh. the male soloist will determine our future at nationals. I don't have the ability to make such a big choice on my own. I'm sure it wasn't easy for Miss Kate to bring this to the team, but this is nationals we're talking about. Hunter, I didn't know you could do that. Good job. Get it. <laughs> Watching the video is really embarrassing. I'm supposed to be the best dancer in the studio, but this break dancer just comes in and beats me. Yeah, that's pretty that was good. amazing. Pretty good. Wow. 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 Really good. The same uh, person who brought that video to my attention actually suggested that Hunter would be the better male soloist. I think that's something we should decide as a team. Yeah. We already sure. held auditions for who the male sure. soloist was going to be. This impromptu dance battle shouldn't decide whether or not Eldon gets to keep the solo. Hunter did an audition, I auditioned. I got the solo, I should be the one going to nationals. We all know how good Hunter is and we all know how good Eldon is. Or should I say how much better Eldon is? James is right, they're both amazing. Mm. I guess the only way to settle this is by a vote. That is of course Hunter if you want the solo. Of course. Okay. 
Of course I want the male solo at nationals. I mean, it's clear I won the dance battle, so I think I should get the solo. This is a really tough decision, so I want to give you guys some time to think it through, and then we'll vote later on today. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I know what Elda can do. He's one of the best dancers we have. Say so one bye, bro. God, this Everybody knows Eldon is amazing, you know, and that's my boy. I'm gonna support him. Hunter is by far the better dancer. I can't believe Michelle would do this to me. This solo was the most important thing to me, and I never would have done anything like that to her. Are you serious? I kind of regret bringing to think about it. Now we need to decide if we're gonna do an open or a closed vote. Open. Open. Hold up, hold open. up. What's the difference between open and An closed? open vote is where we all see who everyone's voting for, and a closed vote is where we can't. Thanks, babe. Mm -hmm. Do not call me babe. I call Riley babe because I know that it will annoy her. It's obviously irritating, which is exactly what he wants. You know what? Why don't we have a vote on whether or not to have an open or closed vote? West. 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 What? And will that vote be open or closed? Oh, yeah. That's right. Honestly, can we even come together as a team just to decide on how to vote? Okay, we're gonna do an open vote. That way everyone can see where everyone else stands. All right, sure. Okay. Those who think that Hunter should be the male national soloist, raise your hand. Guess who I'm voting for? Whatever causes the most trouble. I just hope my friends realize I am the better dancer and they back me up. I vote for Hunter. He's the better dancer. And I wanna dance at nationals, it's as simple as that. I vote for Hunter because he won the dance battle. I don't let my emotions cloud my decisions. There's only five votes for Hunter. Looks like Eldon gets to keep a solo after all. Ooh. My boy. Yes. I'm so relieved that my friends pulled through for me. Four, five. Six. Six for Hunter. <laughs> it's official. Hunter, you are the new male soloist. Woo! Michelle probably just voted against me because I broke up with her. She can't possibly think that Hunter is a better dancer than I am. You hear me? I can't believe neither of you voted for Elton. <laughs> it was what's best for the team. Exactly. Oh, really? Best for the team? Or for you? Anyways, it's going really good, but I have to make sure. That Thank you. Good. Thanks. excited as well right now we're holding auditions to find a singer for our band why because noah won't man up and sing in public i caught a glance of you in the twilight baby a pink and purple like the sun everybody's taking notice of you girl you know that you're the one i want what what is happening right now And you know why? Woo! Woo! It's really good. I don't even think words can describe her singing, um, except for it's terrible. That's it. <laughs> uh, we're excited to hear you, Talia. I'm ready. So uh, let's see what we got. Okay, we can do this, darling. You know the sky is falling. Whoa! You weigh heavy on my heart. Yeah, you know I can be the one to love you if you only ask me to. Talia's actually pretty good. I mean, she can sing, but she's so weird. Like, she's lying on the floor. On heart, yeah, you know I can be the one to love you if you only ask me to. I would like the singer of our band to be standing up while they're singing. Give it a go. I think auditioning for the band will be good for my cover. If I gain everyone's trust, It'll help me take down the next step. Um, okay. I'm actually really nervous. 
Oh, there's no need to be nervous. Right, Noah? Stop, huh? Let's give it a go. Mm. I caught a glance of you in the twilight, baby. All pink and purple like the sun. Good. All these people are taking notice of you, girl. And you don't even know you turn them on. I had no idea a man could sing like that. You weigh heavy on my heart and you know I will be the one to love you if you only ask me to. She's amazing. She's the one. Excited to see you play today. We're not even gonna get to play if Amanda doesn't show up. Unless someone would man up and just sing the song. You're making me go nuts, man. I'm not doing it. There's no way I can do it. I could do it. We know. Hey! Hey, Charlie can do it. I like your shirt. Thanks. Charlie had asked me to come sing. Go deep, get over your silly little fear, and sing for our band. James shoots this look at me, and I'm a little more scared of him than I am performing. Fine. Let's do it. Guess who's performing? Beth cheering James on is extremely annoying. I mean, it's Beth, so of course it's going to be annoying. Mm. I caught a glimpse of you in the twilight, baby. All pink and purple like the sun. Things are going really well right now. I'm so glad I haven't messed up in front of Riley, and everybody's loving it. I just hope Noah's voice doesn't crack and he runs off the stage crying. I know the sky is falling, oh, you were heavy on my heart, yeah, you know I could be the one to love you, if you only, only, oh. Even though Riley is hanging with Charlie, I can't help but think that there's a part of her that came to see me. Get to your love. Draw me a map to your heart. I can't help but watch James perform. I mean, I may have come for Charlie, but James is really all I want to see right now. I can do this, darling. I know the sky is falling. I'm just sitting here waiting for rehearsal, and I can't stop thinking about the fundraiser last night and seeing Riley and Charlie together. It's the next day, and I come into the studio and I see James sitting there. I guess I'm just gonna have to lay it on thick. James, I'm really sorry. I had a family emergency. I feel really bad, but I couldn't miss it. I'm kind of surprised. Uh, I didn't see that coming. So, you know what? That makes sense. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's gonna be fine, but how'd the fundraiser go anyways? Noah got over stage fright, so it was fine. That's good. Guess what? What? Elite snuck into another regionals and won, which means they're coming to nationals. Yeah, that's right. Elite's going to nationals. Do you know anything about this? No. Why would I know anything about this? Elite getting into nationals is... Raise your hands. This solo is the most important thing. Let's go from the left. 
So Talia and I are cooling down after rehearsal, and uh, James and Riley are working on their duet. But it's not going so well. James, put me down. It's supposed to spin. No, you have to put me down now. Oh, man. Man. Yo, you have to trust me. I've lifted you before. I can do that lift. Trust you. James wants me to trust him after everything he's done to me. It's just not gonna happen. They're a mess. At this rate, they wouldn't win nationals in 10 years. Yeah, we could do a better duet than that. Actually, that's not a bad idea. What do you mean? Think about it. If you and I did a duet and challenged them, they'd want to make theirs better. If Riley and James think their duet is threatened, they're gonna step up. That's a really good idea. Let's go tell Miss Kate. Okay. I think the plan will work. I know if my duet was being challenged, I would work 10 times harder. So I have faith in James and Riley. Hey, Hunter. Yo, Ems, what's up? I approached Hunter because I'm thinking about getting two tickets to a concert tonight, and I want to know if he'll go with me. Mm. What are you reading? <sighs> My super sweet... Vampire, Vampire romance. romance! I Yo. love this book. Oh, seriously? Yeah. Um, Giselle and I want to challenge James and Riley for their Nationals duet. Uh, like this. <clears throat> okay, James. Our plan is to fake challenge James and Riley for their duet, hoping that we'll be able to motivate them. <laughs> Guys, that's not a good idea. I mean, I know they're struggling right now, but they're our best bet to win at Nationals. No, we know that. But it'd be a fake challenge. You know, a good way to motivate them. I don't know. I think that's too risky. Well, if James and Riley think their duet's in jeopardy, then they will work harder. Okay, come oh, here. you come here. Come here. You come on. here. <laughs> okay. That may be worth a shot, but I'm gonna give them another day to figure things out, and if it doesn't work, then we can do your challenge. Okay, okay. sounds good. Tally, we should probably go work something yeah. out. Thanks for the music game. room. Thanks. There's a little part of my foot. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's not the wrong it's foot. It's the right foot that goes in front. He tells me that I'm the one who's wrong when I'm the one who choreographed it. I learned the dance as well. It's right, it's the right step. No, it's My not. My left foot is the foot that's supposed to go in front. No, it's not. It's the right foot. The right foot is the correct foot. That's the word, correct. But yes, yes the left foot is the correct foot. No, it's foot. the right foot. No, it's, it's the, the left foot. Right foot. It's the left foot. It's the right foot. That's hey guys, why I put it in front. I don't mean to interrupt you, but I need some rehearsal time. My ex-girlfriend is going on a date with her. Know that no matter what we do, we're always going to be fighting, so... I just leave. Uh, Can you believe that? Man, she uh, just walks out? Like, what? She's gone. We're in the middle of rehearsal. She's gone. What is up with you, man? I found out Michelle and Hunter are going on a date. Tonight. I'm shocked. I just... I feel so bad for my boy. How did you find that out? I was at Culture Shock, and I overheard them talking. It's rough. I'm never going back to Culture Shock again. I'm never <laughs> eavesdropping again. That's done. All right, James? Man, relax. We'll be fine. We'll get over this. No. I'm not gonna get over this. The only thing I had at the next step was my national solo. And ever since Michelle took that away, I don't really have anything. I don't even know why I'm really here anymore. The next step isn't fun anymore. Dance isn't fun. Coming to the studio just puts me in a bad mood. Damn. I'm so upset I have a twitch in my left eye. How does that even happen? Yeah, I can see that. But, bro, we need to get out of here. Come on, we'll talk. No. Man, I need to get you out of this environment, man. You're as blue as your shirt. There's so much drama going on right now, we just need to get out and get our minds off of what's going on in the studio. I got issues, too, and we can talk about them. I'll tell you mine, you tell me yours. I don't even want to see these walls anymore, and I know you don't either. Let's go. I don't really know what I'm doing right now. I don't know what I should be doing, so might as well just leave with James and just try to... Yeah, we could go grab some food or something just to give our minds a break from all this drama. What do you want from Michelle, though? Like, what do you want from her? I don't know, man. Like, I tried pushing her away and just focusing on dance, but that, that clearly did not work. It was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. And when Michelle voted for Hunter in the solo instead of me, I just felt like I lost her entirely. I thought Michelle and I could be friends at least, but after she took away my national solo, I don't know anymore. 
I miss hanging out with her, man. You miss her? Yeah. You miss her as a girlfriend, you miss her as a friend? Mm. I don't know. You know what? Maybe the fact that you don't know is a good thing. The fact that you don't know means you don't want her as a girlfriend, or else you'd know 100%. If he doesn't know if those feelings are there and they're iffy, he doesn't want her back as a girlfriend, he just wants her back as a friend. Yo, let's do some acquisition therapy. Let's go get a shawarma. Let's go. Hey, I'll eat it, but I am not enjoying this one. Oh, bro, it's a shawarma, man. Oh, I need to see for one last time whether or not James and Riley are going to be able to pull it off. The duet is going the same as it always does, badly. I am very worried that Kate wants to see the duet. It's not ready, and I know she's going to say something about it. I see two partners who are not working together, a duet that we will not be able to win at nationals with. OK, stop. Stop. That's enough. I decide that it's time for Giselle and Talia to challenge Riley and James. We've got to do something to get them to work together. Giselle and Talia are going to challenge you for the duet. What? They should have competed for that when they had the chance. Nationals is right around the corner, and you guys are far from ready. The challenge will happen this afternoon. This afternoon? How did Giselle and Talia put together a duet so fast? Were you planning this the whole time? Look, I have to do what's best for the team. If this is what it comes down to, so be it. I can't believe Giselle and Talia <coughs> are planning this behind our backs. Honestly, I didn't see it coming. If you guys want to keep your duet, I need you to prove it. I'm watching Giselle and Talia's duet, and then I look over and see Riley and James. They're not even paying attention to what is going on in front of them. So distracting. There's a lot going on with Eldon and everything. Eldon, that's what you're most worried about. Our Nationals duet is on the line, and so is our relationship, and he doesn't even care. It doesn't always have to be about us, Riley. <laughs> it's never about us, James. We haven't talked about this. OK, you made your point. Thank you. Just stop. Well, I just feel like no matter what I do, it's not good <laughs> enough. <laughs> you're sitting down, so you can't get it. How is that, Riley? You just want me to stop trying. No, I want you to stop talking about this. Stop losing focus. Good work. Yes. I thought you wanted <laughs> to fight for this. I... Come on. Hmm? Sorry, what do you want to Thank you. <laughs> All right. You guys are up. I want to know once and for all if James really does want to fight for this. Is this even worth fighting for? I know it's not about the duet. It's about our relationship. It takes two people to be in a relationship. So if she's not fighting, then I can't. No. It just kind of finalizes how he felt this whole time. We don't want it anymore. Riley. See, done. As I'm going to tell Hunter that I have feelings for him, I'm nervous. I mean, I don't know what he's going to say. I don't know how he'll react. I, uh, I came to find out how your date went. It was horrible. Why? The whole time, she just talked about Eldon. I mean, obviously, I feel bad for him, but probably not as bad as I should. You want to hear something funny? Sure. 
the whole time Michelle was blabbering about Elvin, you know who I was thinking about? Um, the band? You. When Hunter tells me he was thinking about me on the date, I mean, it gives me butterflies. Maybe he has the same feelings I do. I should have gone with you to the concert. You shut up. Trust me, I've lifted you before. We need to find a way to get James and Riley to take back the duet. I just really want to tell her that I saw her kiss Hunter. Hey. Hi. I just wanted to tell you that I saw you. Saw me what? Kiss Hunter. That's a little creepy. Look, I think what you're doing is kind of low. What am I doing, Michelle? Well, you know that Hunter and I have history, and I guess you didn't respect that. When Michelle tells me what I'm doing is low, I'm shocked. She did the exact same thing, except worse. Maybe if you had shown any respect for my relationship with Eldon, you could still have one with Hunter. I'll see you in class. As much as I hate to admit it, Emily's right. If Eldon and I hadn't have dated, none of this drama would have been happening. Great. Hi, what's up? Look, we didn't really want the duet. It was a fake challenge. We just wanted to push you and James to work harder. It makes sense that Giselle and Talia wouldn't actually challenge us. I mean, it doesn't seem like them to go behind our backs like that. And it was sweet of them for trying to push us, but it just wasn't working. Look, guys, I really appreciate it, but I just don't care anymore. Riley, we're really, really sorry. Please, we need you guys to do the duet. You have to do the duet. James and Riley are meant to do the duet. End of story. Because you're lucky I'm even on the team right now. I don't see it as letting the team down at all. By giving the duet to Giselle and Talia, it gives us a better chance. Is there anything we can do? Yeah, you can practice. You're the new Nationals duet. Don't let us down. Riley. Riley, please. I feel like he could be the right person to talk to. Can I talk to you for a minute? Michelle wanting to talk to me just is getting really annoying because we're not dating anymore. Can you talk to someone else? Can you do me that favor, please? Well, I don't really have anyone else to talk to. Do you have any idea how hard this is for me? We had a perfect relationship, and I can't deal with it just knowing that we could still be together if it weren't for Hunter. Look, Eldon, I just, I really need a friend right now, and I just want to know if you could do that for me. Please? I decide to talk to her because at some point, I'm gonna have to be okay with Michelle being around and being friends with Michelle. So, Lily, I've been kind of feeling like the next step isn't really for me, and I don't know how to say this, but I just don't know if I 
feeling like dance is the right thing for me anymore. I used to love dance. I used to always want to be here. And it's not really what I love anymore, and I don't know what to do about it. I know exactly how you feel. So what do you do when you feel that way? I mean, what's your advice? Honestly, it always comes back to dance. No matter what happens in my life, I know that I'll always be able to turn to dance. I forget about all the drama. I forget about anything else that's happening. Dance is the reason I'm here. And that's how I get through it. So what happens if you don't really love dance anymore? It's going to be the hardest decision of your life. Right. I don't know if Michelle was looking to me to tell her to stay, but I can't tell her to stay right now. I just got to give her advice and leave it at that. Thanks for that. I can't believe Michelle and Hunter, it's like, <laughs> Riley won't even talk to me. This Hunter kid is like, I'm sick of him. I'm sick of it. I don't want him here anymore. No, I need to find a way to get to talk to her. Michelle just, I don't know. She just keeps coming to me and she keeps like asking me for advice and stuff. And it's like, Eldon, can we talk? Eldon, can we talk? Like, no. I wish Riley would talk, man. Yeah. She's not talking at all. She won't even look at me. Girls are way too complicated. <laughs> Me and my brothers used to have this chant, and every time we got down about something, we, like, scream it around my house, like, running around my house, just <laughs> screaming this chant. Let me chant. hear it, man. <clears throat> okay, well, it goes. Ole, 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 cheer up. I didn't ole, hear you. Ole, 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 ole. Ole, ole, cheer up. Ole, 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 ole. Ole, ole, cheer up. Ole, 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 ole. Ole, ole, cheer up. Wes just kind of walks in and just starts chanting. He doesn't even know what he's chanting about. Ole, 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 ole. Ole, ole, cheer up. Ole, 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 ole. Ole, ole. I don't know what they're chanting for. Maybe they're chanting for a cause. Like saving whales or something. And I want to save a whale, so. Ole, 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 ole. Ole, ole, cheer up. West is. I'm walking home, and I see Riley ahead of me. So I just run up to her. I just want to talk to her. I don't know why James is walking home with me right now. I mean, I don't even want to talk to him. So we just kind of walk in silence for a while. So where's Beth? Lately, I never see you two apart. She hangs around you like... Like... Like a moth to a light bulb? Yeah, like a moth. Which makes you the light bulb? I tell you, I'm not the brightest light bulb. <laughs> <laughs> Riley, what happened to us? I thought we had everything. So did I. But that's just life, I guess. Look, I have lots of homework, so um, I should get home. I'll walk you home. No, I should go alone. Drums alone, so I can have some time just to myself. What? Listen, the challenge was a fake. We just wanted to motivate you and Riley. We didn't really want to steal your duet. We want to give it back to you. Did you ask Riley? Yeah. 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 And what'd she say? She wanted it back. Yeah. Yeah. She but wanted it she back. She said that. Yeah, right. No, she did. They know what's going on with me and Riley. And then they lie to me and say that she wants it back? You and Riley are just... Uh, just excuse me, just one second, please. I thought James would fall for it. Now I really don't know what to do. First Riley, now... We had... Can you just shut up?
You Dad, fuck off. You, fuck you. you. That's not what I asked. You know, what I just want to know if you want to be with her. Yeah. I actually can't believe that Hunter likes Emily. been crazy preparing for nationals we've been trying to stay positive but things aren't good we started with 12 dancers but lost daniel i've decided that unless i can have the solo at nationals i have to leave and we're definitely gonna miss you here so then we were down to 11 dancers and things just kept getting worse Kiss me. I didn't kiss Beth. We're over. I was thinking about our relationship and our breakup, and I'm not down with it. I'm getting you back. We'll see. We're not back together, but we're talking again and we're trying to fix things. But the relationship drama didn't stop there. I came to the studio to get my old girlfriend, Michelle, back. Oh, I haven't seen you in so long. I've fallen for someone else. So Hunter and I came up with a plan to break them up. And lucky for us, it worked. So you're breaking up with me? Yeah, I guess we're done. But it didn't matter, because Hunter and I kind of fell for each other. But all the drama was too much for Michelle. I just don't know if I feeling like dance is the right thing for me anymore. It's going to be the hardest decision of your life. I just want you to know that the studio will always be here for you. I know. And now we're down to 10 dancers. If we lose one more, we can't go to nationals. And guess what? I'm here to make sure they don't. Amanda might not want us to get to nationals, but I'm gonna make sure we do. Amanda's a double agent. She's only at the next step to take it down from the inside. We didn't have enough evidence to bring to Kate, so we came up with our own plan. You know the expression, keep your friends close, but your enemies closer? Yes. By being close to her, we can take her down. I had to make the team hate me. You are no longer the dance captain. So that Amanda would think I wanted to join her. But I don't know if our plan is even going to work. Everything is on the line right now. My friendships, the next step's chance at nationals. It all comes down to this. I know about your plan. What plan might this be? Oh, you know, the one where you're still at a lead. You're here undercover to try to bring down the next step from the inside. Does that plan ring any bells? I'm shocked that Emily knows about my plan. I don't, I don't know what she wants. I don't know 
what she's gonna do, if she's gonna tell, if she's gonna get me kicked out. I don't know. What are you gonna do about it? It's not like anyone would believe you now. That's the thing. I don't plan to tell anyone. Under one condition, of course. You let me help bring down the next step. I don't really know what game she's playing with me right now. Well, look who's late. She's been missing rehearsals, walking in late, isolating herself from everyone. I really don't even think she wants to be here. Seriously, I've lost all respect for her. She's just back to her old Emily ways. What do you do? She seems pretty intent about making everyone hate her, but I'm still not convinced that she's on my side. Hey, Chloe, what's up? <laughs> I walk over to Riley because I just want to kind of see where we're at. Um, what are you doing? When Riley pushes my arm away, honestly, it's a little bit of a blockade. But I'm seeing past that. Very soon, that arm will be accepted. Watch. See, I never said we were getting back together. I said maybe you might think about the idea of getting back together. What? Well, what can I do? After everything that happened with Beth and James, he needs to prove that I can trust him again. I got an idea. What? Make a list. A list? Put anything you want on it, and I will do it. Really? Anything? Anything. Anything? Anything. Anything at all? Anything. And once I complete it, we're back together. OK. Down? Yeah. Shake on it. I think it's a good idea. I... Hey, sweetie. Hey, what's up? Nothing. When Beth approaches me, I just think now's my chance. I need to do whatever I have to do to break it off with her. I'm just getting it done right now. Um, we need to talk. Ooh, I'd love to talk. No, um, we need a breakup. OK. OK? Yeah, cool. OK, cool. Good on you, Beth. She took it well. Um, did you not hear what I said? Yeah, we're broken up. Yeah, um, let me make this as clear as possible. I love Riley. And I love you. <laughs> we can never, ever, ever be together. <laughs> You're so funny. What? Did you know you? <laughs> the best couples break up all the time. Will I ever be able to break up with Beth? You know what? I've done everything I can think of to make Amanda let me in on her plan. But it's just not working. Do you have any ideas, or...? Oh, uh, well, not really, and... Well, Riley, even if I did, I mean, I wouldn't tell you. I just kind of want to keep you as far removed from the situation as possible. Makes sense. Um, I have my date with Hunter, so... I guess I'll see you later. Yeah. <sighs> okay, she's gone. Ooh. So what's up? Just chilling. <laughs> so listen, uh, I'm having a hard time with Beth. Believe it or not, I've tried to break up with her several times, mm -hmm. and she's not taking a hint. <laughs> really? Yeah. So do you think, just for like the time being, I could like push it off and work on something else? Are you sure you want to do that? I mean, you can't even get number one done. We should probably just scrap the whole thing. <laughs> Please, Riley. I will get number one done. I just need to work on the harder ones first. Just kill okay, them off. You know? Okay, okay. Here. Told me to make your list. I made list? you a list. Yeah. I'm definitely pumped to see the list because I know all of it's going to be easy. <sighs> okay. 20. Feeling big, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh. I hope you're joking about number seven. <laughs> That's a joke, right? <laughs> no, no, it's, it's for real. Am I regretting that I came up with the idea of the list? Don't tell Riley, but yeah, kind of. Are you having second thoughts? Or, cause we can, we can just, you know, cut the whole thing. No, you know, I'll do it. Even though it might involve me having to get a passport. And you know, it's life threatening, but no, yeah, yeah. I'll do it. Some of them are nearly impossible. 
if James wants September 4th, 2003. Oh, no, 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 not now. Um, in culture shock, in front of everyone, out loud, as if it was your own diary. Seeing James preparing himself to read my diary is honestly very sweet. I want to read an entry from my, uh, diary. <laughs> James has a diary? That is funny. Dear diary, I hate Kelsey. Today, I was playing with my new doll, and I got it for my birthday from my mommy. Oh, that doll, I used to love that doll. I put her down to talk to Laura, but when I came back, Kelsey took the doll and was putting it next to her doll. I'm actually shocked. You know, I'm, I'm learning something new about him today. But her doll was gross, and it had mud on it. I told Kelsey to give it back. She said, no way, Jose. So I started to cry. I don't know why I'm so silly sometimes. I ran out of the bathroom and hit Bobby G. Bobby's so cute. <laughs> Who's Bobby G? I mean, how come he hasn't introduced him to us. Bobby G was cute. Too bad he was my boyfriend in second grade. Kelsey took the dolls to the bathroom because she said they were dirty, but only her doll was dirty. After talking to Chloe, I realize I should hear Miss Kate out. But I walk in and I see everyone, and it just reminds me of all the drama. It's a little overwhelming, and I know I can't handle this, so I back out. I'm not going back to the next step. Hunter and I are great. I mean, he's one of the only... The dolls and tried to give me mine back, but I said... I see Emily and Hunter talking at the bar, and I realize she really likes him. I'm going to find a way to use this. And me and Bobby went and played handball, and it was the best day ever. James, XO, X, O. What's up? Not much. Thought you might want this back? Yeah. You did a good job, by the way. Thank you. I was impressed. Feels good when Riley tells me I've read the diary well. Feels really good. Actually, I was meaning to tell you, after the performance, I actually read a couple pages. How, how many? Uh, well, the whole thing. Yeah, I read the whole thing. The whole diary. It was great. The whole thing? Yeah, I especially love this one entry. Um, June 10th, was it? What one was it? <sighs> uh, just the whole day playing, house. Um, oh, here it is, yeah. A new boy came to the studio today. He's a little goofy, but he's cute. He's really cute. <laughs> That's me. We'll see, wink face. Yeah. Goodbye. I didn't write that about you. <laughs> Oh, yeah? I wrote that about Eldon. Oh, Eldon, right? That's weird, because Eldon joined two years before me. <laughs> really, for me, I mean... Number 11. Yeah. Number 11 is that he has to make up a move named after me. I already got the name, actually. What is it? Don't worry about it. Surprise. Okay, well then, when you, you know, figure it out, let me know. Try it. Honestly, I thought for sure James would have given up, but seeing that he's so committed and determined to get this done, it's just really nice to see. Oh! oh. Yo, what's good, guys? What's up, man? I feel like I've done a lot of wrong to the guys, especially Eldon, but I feel like it's time to mend that relationship up. 
You guys, I want to be boys with all you. I feel like we can all get along. I'm not OK with Hunter because, first of all, he ruined my relationship with Michelle. Second of all, he stole my national solo. And those were the two biggest things in my life. What can I do to make it up to you guys? After what he did to Eldon, there's no way that we're going to forgive him. Oh! Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's really any. Hold on. Yo, why don't, we, why don't you teach me that head slide move thing? What? Yo. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, you're such a cello. I don't even want to talk about Wes forgiving Hunter. He's so random. What? You kidding? You're just gonna, you're just gonna do that. For you're just gonna head slide. He just sold himself out just for one simple head slide. We could have figured that out on our own. We didn't need Hunter. The head slide. Yeah, yeah. yeah yes, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, no, I get it. Yo, okay. what? what? Basically, a lot of people right think now, to man. do it on the top of your head. What? Do it on, you want to do it on the front? Yeah. Check it out. Oh, oh. That's so sick. James, I know there's something. Nothing. We won. I don't forgive Hunter because of what he did to my boy Elton. It's unfortunate that James tells me to move on, but I'll figure out something. Elton, what can I do, bro? Nothing. Move on like 10 people ahead of me. <laughs> no, dude, I'm not going to move yeah, on. Yeah, you are. No, I owe yep. something to you, man. Hear me I'll out. I'm going to bake nope. you the best cake, bro. No, you're not. Yo, it's going to be chocolatey. It's wait. going to be creamy, delicious. I'm going to put two layers. Wait, you yeah. said, uh, chocolate? Chocolate cake has always been a uh, certain weakness of mine. How many layers? I'm going to put two layers in of fudge. Double layer. Fudge. 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 Yeah, it kind of just topped it off. I'm still not cool with him, but that cake sounds really good. OK, cool. It's done. I yes. guess James. Hey. hey. Lately, I've just been trying to break up with Beth, and she is not getting the hint. What's so, that? Uh, I'm just working on a move right now. Really? Yeah. Can I see? I'm actually trying to, like, create a new move. Why? <sighs> For Riley. But we're together. This is my golden opportunity to help James. I feel like we could be good friends. Bros, even. Actually, hey, Beth. Guess what? They're giving out free juices in the culture shop. But do they blueberry? Yes, let's go. <laughs> I'll be back, okay? How did he do that? I didn't think taking Beth away from me was possible. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Isn't this so cool? Yeah, it's pretty cool. So right now I'm buying Beth a drink just to get her away from James. <gasps> Look at that, too. Yeah. That's something. I wish I could put my leg behind my head like that, though. Oh, yeah, I'm sure you'll get there. Can you do that? No. No? Do you think you'll try? No. No? What about that? We should try that. I'm kind of <clears> busy. <throat> like... Oh, hey, excuse me uh, for a sorry, second. Sorry, Beth. <sighs> hey, thanks for saving me back there. Um, I just wanted to come check how it's going with the boys. Yeah, no, it's going well. Wes is my boy. He's on my side. But I'm still kind of working on James and Ellen. Ah, uh, hence. Hanging out with Beth. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Hopefully it'll be worth it. Yeah, I was about to oh. say. Right now, I am just waiting for James to come to Studio A because he told me to meet him here. James has always been one to surprise me. Okay. A number 11. Coming at ya. I like the move. It's actually kind of cool. Of course she likes it. She loves it. And what do you call that? Hmm. The Riley roll-up. Oh, I see what you did there. Uh-huh. I like it. It's amazing. Right? Yo, so we're boys now, right? Actually, uh, there's one more thing I'm going to need you to what? do. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, yo, you guys, oh. my nose. Oh! Yes, Eldon. When he shoves the cake in his face, completely deserved on Hunter's part. Big props to my boy, Eldon. That's hilarious. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if it makes him feel better about me stealing his girlfriend, then whatever, dude. It's all good. So now we're good, bro, right? <laughs> well, actually, there's one more thing. Yes. After that. Um, 
I want my solo back. And you better bring it when I challenge you. you bring it. Me and Hunter are pretty cool. We're not exactly cool, though. I still need to win my solo back. All right, dude, sounds good. All right. <laughs> Yo, check this out. Dude, you got, you got, you got something, something on your face. Emily, <laughs> Emily, oh, I just want to tell you something real no. quick. No. I love my clothes and my hair, let alone my skin. So he better not touch me. All right, I'll see you tonight, okay? Okay. Get down okay. I'll be right back. Hey, Emily. I know what you can do to prove yourself. Really? Okay, what is it? You have to break up with Hunter. I've done so much to isolate myself and make everyone hate me. I've given up everything. I just don't know if I can give up this too. Get her off my hands. Um, I'll be right back, okay? Right? I can't believe we're actually the party. I can't, bro. Much bro, bro, bro. I can't handle it anymore, man. I can't do it, man. She's crazy. <laughs> well, man, my, my offer still stands. My offer to James was to take Beth off his hands so that him and I are cool. If I do it, we're bros. Yeah, bro, all right. Yes. Just get it done. If I can't get Hunter to take Beth off my hands, then I could be stuck with her Forever. And from what I understand, that's a very long time. find a four-leaf clover and I can't find them anywhere I mean it's a four-leaf clover obviously it's not gonna be easy to find but I've been looking forever oh I found one you found one I uh, no no it, it's, it's just a five-leaf uh, man what it's so thoughtless mmm he threw a five-leaf clover I can't handle him sometimes I thought we were looking for four-leaf clovers I could have just ripped off one leaf well, you should have told me that. Anything for enough. What are you waiting for? Well, you know, he's, um, he's a little busy right now. I don't want to interrupt. Clock is ticking, Emily. I don't know if Emily will actually break up with Hunter. She's really hesitant. And that's not a good sign. Room because we want to offer some of the baby ballet kids money to find us a four leaf clover. Whoever can find me a four leaf clover, I'll give them a hundred dollars. Oh, wow. <laughs> she actually just, dude, she totally just left for a hundred bucks. Um, um well, how, how come you guys are not ready? A hundred bucks doesn't mean anything to us. Really? Apparently, children have no concept of money. I think it's time for another incentive. What about 100 cupcakes? Oh, yeah, now you're talking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. right. oh. Uh -huh. Sweet, you see that? I guess we got to use a brain. Yes, cupcakes. There it is. I should have thought of that from the top. See, Wes, he can be annoying, but he's a smart guy. Although, he's probably not good at math because cupcakes are probably more than a dollar each, which means we're probably going to have to spend more than $100. <laughs> He'll believe that you and I have a thing so that he gets jealous and comes to you. I'm trying to talk to Beth about breaking up with James, but she seems pretty distracted. I don't know. I don't want to hurt him. What are, they, what are they doing over there? Riley has made James go on these quests to bring her items so that he proves that he still loves her. So he's just doing that all for her? Yeah, like right now, he's looking for a four-leaf clover. What about this? No. What about this? 
That's just two, two leaf clovers taped together. It's four leaves? No. I got it. What about this? You got a tattoo with my name on it. Yeah? How do you say no to that? No. I got Eldon to draw a tattoo on me, because he's actually a pretty good art today. I just taught that class, so I was thinking about walking. OK. I can, like, walk with you if you want. Keep you company. No, I think I'd, uh, I think I'd rather be by myself. I don't know if she's avoiding me or if it's just a bad day. I hope it's just a bad day. I'm avoiding Hunter because I don't really want our breakup to come as a surprise to him. I want to kind of ease into it, I guess. OK. this dance battle. It would be terrible if he loses his solo and his girlfriend in the same day. Whoa, hey, sorry in a flick. Open the night, then I win the next six. Like, whoa, girl, I saw in a mag. Bought it right there, put the cup. I don't know who's gonna win, but it's off of the dance floor. Cause the feeling shot. In the heels of your walk. It's a real as a night. I'm done. There's no way I can beat this guy. He's dancing on a whole. Uh, Ashley. When I see Beth, I'm confused. I don't know what she could want right now. So, um, I heard you were looking for this. Is that a four leaf clover? What? <laughs> um, you know, I need this, though, right? Yeah, to win back Riley. But why would you? Because I love you, James. But you love her more. I think I'm, I think I'm finally going to let him go. I, I just love him so much. And I know he doesn't love me. And I just want James to be happy. And I know Riley's the girl. I mean, I wish it was me, but... I guess not. Check this out. <gasps> Booyah, four-leaf clover. Uh... And where did you find this? Don't worry about it. Cross. <laughs> Done. Done. Mm -hmm. Four leaves. What was that about? Oh. <laughs> she have a four leaf clover in her hand? Yeah. Yes. My team needs me. And I'll do anything for my team. Are you okay? I, yeah, I'm. We just, um. We just need to uh, talk. I want to break up. I just don't understand why. Well, um, clearly we are just at different places in our lives. It's not you. This one's really me. It's not you. It's me. Are you kidding me right now? It's what? not you. It's not you, OK? I thought we had a good thing going. Clearly you've thought wrong then, didn't you? It's the end of the conversation, Hunter. You can go. I'm not coming.
luck. What's up? Just chilling. I've decided to do the task that scares me the most. Number seven. Number 10, getting to know Emily. I am kind of scared of getting to know Emily because it's going to be like a chore. It's going to be hard to deal with because she's hard to deal with. I know that James and Emily aren't exactly the best of friends, so I thought it would be nice if they got to know each other a little better. <laughs> okay, you have to find one thing about her that I don't know. One thing? That's it? And then it's done? Yeah. Just one thing about her thing. that you don't know. Done. Let's do it. Okay. I guess I'm cleaning mirrors then. Good luck. <sighs> Come on. I can do this. Hey. What's up? I feel like we don't talk enough. I feel like we talk a lot. Really? Maybe too much, yeah. I disagree. That's why I'm going to take Riley's spot and finish cleaning with you. OK, um, you're going to have to do the tops of all the mirrors, though. So. Sure, I'd love to do the tops. Emily is pretty stubborn. I don't know if James is going to be able to do this one. When James comes to clean, I immediately know it's because of the list. I know what's on the list. He's not fooling anyone. And this isn't going to be easy for him. What's your favorite movie? Um, Pride and Prejudice, but Riley knows that. Emily's not going to make this easy, but I'm not going to make this easy for her to not make this easy. I love this color of blue. It's like the perfect color. What's your favorite color? Riley knows that. What's your uncle's email address? Riley knows that. Fish's middle name and last name. Don't have a fish. Riley knows that. Riley knows that. Riley knows that. Uh, maybe it's going to be harder than I thought. I noticed Michelle sitting with Giselle and Talia. I hope they don't see me. If you off the team, they won't have enough. They'll have to forfeit. OK. Got it? Why is Michelle here? I don't get it. Is she back at the next step? What's going on? What do you like? Everything. Everything. Even opera? Yeah. Emily is driving me nuts. Why couldn't number 10 be something easier, like going down Niagara Falls in a wooden barrel? I enter culture shock because I kind of want to see how things are going with James and Emily. So, how's it going? Terrible. It's worse than getting a root canal. But if I could choose over hanging out with Emily and getting a root canal, I would probably choose root canal. Really? Yes. But I gotta get back. I gotta grab the strings. <sighs> what? Where did she go? When Emily walks away, it's frustrating. She's just trying to make this as hard as possible for me. Yo. You just left. Yeah. As I enter Studio A, I'm feeling pretty angry because she's trying too hard to make this hard for me. I mean, give a little bit. Come on. Emily, why don't you like me? I don't not like you, James. I just love Riley. And she's always going to come first for me. I love her, too. What you did to her. I still love her. She's not seeing it from my perspective. I understand that I hurt Riley, and I know that. But you have to realize that I love her, and I know I messed up. Costumes? I'm making it hard for James because I feel like a lot of things come easy to him. And I want him to have to work for Riley. I want to see him put in the work. And if I'm the one that has to make that happen, then that's my job as her older sister. Thank you. Thanks. Are you going to help me? Yeah. Come on now. I stay 
step into the wings, and I hear Lucien screaming normally, normally, for his team. Come on, Tess. Pull up, pull up, girl. Hey, you got her, Max. As soon as he notices me, the French accent turns on. I can't explain why the accent bothers me. It just does, okay? You never seen starting like that, huh? What? Are you done being my shadow today, or...? Emily, this is impossible. What's impossible? This list, it's impossible. If I can't even get through to you, how am I gonna complete number seven? Yeah. I've heard about number seven. But if you think that's impossible, you don't know my sister. Listen. She made our entire family become vegan for a year until we caught her eating a bacon cheeseburger in her bed at 2 a.m. No way. Yeah. <laughs> She's eating a burger? A bacon burger. That reminds me, listen to this. Okay, one time I took Riley to a restaurant, okay? She returned the meal three times. The first time because it was too salty. The second time because it wasn't salty enough. And the third time she had already eaten most of my food, so she wasn't hungry enough to eat it. Unfortunately, that's not the only time she's done that. <laughs> that's ridiculous. Yeah. Sounds... Started dancing because of that ribbon. <laughs> Hanging out with James isn't as bad as I thought it would be. I mean, it's not something I would ever plan to do, but if it happened again, I wouldn't be upset. You guys are never going to break the news to her. No, how could you? <laughs> this whole time that I've been getting to know Emily, we both kind of missed the one thing we have in common. Riley. And once we started talking about Riley, the gap lessened for sure. Yes. Um, do, are you, are you going to get your ears pierced? Yes. Oh, no. I don't know about that. As I come into the costume closet, I see James and Emily laughing together about something and actually enjoying themselves, which is throwing me off a little bit. Oh. Oh, hey. hey. What's up, Riley? Hey, what's going on? Just, uh... Secrets between friends. <laughs> friends. I would consider James a friend, not a close friend. I'm just checking in to see how James is doing on his quest to win me back. So, you ready for number seven? I'm slowly getting through all the tasks that Riley has given me. So far, I've got one, two, ten, four, and eleven. It's a pretty long list. No. I did book the appointment with my doctor to get the malaria pills, but not till next Thursday. Mm, figured you'd say that. So I got you number eight. Number eight is a mystery quest. All right. Yeah, you might need some help with this one. Good luck. This is... Or something, okay. A fox, a bag of grain, and a chicken have to cross a river. You have to get them each across to one side of the river, but you can only take one thing in the boat at a time. The chicken can't be with the grain or it will eat it, and the fox can't be left with the chicken or it will eat the chicken. This riddle is gonna be a breeze. I mean, how hard is it to take a chicken, a fox, and a sack of grain across the river? Is that it? Is that all she... <laughs> That's it? Oh, Not a like chocolate or nothing? It's gonna be so <laughs> easy, man. Oh, yeah. all four of us? <laughs> what if, like, like, does the chicken have to be alive, or can I eat it? Dude, I think no, we should like, probably um, all three of them have to be on the other yeah. side. Yeah, so you gotta okay. keep it alive. Yeah. If you're hungry, so yeah. put your chicken tag on. I don't know who the chicken is if you don't have your name tag on. Right now, I just thought maybe we should lay out this riddle so that we could get it done quicker. So I made a river. We got name tags on, each playing a character. We're just working out the riddle. OK, we've tried chicken off the top, so I don't care. Let's try grain. 
Right, Maybe there's okay. something we're not seeing. Honestly, I think I'm doing quite well on Riley's list. So far, I've been getting them done pretty quickly. Although I'm not gonna lie, it's a lot of work. Boatman, this isn't gonna work. Oh, I'm the fox. Guy. He's the chicken. Fox eats the chicken. Oh, let's go back. Oh, Come on, get in the boat. All right, all of let's go. Get in the boat. All right, hit it. I'm just right. tired of this. I thought this was gonna be easy. I know, man. Okay, hop yeah. out. Okay, now right. what? Um, grain. Get right. in the boat. All right. <sighs> okay, hop out. Okay, we're all good. Yeah. What does that? So if yeah, he goes, it's looking good. If he gets in, oh wait, yeah. Yeah. yo, James, are you guys serious You're... right now? Look at this. Oh, I'm the green, and he's a chicken, and oh, he'd eat me man. from over here. It's a lot. Said, what if the fox is invisible? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Everything's there. You're standing. Uh, everything's there. It has to be there. There's the a way part to get... of the riddle. Okay. okay. There's, there's a way to get around this. We're thinking about this all wrong. We are not farm boys. We are city boys. Okay. We have to switch our items. Personally. I think switching the names will really help because these are all like farm animals that they were talking about. So switching it to like the city scene, it'll definitely help us. Like a raccoon. Oh, raccoon's a city animal. I know. Yeah. That's why I said it. Anyway, sorry. Yeah. Okay, so we have a raccoon and then what else? Come on. Oh, like a sandwich. Sandwich. Um, raccoon yeah, eats I, a sandwich. Yeah, a raccoon would eat a sandwich. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Okay. A sandwich. Yeah. So we have a raccoon. Yo, wait, time out, though. Um, I'm the sandwich, just so everyone knows. No, you're not. All right, no, you're the sandwich. No, I, it's fine. I think I should be the sandwich. I mean, I'm pretty edible. No, okay, right. but listen, edible. I'm the chicken, and chicken sandwiches are the best. No, but I'm... I mean, I appreciate them brainstorming different... Of the chicken and the fox and the grain. I've come into the music room to get the costumes for nationals, and I see the boys are still working on their riddle. Honestly, I don't have time for this. <laughs> I promise you, me and Emily put the costumes okay, there. Okay, so you and Emily received the costumes, yes. right? Okay, let's go find Emily. Okay. They're delivered. No. I'm not asking you, I'm asking Emily. Uh, when they were delivered, no. I really didn't want James to be dragged into this. I completely forgot he was with me when we put the costumes away. And you're positive that you dropped them off in the costume closet? Yes, we put them right where I showed you. I definitely put the costume there, and Emily knows it, so... I just want to make sure everybody knows I put the costumes there. We're going to have to tell the other dancers. OK. That impresses me. I have no idea whether West is going to come through or not, so I'm getting really, really worried. Oh, hey, guys. I found the costumes. Oh! Yes. oh what? Oh, yeah. You yeah. So why did you want me here? We've been waiting for you. We decided to take a very professional approach to it because we want to show her how hard we worked on this riddle. Hi, Riley. Hi. Today you will be playing the role of a sack of grain. You know why? Because we figured out the riddle. We asked Riley to play the part of the sack of grain because West, he kind of took the raccoon thing too far, so... He's out somewhere being a raccoon, literally. If you may, come with me to the riverbank. Follow me. Gentlemen, please welcome the newly played role of the sack of grain, replacing West, Riley. The riddle was, honestly, it was so long. It took us the whole day and we worked so hard. Chicken, in the boat, please. The boat. It is kind of funny to see James take this so seriously because obviously he never takes anything seriously. Grain, my sack in the boat. I appreciate it next time if you're in the boat to rub my shoulders as we cross. Yeah. Chicken in the boat. <clears throat> yeah, that's right. He taught a chicken how to row. Chicken off the boat. Fox on the boat. Hey, 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 watch yourself. On the boat. That's right. You taught the fox how to give a massage. Fox off the boat. Watching you. Chicken on the boat. Yeah, he taught the chicken how to do both. Chicken off the boat. 
little seasick, but he'll be all right. That's it. That's the riddle. All three of you are on the side. That means you have to cross off number eight. Having solved the riddle feels so great because it's just a little bit. But I need to talk to her about the next one. What's up? I don't want to do number nine. You want to switch that? You've had your learner's permit forever. Don't you want to take me on a real date in a car instead of a bus? Man, I don't need my license. My mom can drive us. It's ridiculous. <sighs> Fine, I'll get my driver's license. Fine. So you wanna hang out? List isn't done, sorry. Oh yeah, you would. Okay, yeah. cool. All right, well, see you later then. Honestly, I'm pretty... touch the vehicle until you are ready to touch the vehicle. Do you understand? Morning, everyone. You will notice that I said morning without a good or bad in front of it. That is because I consider emotions frivolous. Fall in behind me. The driver instructor kind of looked super stressed out and like wound up really tight. So I guess we're gonna have to see how this goes. It is important. When you are on the road in any circumstance, you want at least two full car lengths in front of you to the car that you are following. You, what did I just say? I didn't know this was a math class. Ah. Um, I have no idea. Maybe I should just take the bus. Maybe you should take the bus. But what happens if that bus driver passes out because they go into anaphylactic shock? Then who's gonna drive the bus? You're the only one on the bus. How many lengths? One? I don't know. You're mine. You don't realize it now, but you are mine. Tomorrow, when you get behind the wheel, I will personally be administering your examination. And I can't wait. Tomorrow, you will be mine. You will be my fresh meat. I will put you in this car, and I will cook you. I will cook you with rules and regulations until you emerge a well-done steak of driving excellence. Yeah, uh, there's no way that I'm passing this. Nope, no. Nope. Yeah. Are you nervous? No, I'm, 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 I'm fine. Oh my fine. goodness, James is actually nervous. Jay, you should have seen the instructor, okay? He was strict, and he didn't like me either. He's putting his finger in my face like this. Don't lean on the car. He's not gonna like that. Okay, you know what? You just need to calm down. Be your normal, charming self, and you'll be fine. Um, no, that's what got me in trouble last time. Okay, how about this? If you pass your test, then I will pay for you to take me to the drive-in movies. Whenever James is nervous, I know that a little motivation goes a long way. Shake on it. Okay, listen, listen. Hey, listen, kids, kids, kids. It's almost time, so just stay calm, <sighs> okay? Stay focused. Yeah. Remember, we're going to tell you to keep your hands. To myself. 10 and 2, James. Keep your hands at 10 Right, 10 and 2. two 10 right? and 2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, it's going to well. be fine. Okay, yeah, you will. practice really hard. It's going to go well. Yeah. Yeah, you just got to, you know, remember what Relax. you're doing. Don't Relax. Don't even worry about <laughs> it. Don't even worry about it. That's Yo, my right. Face. No kidding. I know, I got it. Is that the okay, guy? Yeah, yeah, this is him. Okay, he looks chill nice. Out. Chill out. You failed. It is now illegal for you to operate this motor vehicle. Please leave your keys in the cup holder. Oh. Hey, meet. <laughs> you remember me from yesterday? I was yeah. the nightmare you had <coughs> in the day while you were still awake? Yeah, ma'am. Is this your mother? Uh, this is my mom and this is my girlfriend. Uh, friend. Yeah, for now. It's not a great idea to nauseate me before I administer the exam. I banish you. Uh, should we leave? You you already should be gone. I've banished you. Okay. You shouldn't be here once you're banished. That's what that means. I thought James was joking when he said that the driving instructor was a little bit <coughs> crazy. But, um, <coughs> yeah, he's probably like the scariest person I've ever seen. I want you to apply the lessons that you learned yesterday in order to... Are you standing on the yellow line? Yeah. yeah. 
Step back. One further, please. Excellent. We're going to begin. <laughs> First, I'll save you the trouble. They're the same you failed. What? Why? Uh, your pitch. It was your pitch. Uh, if you're trying to hit a harmony with me and you're not hitting it at the pitch that I need you to, it's just dissonance. It's ugly. Like the pitch of the song? Are you kidding? Yes, the pitch of the song. I wanted you to take that seriously. That I wrote has it. nothing to do with the driving. You're right. You passed. I pa what? You've earned my respect because anyone who can manage to drive around and do all those turns in the three point and the parallel while they're singing my perfectly crafted songs <laughs> yes. can drive a car anywhere. So I pass. You're a heck of a driver. Yes, man. Okay, oh, all right, yeah. <laughs> you got my mom and my girlfriend, they're just so sorry. Can you do me a favor? Yeah. Okay, listen. I'm a little nervous because I don't know how James did. I mean, the car's still intact, so that's a good sign. <sighs> okay, listen, do you think we should go? Yeah, I mean, I guess the test is over, so. Okay, let's go, come on. James, how did he do? Okay, well? Well, to use a phrase that is no doubt familiar to you, your son has failed. What? He's one of the worst drivers I've ever seen. It'll be two years before he's allowed to take the test again, and in that time, if I see him so much as look at a car, I will personally box his ears. Two years? No, 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 he's gotta drive himself home. I've got Zumba class in 20 oh, minutes. No. He's supposed to take me out on a date Whoa, tonight. Man. Two years? Two years. How are we supposed to wait for two years for him to get his driver's license? It's priceless to see Riley's face. She's just so broken inside, just, oh. Okay, this is a very conscientious driver. I've been in the car with him. He's checking his blind spot all the time. He parallel parks like, what, what, what is so funny? I'm sorry, he passed, he passed, we got you. It's, it's just a classic bit of uh, DMV humor. Yeah. And it's funny every single time. I'm, I'm so pumped that I got the driver's license. guys all here, I need someone to get trained in first aid for Nationals. At least one person from every team at Nationals needs to have at least some sort of first aid training. Oh, uh, James will do it. Um, no I won't. Riley, I don't have time for CPR. I'm taking scuba diving lessons for number seven right now, okay? Why not? That's not on the list. Okay, how about I trade it for number seven? Number seven? Yeah. So I don't have to learn juggling or get my passport anymore or anything? Nope. I am down to switch, okay. Mm. On one condition, though. If you do it with me. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> okay, 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 fine, I'll do it. <laughs> okay, great. Doing first aid training kind of seems a little bit boring, but the fact that it's with James means it'll probably be kind of fun. In this class, I'm done the list. I'm done the list. But hopefully both involve mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation, you know what I mean? Once I'm done the list, I'm back together with Riley. Hey, how you doing? Oh, how are you? Good, it's nice to meet you, I'm James. Oh, I'm the bingo lady. The bingo lady? That's what they call me down at the hall. Okay, so you play bingo down at the hall? Bingo! <laughs> bingo. Oh. Glad to see you're all on time. Welcome to the class, I'm Mr. Abernathy, and I'll be your CPR instructor today. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, wonderful. You, come on up here. Oh, yes. Come on up here. What's your name? Dorothy. Dorothy's just experiencing heart pains. I what am? do we do? Ooh. Someone, anyone, what do you do? Uh -oh. Thank you very much. Oh. We just lost our first patient. She's dead. <laughs> How does it feel? The instructor, well, to wrap him up in one word is intense. Uh, you know what? I don't think you're ready for this. Why don't you leave? Me? Yeah. Yeah, you. 
Lesson number two, everyone. If you don't pay attention, you will be leaving this class today. The instructor is like as bad as the driving instructor. Why is every instructor just crazy? I thought this was gonna be fun. Excuse me? Sorry? Can you share that with the class what you just said? With the, with, the class? with everyone, yeah. Stand up. Uh, I thought, I thought this was gonna be uh, fun. You thought this was gonna be fun? Yeah. Who else thinks that this might be fun? Anyone? I'll show you what's fun. And you. Hold up, hold up. Us? Uh, do you have a problem with that? Uh, no. No? Because if you do, we can get you to leave. Do you want that? No. Do you have a problem with him? Oh, no, I, I like that idea. Great. Not only does James get paired with the old bingo lady. And you two, put you together for the day. I like that idea, too. But I get paired with the Hawkeye. The only reason I'm here is to get back together with my girlfriend. Oh. I came to this class to spend time with Riley, and I haven't been spending time with her at all. So I come clean to Dorothy in hopes that she'll understand. Mr. Abernathy. Yes, Dorothy. Could you come over here for a second, please? OK, do for you, Dorothy. Is it OK if I switch with that young lady there? I'd kind of like to be with that young man over there. It feels good when Dorothy helps me out. I really appreciate her helping me out like that. Absolutely, oh. Dorothy. Would you help me up there? Yes, of course. Oh. Thank you. James is kind of like an old lady whisperer. All right, back to work. Dirty and two. Whoa. OK, you do them. I just did a million. <sighs> Phones these days, just everywhere. I need to go. What? Emily needs me. She always needs you. Hey, but this is an emergency. You're a young man. Yeah. Actually. Yes. I just got a text from Emily saying SNS, which stands for Sister Needs Sister, which is kind of this thing we made up when we are in an emergency. Sir Abernathy. Yeah. She doesn't like scrapbooking Tuesdays. She said it's not fun. You don't like scrapbooking Tuesdays? No. Get out. It's nice to fill her in, but it's going to be really hard to say. Um, I'm suspended, and I may be kicked out of the next step. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why did this happen? The plan backfired. Amanda was onto us all along. We did all this for nothing. After all of Emily's hard work and everything that she did her, I... When Stephanie comments on Amanda having drawing on her money, all of a sudden everything clicks. Did you see that? No, but there was a drawing on her money. Okay. Margie drew it. Amanda took the money and I know how to prove it. Come okay. here. She's taken the money. It's clearly the money that Margie drew on. I know what's going on and I know how I can prove it. Hi, we need that um, $5 bill that that girl just gave. Yeah, um, we can give you change. I don't know how Chloe can prove Amanda stole the money, but it's her only hope right now, so I pray it works. Join us. There she is. Right here. Yeah, come on in, Amanda. So I walk into Studio A, and I see Emily there. And I know something's up. Why is she here? Hmm. Oh, uh, <laughs> Riley, Chloe, why don't you repeat that story you just of told course. us? Yeah. Yeah. We'd love to hear it again. <laughs> I am so ready for her to go down. She's about to get what she deserves and what's been coming to her for the longest time. Well, it's actually kind of funny. I, uh, I was in culture shock, trying to see if Chloe was okay after everything that happened, and um, I saw you and Stephanie walk in to order a couple juices. Mm -hmm. And you paid for those juices with a bill I know came from the lockbox. 
I know Amanda stole the money because she paid for the juice at Culture Shock with a bill with Margie's drawing on it. So Amanda, you stole the money. Busted. <laughs> what is going on, Amanda? I'm still at Elite. I knew it. In fact, I'm dance captain at Elite. And the only reason why I came here was to make sure the next step didn't make it to nationals. And I think I've done my job since there's only nine of you. But anyways, have fun. They're down to nine dancers. Michelle's not coming back. I can't believe Amanda did this to us. She was part of our family. Man, that's, that's low. Really low. So hold on. Wait. Emily, you knew Amanda was a double agent. Of course I did. All the awful stuff I've done? I would never steal the money or rip on Riley or rip on any of you. But I couldn't tell you guys until I had proof. Um, we're really sorry. Yeah, we're yeah, really we're sorry. Yeah, we're all sorry. That's well, you, you should be! <laughs> I don't even know what to say right now. Like that? <laughs> nice pulse, bud. Not. <laughs> Looking a little pale, might want to fix that, yo. All 20 quests done. I'm your knight in shining armor, and we're back together. Coming in for a hug. What's the matter? What? Hey, any cut, any sprain, any bruise? I'm your man. Yo, you need CPR, bro? I'm so pumped because I finished the list. I got my first aid certificate. Now I'm back with Riley. Woo! 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 You like that? Amanda just left the studio, so we only have nine dancers. It's so upsetting to hear that there's only nine dancers and now we can't go to nationals. I mean, my mood went from up here to here. The worst timing for that. All I wanted to do was celebrate. James, can you be serious for once in your life? That could have caused a contusion, right? A contusion, James? Come on, maybe a paper cut. Not only do we only have... Oh, you completed the list. And I'm really thankful for that. But there's one more thing I need you to do. What's that? Get Michelle back. When Riley asked me to get Michelle back, I think this is good for the team. And overall, it's for Riley. You got it. I've improved so much, and I guess it goes to show that there is life after dance. This looks great. Yo, what's up, Michelle? We need to talk. Right now, I'm in the middle of a class. Yeah, so what? It's important. It's about you rejoining the team. I already told the team that I wasn't coming back. Are you in my class? No, uh, I don't go here. No, you books. Hey. Hey. What are you doing? You know, I'm just doing my hobby. Just doing a bit of reading. How is uh, putting money in books a hobby? Well, you noticed that. Everybody needs a bit of magic. When people buy the book, bring it home, and they see the money, it brightens up their days. And it doesn't necessarily change their lives, but it does bring a bit of hope. When I find out that Wes puts money in books, I mean, it's a little weird, but it's a side of him I've never seen before. Why don't you open up your book? Hey. Magic. And what you did to try and save the team? Mm. I mean, not to put any pressure on you, but we're kind of, kind of needing you for well, pretty much all the dances. Yeah, I know. Why did you leave the next step, Michelle? I'm not really prepared to talk to you about it. I don't want to talk about dance with James just because I'm finally moving on in my life, and why would I want to go back? Fine, we don't have to talk about it. Can you do me a favor? Sure. My mom got me these horrible pants. Uh, I really want to return them, so you yeah, think you can come to the mall with me and help me get something else? Uh, sure. Cool. I know I can't step. Sure, but I don't know how you're gonna do that. Don't even worry about it. I think that she kind of just forgot about how much she likes dance. So my job here is to prove to her how much she loves dance. Why are these people dancing? For you! 
I have no idea why people are dancing on the escalator. To me, it just makes no sense. I mean, I'm kind of freaked out. this whole flash mob plan. I got hip hop guys circling her, then I have these kids with Dance Michelle printed on the back of their shirts. I'm so confused with what's going on here. People are telling me to dance, but I don't want to. Michelle, check it out. Go, go. James keeps saying that all these dancers are here for me. I don't get it. Hundreds of people here dancing for me. How did James pull this off? The salsa dancers are great. Their partner work is amazing. It kind of makes me feel like dancing. James and I come into this one part of the mall and there's two people from the National Ballet and the male dancer starts dancing with me. I can't believe this is happening right now. It feels really good. When I see B-Troop and J-Troop, I realize that this is all for me. They want me to come back to the next step. And then I see A-Troop. I love these people. They mean so much to me. All these people care about me. And they want me to come back to dance. It's so crazy and magical. Honestly, the flash mob is so crazy. It's um, magic. Just seeing everything come together like that, with Michelle standing in the center, it's, it's a lot of fun. Everyone's just dancing and having a great time, and they're smiling, and they love it. And that's the reason why I used to dance, and I can't help but be inspired. Michelle, you're coming back to the next step. Am I a dancer? Do I have what it takes to love dance again? I don't care about all the drama that goes along with dance. It's what I want to do because I'm a dancer and I always will be. Well, I guess so. There. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Sam. This is the first time we're really talking and hanging out since we got back together. So we're still kind of out of sync, I guess. I feel like we're looking for things to talk about. Nothing's just coming up naturally. So it's kind of awkward right now. Hey, guys. How's it going? Hey. Uh, I got you guys these two movie tickets in honor of you guys getting back together. West hands us these movie tickets that um, are like a couple weeks expired. Thank you. Yeah, no problem, yes. man. You know, I got them a couple weeks ago because I didn't think it'll take you guys that long to figure out your issues. It's still nice. You know, I guess it's just the thought that counts. <laughs> Hi, lovebirds. Mm -hmm. Hi, guys. Okay, so since you guys are back together, we want to give you your duet back. Thank goodness. James and Riley are back together. This was always their duet. 
No, you guys already have it. Just yeah, keep it. you guys want it fair and square. Okay, seriously, you have to take it back. We have to do what's best for the team, and that's you guys. And I mean, you guys have way more chemistry than we ever will, yeah. so. <laughs> All right, if you insist, I guess. Thank you. You're welcome. welcome. Good luck. talked to him in a while, so I hope this goes well. How's it going? How's the solo? It's okay. Yeah? Yeah, I'm still a little bit nervous about it. I just kind of lacking confidence. No, well, let me see some of it. Uh, what do you mean? <sighs> Ever since we got back together, it's just like we lost the chemistry. Riley and James's problem is that they overthink things. If they just took a breath and relaxed, their problems would work themselves out. Well, maybe you're expecting too much right off the bat. I mean, just especially with dancing, it's so intimate and so connected. I mean, maybe both are just a little scared? Guess so, it's just, I don't know. I, I just wanted things back to the way they were. Well, why don't you do something nice for James? He did a whole list of things for you. You know he cares, but maybe he doesn't know if you care. I think it's a great idea to do something for James. He's done so much for me, and I just need to show him that I care about him just as much as he cares about me. Wes? I come to Parker Rally because Wes told me to come here. Um, it's kind of late, though. And I don't see him anywhere. Yo, West. Hey. What is this? So I kind of put together a date for us, complete with shawarma. I haven't had shawarma in so long. <laughs> It's just, after everything you've done for me, I kind of wanted to do a little something for you. I haven't had shawarma in so long because it would remind me of that first time I went on the bus with her and made her get shawarma with me. I don't know, it was just a memorable moment. And now... On each other till we don't reveal all the truths We still have fun with each other, I know Dancing with James is... It's amazing. I, I've always loved being with him and being so close to him. It's just really nice. Coming home to the next step. Well, I guess. Yes. 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 I'd uh, love to see what you've come up with so far. All right, for sure, yeah. Um, the small group was originally Amanda, Giselle, and Talia. But now that Amanda's gone, I've asked the boys to do the small group. You're in for a treat. Make sure you watch them for the Planning on moving anytime soon? Okay, okay, you know, like, our feet were moving, but our eyes were, you know, yeah. we were like, it was right. just like moving. You know, it's called eye dancing. Eye dancing is when you do the choreography, but just with your eyes. You want to see an example of eye dancing? Oh my gosh. My eye is stuck. Oh, man. This is going to take hours to get rid of. You know what? I got to go. I'm sorry. I got to go. See ya. Hey. You don't like it? <laughs> I know that they're goofing around and trying to play a joke on me, but their dance is not so good right now. You guys need a huge lesson in taking responsibility. 
And I know just the person for the job. <laughs> Luther Brown is in the building? I am shocked when I see Luther. He's choreographed for so many stars all over the world on TV shows. He's just a guy who knows everything about hip hop. He will be choreographing a routine for nationals. They've been working so hard this year and I just think it's right to give them this little treat of having an outside choreographer come in. We're not worthy. We're not worthy of being in your presence. Yes, sir. I'm Eldon. Yes, sir. Yes, James. Sir. All right, all right. So. Okay, 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 okay. And I'm West. Wait, come again? West. Come again? West. Southside. I'm honored. You know, because anyone can get my name right, but the fact that he purposefully said it wrong, I just, I just have chills. All right, so okay. what y'all got? I mean, we could just like freestyle. Yeah, yeah. Show okay. Him. Yeah. I'm just trying to play. Luther just wants to see us dance so that he knows what he can put in the number. Right now, we're performing tricks for Luther, and by the look on his face, I'm pretty sure he's loving it. Tonight we're killing it, man. We're busting out all the tricks for Luther. Flips, breakdancing, some hip-hop choreography, some crumping, popping, locking. Size, you know what I'm saying? Okay. All right. And I'm gonna need y'all to race. Okay. The race is gonna be done in three seconds. I'm gonna win. You're gonna bring it all the way over here, but the trick is you gotta do it in slow motion. What? Uh-huh. Slow motion. But you can't stop. It's gotta be continuous. I think Luther might be a bit confused. The point of a race is to see who's the fastest, not the slowest. Part of the whole art of being amazing is control. You know, we're just very explosive. We're all over the place. We just want to flip everywhere, you know? So I think he just really wants us to sit back and control everything. Are you marked? Get set. Go! Mm -hmm. There's a lot of punches, there's a lot of kicks, and all that kind of crazy stuff being thrown. It's my ankle, it starts biting <laughs> in slow motion. <laughs> Where's the ref in all of this? I turn around because I need to see where my competition's at. But because I turn around, I hit the caution tape and I lose. Oh, man. We're a few feet from the finish line and this guy straight up grabs me, tosses me over the caution tape. So I guess I'm out. I lose. Thanks, Wes. Oh. Oh. So it's just me and Wes last. I'm on the ground and I kind of kicked him when I gave him a little push to the finish line. It's over and over again, it's it's starting to hurt. Listen, like, don't come to me for advice, though, because I literally just got back together with Riley. Like, I was going through hey, so much. Hey, think of it this way. You kissed Beth. Riley saw you kissing Beth, first of all, good job. Second of all, you got Riley back. If you can do that, you're a lot better than I am. Yeah, if you think about it that way, I guess. All right, all right, well, you know what? You need to figure out what your problem is, man. I don't know what my problem is, though. You know what I think it is? I think it's because you're such an amazing dancer. Once he starts to get to know the girl and they get to know him, he can't handle the relationship because his dancing essentially is more mature than him. It sounds whack, but how many, how many turns could you do if you took your shoe off right now and just hit a bunch of turns? How many could you do? Well, 
Normally I can do about 15 or 16, okay. but I've done 22. Okay, so let's say 30, which will probably take you like five years. Maybe by then you'll be ready when you hit 30 pirouettes. When James says that my personality has to mature up to the level of my dancing, it kind of makes sense. So by the time I can do 30 pirouettes, I should be ready to date, I guess. Cool. Browns, teachers, Yo, owners, what is it sisters. Put me no. Um, I want to do the scavenger hunt. Oh, is it? Apparently I'm too old. <laughs> so I'll show you how. Whatever. Great, thank you. Thanks. I'll, I'll put a towel. All right, who's gonna do it? Yeah, I'll do it. Great. This far. I guess I'll do it too. Three amigos. Legit, correct. You all made it <laughs> there you go. Oh, fucking legend. Laughing to throw. Fighting gay by November. I don't think so, Elite is the team that we need to be worrying about. It's LOD. They won nationals go. last year. LOD stands for Life of Dance. Soldiers. But everyone calls them Ladies of Destruction. They basically destroy the competition. There's a guy there. They only have one male dancer, and it's just so that they can get through the male solo round. To the registration desk. Oh, 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 oh you right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, uh, you right? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Go out. We were up against great studios at regionals, but the studios here at nationals are 10 Gosh. times better. The competition is fierce. I don't think Elite is the team. Each round is an elimination round. If the male soloist loses, the whole team is eliminated. Man, are you nervous at all? Uh, no. The thing is, Eldon should be nervous, because if he doesn't get through this round, none of us get to dance. Yeah, I'm not really that nervous. It's just dance. I'd be more nervous, like, asking a girl. True, true that. I can't wait to get out on stage. I can't wait for nationals to see what the next step can bring. I'm with Superstar now, I'm not with The Next Step. So why would I want to be friends with anyone from The Next Step at this point? Don't worry about him, Giselle. He's just trying to psych us out. Let's go. Actually. I cannot believe that Eldon didn't check who he was up against. With all this excitement, I forgot to go and check. I think I'm up in like an hour, so we should probably go yeah, check. Yeah, let's go yeah. check. That's like one of the most important things. Only Eldon. <laughs> oh, yeah. What up, dog? <laughs> okay. Okay, body bump dance. Superstar yes. dance. Who is Superstar uh, dance? I don't know. Kind of sounds familiar, though. Do you know who the male soloist is? For it's me. Bit? Looks like it's me and you again, Eldon. Knowing I'm going to be competing against Eldon is very satisfying for me. It's kind of my one little take at revenge. All right, good luck. You're going to need it, my solo's killer. He's got a bit of an attitude problem. <laughs> Whatever, man. You're going to be so mad that you left the next step when Eldon's through with you. He left the studio just because. Oh, it's a standing O from the audience. Chuck, I guess they love it. <laughs> no doubt about that, Trey. This, my friend, is going to be very interesting because Daniel laid it all out on the floor. Eldon, I would say, at least equaled that. What do you think? 
I think the judges have a really tough time ahead of them. I do not envy you guys right now. Good luck. Yep. I danced the best I've ever danced in my life. So whatever happens, I'm happy. Whoever wins this first matchup will be moving on with their team to the small group round. Waiting to hear if I've won is the most stressful thing. Everything's been banking on this moment, and I'm really anxious to hear the judgment. The judges have tabulated the scores, and the team moving on to the second round is... I want this not only for us, but also for him. He deserves it. The next step. It's been a hard day for me with everything that's happened with Daniel, so I'm just trying to relax and have some fun. Hi. Hey, Daniel. Um, I... You know what? I'm actually kind of glad you're here. I wanted to tell you that your solo was amazing. Really? Yes, it was so good, Daniel. Thank you. I, I came over because I need to apologize. I'm really happy that Daniel apologized because I don't know how much longer. No, no. To win small group. I have a feeling we're going to be talking about Are you OK? Very, hmm? very you seem kind of. Unclear. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm feeling a little bit distracted just because I'm contemplating whether or not to do the B twist in a small group. You sure? Just a lot on my mind right now. Okay. It would be so dope if I hit it, and it would make the dance that much better. The only thing is, I've never really landed it, so it's kind of a risk if I want to hit it. I'll ever be. As I head on stage, I'm pretty nervous. I'm just really hoping that I don't mess this up. I'm getting goosebumps just listening to the audience cheer. I definitely think Luther Scorio makes a difference. It just gives us that much more to dance for, you know? It's not just for the team, but it's also for Luther. They ain't is it automatic that these dancers right now are feeding off the energy of the music? Absolutely, that bass. And their dance alone will get them like that. Woo! The boys are doing amazing. They are so together and they're killing it. They're so in it. So I get to the part in the dance where I was thinking about putting the boom. When I come out, I see Riley. And I know that with her, I can do anything. Riley, Riley, I'm gonna do it. What was that? I'll tell you what that was. That was an incredible B twist. <laughs> Yeah.
video of the people so seeing James do the B twist just puts a huge smile on my face. I'm just so unbelievably proud of him. You said I shouldn't do the B twist until I hear it. But once Riley told me to do the B twist, I kind of realized that maybe that's the voice telling me to do it. When it comes down to it, the only voice I ever need to hear is Riley's. You did it. I know, that was under it. I'm so proud of you. I love you, you know that? Oh, damn. to say that I love James, but I do. I mean, this is the first time I'm treat Emily's knee. But if she doesn't stay off it, there's no way that she's gonna be able to dance. You need to focus on yourself right now. Just... Come on, let's go. I can't believe this happened to her. She doesn't deserve it. The team doesn't deserve it. Yeah, they do. I don't know if Emily's gonna be able to dance in the finals, but if she can't, then the next step has to forfeit. Way too hard to get here. I know mm. we don't want to, but what other options do we have? The rules of nationals are that you have to have a troop of 10 dancers. You also have two alternates, but we lost both of our alternates. So it's just us 10. And now with Emily's injury, we only have nine dancers that can actually compete. Yeah, we can't yeah, just, just, can just like force it. We worked so hard. Kate, I, I need to know whether your dancer is going to dance or not. When Sandra, the Nationals manager, comes up to me with the dance captain of LOD, I know this is it. We've officially run out of time. She can't dance, which means we don't have a full team. OK. All right, so I'll let the judges know that, that you're not dancing then. Is that correct? Yeah. It looks like we have to officially not forfeit. When I was at the next step, Kate submitted my name on the nationals list. That means they have one alternate left. And it's me. I will be dancing with the next step. I don't know why I want to dance with the next step. Part of me thinks because I just want to get back at Lucian, or I've actually grown to like them, or maybe I just want to be on a winning team. But either way, I want them to dance in the finals. Lainey submitted my name on the Nationals list. What? That I'm means they have one alternate left, it. and it's me. I will be dancing with the next step. Why would she want to help us? She went behind our backs and left us hanging, and now she's just going to save us? Whoa, wait, how is that even possible? Because I'm registered on both teams, which gives me the right to compete with them. I was registered on both Elite and The Next Step. Kate sent in the names when I was already at the studio. I've never heard of anything like this happening at Nationals before. It's a long shot, but it's our only chance. There's rules against us. She can't be on both teams. You know what? I don't know, so I'm going to find out, all right? So give me a minute, and I'll find out from the judges. She was part of our roster, and it was approved 
So it's not exactly our problem that she was approved on the Next Step roster and as well as the Elite roster. If she can dance for them, hopefully she can dance for us. I'll get back to you in a few minutes, all right? Okay, uh, Phoebe, why don't you go with them? Yeah, I'm on it. Let's go. I feel a lot better knowing that someone's gonna dance for the next step, but that still doesn't mean that I trust Amanda. How do we even know we can trust you? What other choice do you have? Okay, I think we need to do what we always do. Let's take a vote. Who thinks Amanda should dance with us? Miss Kate. Yeah. There's no need to vote. Amanda's right. We need her. We can't face Elodie in the finals with only nine dancers. I never thought I would say this, but looks like Amanda's our only hope. has it but if they feel like they want to watch a show and a true performance I think we got it if the next step wins nationals it means that we will be known by everyone almost I mean nationals is the competition to win the next step <laughs> So do we have any ideas for international? Totally. So many great ones. I cannot wait to get started. Uh, Miss Kate. I see pasted on the doors a big yellow eviction notice. We have a week. What are we gonna do? I don't know. That reason is so stupid because they're building condos. It doesn't matter the reason, it doesn't change what's happening. But it's just so harsh. Like, they just evict people. Like, it's ridiculous. Where are we gonna dance now? What, we're just gonna dance on the streets? We, we can't go to internationals if we don't have a place to rehearse. This case is going to figure something out. We couldn't even raise enough money.